think again. again. again.
Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tomo Tuesdays number 25. It is doubles night. We've got 40 something teams tonight. Uh, I am your host, Telmo, and joining me on the mic is Septile. Septile, how are you doing tonight? Been good, Telmo. I will say it's been a while since I've commentated since I re debuted yesterday with Wi Fi Night Fights for our another doubles tournament. And especially I've been on that 10 week break due to focusing on classes. But. Hopefully, everyone else is also having a good night as well. Uh, those of you who don't know, I've been commentating with Telmo for a good amount of time, working with him with these tournaments, and hopefully bring you joy with our co-commentary here tonight with doubles here at Telmo Tuesdays. Yes, it's been quite a ride. We've been doing this for almost nine months. Almost nine months now. And mm -hmm. I honestly couldn't be more grateful to you and Steven who have been helping keeping everything organized. Um, and we have our first match ready. So it's going to be Steph and Zerzal versus Mantis and Smiley Face. Not to be confused with Smiley, the Mewtwo player. Yeah, but definitely. We'll just call him Smiley for we'll now. But like, it's face. definitely not Smiley Face. I don't know what kind of tag he would go for. Um, but Either way, just this is the first time we've had doubles uh, for this tournament, right, Tomo? Uh, yes. For this tournament series? Yes, this is the first time we've had doubles tonight. I've been kicking around what to do for number 25 because, let's face it, if we get to number 100, it, it'd be pretty sad. I hope that locals come back before then. But for 25, I wanted to do something special, and it is the month of December. It's the season of giving, so I felt like giving a little more than I usually do. Tonight's pod is $200 as opposed to $100 to fit the theme of doubles. So we've got mm -hmm. some good money on the line. And to match that, we've got some good players in the building. And we're ready to go. So it's just up to the first teams on stream tonight. Steph and Zerzal were first in the arena. They made the arena, so it looks like they're just debating about which Pokemon is the best. What's my favorite, <laughs> po what's my favorite Pokemon? That's a great question. I've never, I've never actually thought about this before. I mean, there's too many Pokemon in this world now, so it's kind of hard to pick, honestly. I mean, obviously, a bit you could tell from my tag. Uh, there's no, Sceptile. I don't even need to answer. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Wooper is my dude. Yo, Wooper, the 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 armless little tadpole that's able to Hell ice yeah. punch with his head. Hell yeah. yeah. Top three. Where's the goat? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like he's literally more powerful than the great Arceus, as you can tell from most people running. It's like, can you solo Pokemon Platinum with only Wooper? Shout out to Spawn by the way. <laughs> I've seen that video. It's pretty funny. That video is pretty hilarious. And I would like to commentate, and I'm really looking forward to commentating, if I could see the screen here. Oh, um, good, good, call, good call. Yeah, but it looks like, uh, based on what we have so far, uh, teams are 
especially the meta of doubles is going to be a lot different from what we usually see with singles, right? Yes, yeah. there's gonna be there. so much, it's gonna feel so different. Exactly. Like, for me, like, personally, I just find doubles to be a lot more enjoyable, like, in a way, in terms of, like, just trying to figure out, like, what potential combos, follow-ups you could do, and honestly, like, there's so many characters in this game that's there's so many like team ups combos setups everything could anything could happen in doubles yeah. so it's just really hard to figure out what exactly uh will go through these players in terms of mind but we're going to be talking about that as we get to this first match we got the yellow team rocking the min min the little blo the blonde ladies with zss and min min uh, versus the blue team with uh, the big uh, DK giant gorilla and the swords uh, woman, <laughs> Lucina. Yeah, okay, so this is really interesting. Uh, Lucina, Donkey Kong. Typically, what you, you want to see here in doubles is the ability to isolate. I mean, if that's something we talk about a lot, is the ability to find a, a 2v1. That's what you want at like, the base level of doubles. So look for that. I think this is actually a really good team, Min Min and CSS, to, to kind of accomplish that. Uh, they're they're going to be able to get stage control really well. Uh, they've got tethers on both characters. You see right here, Side B coming out from Steph against. Uh, they're going to get the two v one against uh, Smiley Face here. But yeah, these situations change so dynamically. They, they can change it in instant. Right now, the blue team looking a little bit behind in terms of percent, and uh, the more that Donkey Kong survives here, the worse it's gonna be for the L team. Oh my god, wait! Oh no! <laughs> and this is, what, this is what we talk about, like, you gotta be aware of your, your teammates at all times. Right, and the thing is, like, compared to singles, like, not only you have to focus on your opponent, you have to deal with your teammate as well, and just be aware of, like, how much range your moves and uh, knockback. So if you're, like, if your partner is, a is like, causing trouble or like you know wait wreaking havoc on the enemy team you got to find ways to follow up without getting caught in their um uh, in their own damage or else it's just gonna be like a self-medication and potentially lead to a team kill like we saw earlier yeah and so sometimes in those situations you recognize that it might be okay to kill your to kill your teammate if you're already a stock up which they were so it was like okay that was bad but you know not the worst and definitely not what you what you explicitly look for but uh, it's good to note that when you have a setup like uh, like Donkey Kong has with a side B that gets a berry, you definitely want to take advantage of that as best as you can. And right now, oh, okay, blue team looking like they're behind a little bit. Kill power on Donkey Kong is pretty good. Another side B, forward smash, that's going to bury him into the ground. Oh, we accidentally cargo grabs his teammate, but now uh, all players on the field have one stock. Yeah, one stock apiece. Um... It, blue team was looking at like a bit of a struggle especially against this team like you have min min who's able to uh just outrange like both lucina and donkey kong and then you have zero suit who's just able to just get a lot of these setups and like go get those kill uh potentials like that down smash into the up boost kick right there now we're gonna yep. see our first 2v1 situation for smi uh for smiley face here uh lucina is a character that's able to do it it's just a matter of like how uh she will weave around uh, Zero Suit and Min Min because they're just able to cover so much ground with this. Yeah, I mean, this look is at that! Absolutely <laughs> terrifying. Uh, I mean, this is this is looking pretty bad for the Lucina player. But if they can somehow get a gimp on the Min Min, they try to go off stage for it. That's gonna do it. Ooh. Zero Cell and Steph take game one. Yeah, caught the uh, air dodge, uh, lack of its ability. Didn't really snap to the ledge with it, and Min Min down smash just able to cover that. Um, and honestly, yellow yellow team was doing was fairly dominant in that match. Like the blue team just couldn't find their footing, especially like in doubles. Like getting holding down center stage is real is more important because not only you're isolating uh, the enemy team, you're also maintaining that center stage. So you're going to be able to do a lot more with it. So getting in between, uh, getting or surrounding an opponent. Uh, in this case, could lead to many different follows and also and keep them separated, so that way they can't help each other. Yeah, and that that goes back to the the picks they they made. Min Min and ZSS are extremely good at covering center stage, and towards the end there in the two v one, that's that's a nightmare scenario against Min Min and ZSS. Mhm. Mm oh, I gotta turn off Twitch sings. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do that. 
Uh, isn't that a plugin on extension. Twitch? It's an extension. You could just remove it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I just gotta and I think, I'm pretty sure viewers can just ignore it anyway. <laughs> Since yeah. it was an add-on. What sucks is that they're removing Twitch things because of the DMCA rules, so <laughs> you can't I do that know, anymore. I know, it's so terrible, what the heck. Like, let us play the music that we pay for. <laughs> or not. Like, music is relatively free, but, like, still. Like, come on. <laughs> it's ridiculous, in my opinion. It is. But, anyway, so, Stefan's, uh, Zersal... So, the thing about doubles, as well, is that your character, uh, not... So, team synergy is definitely one of the most important factors. And we were able to see a lot... Of synergy from Steph and Zersal uh, during that match, they were both covering different options where Min, um, where Min Min was actually able to cover from afar, while Zersu was able to cover the areas that Min Min can't really cover, which is like uh, above her or even um, like surrounding in a relative like angle. Like Zersu has that flexibility to cover many different options, where Min Min only covers like vertical, like vertically up or off to the side. So. Yeah. These team comps um, can change dy dynamically as soon as like one person changes a different character, but that also means that you your opponents also have to adapt to a different playstyle for potential setups. So I'm curious to see if uh, Mantis and Smiley Face here are going to be switching uh, their characters because DK just seemed to struggle a lot just dealing with Min Min and Zero Suit. So DK kind of didn't really do much just being just such combo food so probably like a smaller character maybe potentially like joker or cloud for example i don't know what characters these players uh usually play but it looks like we're gonna have two swordsmen on the field versus uh mm. the blonde ladies here <laughs> i like this pick uh in in general sword characters are good at keeping min min at uh, amendment and zero suit you know at sword's length that's kind of the th this is their this is their strat is to try to uh, take stage control away from Min Min and Zero Suit um, by by using their big aerial. So we noticed that aerial game was a big problem for Smiley Face at, uh, in the beginning of the first game, and it kind of led to some really bad situations. Hopefully, this counter pick uh, can alleviate some of those problems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like and like stage like Town and City. Um, it's like most players would tend to go to a larger state, uh, stage with a bigger blast zone, just so that way it's easier um, to survive, especially since there's so much chaos happening on stage. Having right. more mobility or room to like just set up for combos is just super, is just super good in any doubles match. Right. Oh no. Okay. Nice dolphin slash leading to the gimp. That's got to be some Wi-Fi Wi-Fi lag right there. Oh, and the make matters worse. Zersil killing his killing his partner. Accidental uh, accidental friendly fire there from the yellow team. This is a terrible position for them to start off with, but they're gonna make up oh. for a nice edge guard from Zersil with the dragon. Yeah, the dragon hit and like he was Zersil was able to, despite that mishap, just able to like, just get both Mantis. Uh, and Smiley just off stage, like on that right side. They were both caught up uh, by Minmin's range. Like Minmin just being such, have such good edge guard potential, uh, like with those arms. Yeah, and this is more of the same. I mean, they, uh, Steph and Zersel have taken a really bad start and made a comeback. They are now about to go three stocks to, no, four stocks to two almost. The boost kick not quite getting the kill there, but Mantis and Smiley Face trying to establish stage control again. This could be bad for uh, the red team though, yellow team. Oh, down smash not hitting from Zero Suit. And watch off stage that edge guard. Oh no, an SD from Smiley Face is going to be extremely costly, and that may spell the end of the set. Yeah, potentially. Hon honestly, like, there was, like, red team had a pretty decent start. Oh, that's a shield break. Is he going to get this punish? Yes, he will. Oh, yeah. Zersal Anybody. was not able to make it in time. Yeah, and, and yeah, that... Oh, you know, I did say, you know, who wouldn't get that punish? But you're right, it is doubles. It's definitely possible to miss those punishes because you get uh, the teammate comes to help you. And that's actually a really important thing. And something we haven't really touched on in this whole set is how they're helping each other. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing that um, Yellow Team has been doing a lot more than Red Team. 
like you notice that their red team is dealing with more 1v1 Ooh. skirmishes and they're not really trying to get each other out of those situations oh yeah this is this is pretty much over uh uh happy face, for that. happy face is at a uh, triple digit percent against two really strong kill percentage characters and min min just gonna punch him right in the face take the first set of the night with his partner steph and zerosal moving on what a good good set honestly yeah honestly very good set uh from both of them yellow team just able to come out uh their synergy was like a bit better uh able able to uh, bond their souls just like in soul eater meister and weapon <laughs> yeah I like that. Uh, all right, but that's going to do it for the first set of the night. Steph and Zerosel move on to zero. We're going to be looking for a match. So far, it looks like a lot of round twos are underway. Uh, I'm not sure who is actually here, but uh, if they are here, we're going to see M and SkyJ, someone who impressed us last week in singles um, against Ziggy and some... Okay, what's the whole tag here? Some call me Tim. Uh, okay, if they're here, I'm not sure, but a lot of a lot of a lot of teams are, are playing right now. Unagi and Big Ron are currently tied with Smuna and Sephiroth. Um, looks like Armate and Den just started up against Kings and Strain. Oshis and Oshis and MRW are fighting DJ and Aiden. The winner will play. NorCal's best uh, doubles team probably tonight, Vermilion and Luis. Although there are a few good doubles teams here trying to chase the bag. Mm hmm. I know Luis is always chasing the bags. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, SoCal for them. Uh, we might have to move on to a different match. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're here. That's always kind of the problem with these uh these online tournaments is you can't keep track of who's here and who's not mm -hmm. yeah uh because not only that it's like not only you have to deal with like two people like in a match you also need to do you need to deal with two others uh in here so dealing with doubles is like kind of just treating it like a different game at this point honestly <laughs> it feels like a different game at times like seriously i think uh i think that the meta is so different that it's hard to say that it's reminiscent of single like what we consider singles uh, oh mm -hmm. i gotta get out of here oh yeah you probably should do that <laughs> yeah uh do you want me to tell them to make the arena yeah go for it if they if m and sky j are in here i don't know what to say but uh i'll ping them in the I... discord okay steven already did that He's on it. Okay, I'll get them to make a five-person arena. On it. Yeah, so we're doing things a bit different tonight. So instead of having uh, the streamer host an arena, we're going to have uh, the players like host a five-person arena, which uh, just makes it a bit easier on us, so that way we don't have to worry about uh, getting people uh, into the arena and then... If people, if nothing happens for a long, for a while, then uh, the room just closes. Match a check. Okay, oh, I, I think to... I recall. Can I enter that okay. arena? Uh, you try that while I have to deal with something. Okay. Oh, is that the? Wait, are you on the same one as me? I'm yeah I'm on A. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I might as well because we don't have a we don't have a match right now. Yeah. So while we're waiting for M and Sky J, we'll be doing some other TO business at the moment. Oh, uh, we've got we've got a match. Um, Who are you getting? Uh, Raw and Stronghold versus Sada and Zio MFG. C O M F G. Okay, I'll mark them while you finish that lag check if you need to. All right, so we're going to be doing a brief lag check for a match. Actually, can you get in here and do the? Uh, what? Never mind. 
Hmm? I'll, I'll just I'll just do this live check. No, because they're making the arena right now. I just told them to be on hold until you're done. Yeah, can you actually get in here and do the do the lag check for for A, and then I'll join their arena so we get. Yeah, in. yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get on that. Right, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like the uh, the lag tool that we use, Sable Detect, it does give us your your location. It gives us your approximate location info, so it doesn't tell us like your address or anything like that. So don't don't worry. But it does tell us like your city. All right, so we're gonna get Ron Stronghold and Seda versus Zio MFG. Zone my God, Raw Stronghold. Seda with possibly my favorite name of the night. I'm a sucker for nerdy, nerdy tags. All four of these people are from the same place. Um... I don't know who's who. I really don't know who's who. Papa Tio is always watching you. Colon per... I can't believe we were not about to call them colon parentheses. She does know where I live. It's actually kind of scary. I just realized Elgato's got okay. So Elgato's got music, so it's not just my voice. I turn myself up. Emmett Sky JG. Okay, they DQ due to time. Fine with me, to be honest. Uh, let's see, we're on the top side of bracket now, so. Yeah, well, they won, so you'll probably be able to see them in a bit if they make it past uh, Doom and Brokong in winners. Alright, so we are ready for the next match. Uh, looks like, yeah, looks like everybody's in. I should put my glasses on because I actually can't see. That's how you know you're getting old. Alright, that looks much better.
Okay. Everyone's selecting. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. So we're just going to wait until they are ready. Okay. Seda and Zio. Okay, so let's see who this is. So E A S T R. That's Zioma G. That's Zioma F G. Okay, I am back, and Tumble, you are muted, so I cannot hear whatever you are saying. <laughs> that's cool. I was muted just to Discord. Yeah, that's um, cool. So Raw and Stronghold and Zata and did we figure out how to say the other guy's tag? Is it Z-O-M-F-G? I, I guess. say Z-O-M-F-G. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, uh, we'll just call way, it by team. <laughs> either, either way, yeah, um, it's gonna be Pokemon Trainer and this is me Sword Fighter. So Z-O-M-F-G is one of the best me Sword Fighters, at least in Mexico. Sword Fighter, that's a brawler. <laughs> oh, brawler. Sorry, he's one of the best me, me players. His, okay, his his tag. His uh, his Twitter says he's the best me sword fighter, but he's playing brawler tonight. Hmm. Maybe he just I mean, brawler, I guess. Yeah, something to do uh, with this. Anyway, um, I can't. I go. The only person I can tell are probably Raw and Stronghold. But oh, oh wait, no, they're tags are fine. Never mind. Uh, anyway, so stocks and percentages relatively even, and honestly, oh. Good stuff coming from Stronghold, getting that S smash catching the landing there. So Blue Team gonna take the first stock uh, in this match. Back throw coming from Sata. It's gonna leave an edge guard situation there, but trying to roll reverse there. So it seems that like Green Team is trying to take on like the one v one skirmishes uh, strap, where it's. Um, it looks like PT, they want to deal, uh, use PT for Wii Fit, and then uh, the Mii Brawler for probably Mario, for example. But honestly, like, even, like, in doubles, the plans like that just never fall through <laughs> like that. And unfortunately, Raw's gonna ta uh, die to a pretty er pretty early stock to an Ivysaur Dare. Uh, yeah, it was like a big edge guard sequence, actually, and eventually the Ivysaur did get the Gimp. Okay, Seda. Back on Charizard now. Uh, oh yeah, you gotta be really careful for the side B from the Mii Brawler. That is a really potent kill move. And again, Raw getting absolutely gimped by. I think this time it was the Charizard. It was a Charizard there this time. Oh boy, good thing Squirtle doesn't have this fight. <laughs> but yeah, Raw is being over like over committing to these edge guard attempts, and he's actually getting punished very hard for it. So and that's honestly costing the blue team. And like, especially in the game, uh, in a match style like doubles, like you need to des it's best to designate someone to be the stock tank. It's like, who's gonna live the longest? So in this case, for green team, Sata uh, is going to be the stock tank just because like Charizard just has that survivability being the heavyweight, just the ability to also switch Pokemon uh, for those low percent combos with Ivysaur and Squirtle. And, and honestly, he's been utilizing it so well. And I like the synergy coming from green team you saw that sata was being uh stuck at the ledge there and uh zeo mfg it went over to save him and that's kind of the stuff that we want to see in doubles that the the map awareness for uh each player and their teammates yeah oh this is a really good position for blue team but it's gonna get reversed the flare blitz catching jonah and now it's going to be a two versus one. Jonah going to get the down air. 
Uh, I think that's Stronghold, right? Yeah, that's Stronghold. Yeah, that was Stronghold, yeah. Um, that really went the opposite of what it looked like. Because it looked like that... Because Rod died, like, two times to spikes at, like, fairly early percents, at, like, 60% or so. And it seemed that uh, Stronghold was able to just become the stock chain, just uh, able to avoid a lot of stuff and deal with 2v1s. Mario, Mario and Wii Fit are both characters that can deal with 2v1s like relatively well, I will say. So the fact that Stronghold was able to hold, uh, was it <laughs> a pun? Uh, able to hold his ground there, I didn't like especially on the left side stage. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and that's kind of what gave it uh, for blue team. Despite green team having some good map awareness, they just weren't able to find uh ways to like close out uh the threat which in this case was stronghold all right uh game two i honestly expect a little more of the same so we fit we fit mario is an extremely interesting doubles team uh they both have extremely high kill potential and even more so when uh we fit has deep breathing and in that game uh, the two the two early deaths, you know, go go back to your concept, the concept you mentioned of having a stock tank. Luckily, Mario was able to stock tank just enough for the comeback to really happen. Mm -hmm. right. Now, this next this next so like we said earlier, the team comps can change drastically. Uh, with each player, uh, the, if they as soon as they change the character, but it looks like we're not going to see that, uh, or at least I'm not exactly sure. We might potentially see a different me brawler uh, skill set because that time it looks like he had shot put, flip kick, uh, the side B, the suplex, and I forgot his up B. I think it was like uppercut or something. But so we might see a change in the move set with this me brawler that might uh, help out. Uh, green team in this case because green team is right now is pretty much in the corner um so yeah and i believe the score is supposed to be ross and stronghold is supposed to be up one because they did one that last game so um at least that's if i recall that correctly yeah because it was part of we've been on the stream <laughs> you're totally right about that all right but we're gonna get into this game too uh, so, Town of City, yeah, like, uh, this is, this is a pretty good big stage for both players, or for both teams, actually. I think this actually might be Mario's e fake favorite, when I think about it. Because they're going to be able to get be. better edge guards than Pokemon Trainer and Meep Brawler. Yeah, and, okay, yeah. So, in that case, so in that scenario, Sato was, stuck, again, stuck at the ledge, uh, able to... Um, and ZOMFG was just trying to go over and help him, but uh, Stronghold was just not letting up. Oh my god, he went so far up with that. <laughs> with that uppercut. Okay, oh, nice down smash from uh, Stronghold. Raw now sitting on the corner. Both. So this is, this is a difficult position for Green Team because it's a character that can't really get in against. Uh, oh my god, but what a turnaround! Sata! Uh, I think that was a Flare Blitz onto Stronghold. That's Stronghold's first stock. Like I was saying, though, this is a really tough position for uh, for ZMFG, you know. With his partner off stage, he has a really hard time getting in on both Mario and Wii Fit. And that is finally going to lead to a conversion. But trades coming through, stock trades left and right. And now, at the end of it all, green team with a slight stock lead. Okay, this is a good combo here from Sata. No follow up from ZOMFG. Jonah now trying to keep jo uh, trying to keep Stronghold away. Or yeah, Stronghold trying to keep uh, ZOMFG yeah, away from Rob. This, huh? this is really <laughs> this is really hard to commentate. All right, okay, good good stock there from uh, Sata. Now Ooh, oh, catching the air dodge with that up smash. Now Raw is left in the two v one situation, and with the, having to potentially take four stocks in that case. And now we're seeing the potential 2v1 combos here uh, think, from the green think, team. I don't think they're going to go for 2v1 combos as much as they are just going to go for, you know, stray hit and, and get uh, get kills off stage. The, again, this is a Wii Fit that they gimped twice uh, in game game one. So, you know, 
Uh, ZMFG is comfortable playing chase down, and I bet you that Sad is going to try to go for a follow-up if uh, Ra gets popped up in the air, especially as he stays on the Charizard, but he switches to the Squirtle now. Okay, going to rotate right back to Ivysaur. I imagine he's going to try to go for a Flare Blitz kill, but I don't know. Uh, this is this is a really difficult spot for Ra, uh, and, and like we said, you know, it's not completely out of the picture just yet, but it is going to be extremely difficult oh. for uh, the, the red team here to take a win here as... The, the percentage has climbed. This is just looking more and more painful. It is. But honestly, Raw has been living for quite a while. Despite being stuck at the ledge for such a long time, like he's been able to hold that ledge. Oh, and he has to. <laughs> um, as I was saying, he was able to hold that ledge for quite some time. Weefin is a character that can honestly stay at ledge and uh, can kind of just hold that, especially on a stage like Town City. You also have access to that slide platform uh, when it comes around, but uh, but that ed that ledge trapping stuff, like especially when you got to deal with not only with one character, you got to deal with two characters that are ledge trapping you. That's just hard to get off. So yeah, the moment I think Ra would have been able to get back to center stage, like he would have just been thrown off like straight like again and again. <laughs> like there was it was really hard for him to actually make that comeback. Yeah, but again, that that, that is we fit. If there was a character that could be better equipped, like, there are very few characters better equipped to handle a 2v1 than Wii Fit Trainer, I think. Uh, Self-healing, yeah. can camp the ledge, can just wait for the opponent to just mess up. Even if they ledge regrab, they have two projectiles that can protect the ledge very well. Um, mm -hmm. And can just kind of stall the game out, but luckily for Seda and ZOMFG, they were able to stay consistent, hold, hold strong against uh raw and take game two now we're getting into game three i wouldn't be surprised if we saw final destination from uh raw and stronghold for game three i think that's going to be a really strong stage for uh mario and we fit trainer especially against um me brawler who has not the best recovery i mean i that could be said but um i like fi fd would probably be is like i think in terms of doubles like of course the bigger stages are more optimal but sometimes some people opt for smaller stages especially if they want to be close to your teammate and be ready for those follow-ups there so uh we'll see soon enough uh where the so the characters haven't changed at all so it's just a matter of their mentality raw and stronghold believe they can clutch out this uh game three against uh seda and zomfg here yeah uh this is gonna be tough to call i think i think we might just get ps2 again actually mm. i will say that green team was quite dominating like in that second game though like they had a four stock lead like uh it was it was four stocks to one by the end of it and of course it is actually a bigger stage it's gonna be kalos the biggest stage on here um yep. not only that this stage also has a wall so it's beneficial in terms of recovery for all of these uh characters honestly uh for wefit and mario as well but like not having or having a side platform constantly there just means it mitigates the shot put uh in terms of a ledge trapping tool so i think that's what raw and stronghold are trying to go for uh with this stage and right now they've been playing quite a bit of ping pong uh, during that quick skirmish, green team sitting at relatively uh, decent percentages, but um, yet again, they're also getting a lot of these stray hits and taking the same amount of damage. So percents are relatively even. Raw uh, having the least amount so far with 70%. Everyone seems to be at around the triple digits now. Oh my god. Okay, so Raw probably falling victim to some autopiloting there. Accidentally back airs his teammate. Stronghold going to be a stock down now, but uh both like you said both seda and zomfg are at triple digit percent that's gonna be the first kill for red team this time the second one following up sun salutation saying hello there good morning to you and now it's gonna be four stocks to five the red team is slightly in the lead follow up here can't quite get it and now zomfg and seda are gonna defend each other as raw is juggled up into the air with uh the ivysaur up air Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta watch the friendly fire. Sometimes it can't be helped, but it can be critical sometimes. You know, that damage can really lead to some bad situations. Holding that forward smash. ZOMFG gonna get punished for that with a soccer ball to the face. 
All right, nice save right there on his teammate. Let's the Charizard recover quickly. Now both players, green team, trying to get uh, center stage, but that belongs to the red team now. Switching back and forth pretty quickly. Nice back air. Hits him, catches him slipping with a drop shield. Well, that, that's what a great situation. recovery from Raw. That, yeah, yeah, it is an awkward an situation. Part. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, like, red and green team, like, especially in doubles, like, holding center stage can literally happen in a matter of seconds. Oh, what a great follow coming from Raw. Gets a soccer ball, but Charizard's still alive. Gonna go for the flare, but oh, he went for the grab, but it's gonna be a team kill. Unfortunately, the second hit of the Flare Blitz actually causing his teammates to actually go, and Ra gonna get that spike down on the left side of the stage, putting Green Team each member at their last stock. It's gonna be three stocks to two. Still a very close game uh, right now, but Stronghold getting this nice, decent string here, and both members of Green Team losing center there, having to go for the right side of the stage. Nice, Ra using the grab invincibility, especially like in this game, Gravis having the invincibility is a lot more useful to deal with because it allows you to tank some of the hits without taking any extra damage and even potentially deal with 2v1 situations. I okay, so watch out for Nair up smash from Raw, because uh I think both both players on the green team can die from it. And Raw is Oh it's, okay, Raw had deep breathing, no longer has it. Flare Blitz, not gonna save the day that time! Flare Blitz up smash, classic Charizard move. All right, both red team back on the middle of the stage. Both the green team sitting on the ledge now. Can either of them get an edge guard? No, they can't. No ledge trap either. Flare Blitz going to connect, but not going to kill. Now, soccer ball is coming through left and right. It looks like they're playing dodgeball, but it looks like if you get hit, you are going to get out. That forward tilt is going to hit. Will that connect? No. Flip kick is going to save the day. And now, Raw going to be down to their last stock. Both players on the green team are almost dead. ZOMFG is going to die. Santa now by themselves. This is a 2v1. This, is, this has got to be clutch of all clutches for the green team. This is terrible. We talked about this 2v1, but that's not going to do it. The up smash is going to be Ron Stronghold taking the set. Up. Yeah, that was a, honestly a scary situation there. Sada left with the 2v1 situation, like especially as Charizard went for a risky option with the Flare Blitz, and that's how, unfortunately, they lost the set. Like you, especially in 2v1 situations, you can't just throwing out moves like that just because for a potential shield break. Because if especially if the other if the other opponent is able to uh, save their teammate, their partner, or just get a potential punish, you gotta watch out for that. You, and that's honestly, red team was just able to maintain their lead, uh, deal with the 2v1 situation uh, relatively well, um, and stronghold clutching it out with that up smash on that flare blitz punish, taking that set. Yeah, and I mean, when you're in that situation, it can be very easy to just try to go for the option that's sort of the big play, so to say. You know, if, he, if he's like, oh, he, he hits that Flare Blitz, there's a chance he kills one of them. You know what I mean? That's probably what was going through his head. Um, mm -hmm. But it's a tough situation. You can't expect, you, you really, us as spectators can look back on that and go, oh, he should have done this. But in reality, there are only a certain amount of things you can realistically do. And he just chose one of those options and it got punished. Mm hmm unfortunate well uh so that's let's see that's going to be that set so we'll be moving on in brackets so looks like we'll be having Aramate and den versus way and kenson so I'm, uh, I'm i'm really curious you guys mentioned that uh before we started tonight that way and kenson should be you know not slept on why do you say that Sorry, repeat the question? <laughs> Wei and Kenson shouldn't be slept on. Why oh, is that? Yes. So Wei and Kenson, they were an interesting duo from last night's Wi-Fi Night Fights. They were able to take out the first seed of that tournament, which were Alsoda and Joker. Um, they went teams such as the, the Calamity Duo. They went double Ganon of all characters. They went double Ganon. Uh, oh, wow. They even have uh, Pikachu and a hero. Uh, specifically, Kenson uh, running the Pikachu and then Wei uh, running the hero. And I will say they're both really, they have really good synergy uh, as far as I could tell in terms of they were able to get their follow ups and such. And honestly, I haven't seen uh, RM8 and Den in terms of uh, seeing them in terms of teams, but I have seen Wei and Kenson, so I can expect uh, great things from Wei and Kenson. But we not saying, not trying to undermine army and then they're both 
really talent uh both really good players arm eight especially um so we'll see what they're gonna go for in this team comp and like i said earlier way and kenson they're gonna run the pikachu and the hero and wow we're getting a we fit and a bowser jr of okay. all characters that's very interesting i did not expect that um uh, from that i mean it's cool that we're getting a good diversity uh diversity of characters maybe they know some combos that we are just unaware of and you don't have to pick a cheese thing or top tier so So, Pikachu Hero, you said this is a, this is a team comp they ran last uh, last night, right? Yes, I believe this was one of their best team comps despite the cheese with the Ganon. Uh, it's just that Wei was able to utilize like whatever he had on his menu bar, especially. I would say I would say that Luck is would be on his side, but with the way that um, Wei plays the character, he uh, he just does it so well. Like, he knows, like, when to use certain spells in certain situations, and he's not heavily reliant on the menu. And he's, like, mostly reliant on, like, side B, neutral B, uh, getting his aerials and crits uh, wherever he can. Yeah, and I mean, like, that that's part of why I think that as, as a character, down B is actually his worst special, in my opinion. Down B is one of heroes, is hero's worst special. Because at least you know what you're getting with side B and neutral B. And on their own, they're extremely strong. Although, you know, down B isn't bad. It's just the worst special, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, it, it's... I would... Hey, Bounce. Ooh, Bounce is going to be extremely useful for uh, for this team. Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. The uh, he, the menu play from, from Wei is actually extremely solid. He's able to... He's very situational, and oh, Kenson on the other side getting a Gimp with a back air. Gotta tech those at this level. Oh, we're gonna start off with some lightning loops. Can't qu quite fill, follow up with the combo, but nice back throw here. Good damage there from the Pikachu player. Gonna try to set his sights on the refit trainer now. Both players on the green team trying to fight off the electric rat, and way gonna get a header to the face, but they're gonna survive. That lightning was very misleading. Yep. Uh, and here's the thing, is like, Wei, oh my god, see, he was able to get a psych up and then a zoom immediately after. Like, and this is the thing that I see, like, a lot of... Bro? Uh, is that some, yeah. because there's so much chaos going around, it's hard to react to the menu, but Wei is able to, uh, utilize his spells, like, every time. Uh, like, just know when to go for what. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think that situational awareness makes him a really strong hero player, at least in terms of this set. Okay, could have seen a follow-up there. Couldn't quite get the psych up off in time, or was that was that psych up, or was that a... Um... That was a psych up, yeah. He oh, tried man. to get it in time so that we could potentially get a follow-up off of that. Oh, okay, yeah. So Wei is able to survive despite getting uh, thrown into that thunder. He's sitting at 183 right now. Like, and that's... Oh my god. And especially, this is the where I think Wei is the scariest, is when he has Accelerattle. His movement with the hero is probably the best I've seen when he has Accelerattle. He's able to control it very well, almost like he plays Shulk. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I think that I think that Accelerattle is actually a really good spell for hero. It's really hard to control, but man, is it good. It, it's exactly like Jump and Speed Minato on Shulk, which I guess a lot of people say. But uh, let's not ignore the two clown car kills back-to-back -back from... Uh, I actually don't know who that is. Is that Den? Uh, I actually don't. I I, I think I normally see RM8 run the Ike. no yeah. Uh, yeah run that tag. Um, so I think Den was the we fit in that case. I couldn't really. Oh, the snooze. This might be that, and it is. <laughs> I oh, couldn't tell if it was a crit or not because it was kill screen. But uh, based on that damage, it looks like it, like either way, charge F smash like hero having one of the best F smashes in the game in terms of power and kill potential there. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I think that yeah, Wei and Kenshin taking game one. Unfortunately, with doubles, it doesn't tell us who the characters are. Uh, so what do you I mean? Couldn't, I couldn't tell who was uh, yeah. here. No, um, I could tell. No, I could kind of tell based on their tag. So, um, yeah. So it was. So I know our mate runs that tag with the, with the no 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 no. no. Like I I've seen okay. that before. Like he's okay, had that so tag for like, a while. So the other one, yeah. Junior. He was the Bowser Junior. Yes. 
God. Or the Wendy in this case. <laughs> yes, the Wendy. If you want to go to specifics. Um, Robin Your Stock says that was dominant. Uh, yeah, actually, that was pretty dominant. If you take out like the two kind of cheese kills with a clown car, it definitely looked like Wei and Kenson were better that game. wasn't wasn't very close. Um, but game two, our main den gonna be looking at potentially changing characters. I don't know if he wants to go Bowser or Wendy for game two. Maybe he switches up with the Roy. Maybe we see Ike. Uh, I could see Ike, um, being a decent pick. Um, the problem, like, especially with, like, getting these gra these throw combos, especially, like, Ike has probably, like, really good throws, uh, in general for doubles. But just because, like, his forward throw and his back throw, they put him in tech situations. So if he's able to throw to his partner, then that's, that, and if the opponent, like, misses the tech, then that's basically a free follow-up. Yeah. That's 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 hard for the Ike player. I could see why you wouldn't want to actually play that character. Um, mm -hmm. Wayne and Kenson, though, look pretty solid. That hero play was definitely something fresh, I think. We haven't really seen many good heroes here at Telmo Tuesdays. So mm -hmm. it's kind of refreshing to see it. All right, he goes the Ike. All right, let's see if that actually makes a difference. Yeah, uh, they were just trying to recorrect their team colors since they, it seems out like they messed up in terms of it. So, um, Wayne and Kenson, they're definitely probably the team to look out for, especially since their synergy, especially with this type of team color. You got Pikachu who's able to go for lightning lose, and then you got Hero who's just able to just roll the die and go for whatever, honestly. And yeah, so Arme gonna uh, go to his tried and true main uh, Ike here. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of combos uh, off of that Nair. Especially, um, Ike Nair is just really good for uh, getting setups, especially uh, as soon as Armate gets a BNB. Uh, if Den is in that right position, able to get an easy follow up, knowing how uh, Ike is very simple with the Nair follow ups. And if Nair, and the way that Ike Nair also works, is that if he, if Armate doesn't get a follow up, then uh, Den will probably most likely be in that same position. Yeah, I, I really like, uh, I really like Henson's usage of his edge guarding, like against this against this team. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, really looks like Ike has been controlling the stage, the sta standing center stage, and this is like a very basic, you know, tactic keep bo keep both players away from each other on the outsides of one another while holding yeah. the center of the stage. So like center stage is a relative concept, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, like especially it's more important than the edge guard phase, I would say, uh, in this meta. Like you could say that doubles and singles, like for ultimate or like in any fighting game, is like two sides of the same coin. Right. Oh my God, Wade went for the spike there, but couldn't quite find it. Oh, I think the header killed Wade there. Yeah, it did. Unfortunately, like he was for he opened the menu hoping to get zoom, but unfortunately that wasn't the case. So, and I like what uh, Kenson and Wei are doing now is that they're trying to uh, they're isolating each other. So now they're both just dealing with two one v one situations and able to nice follow up uh, from Wei getting that F tilt there, catching both of them. Uh, but yeah, blue team just they haven't lost a stock yet. Like, yeah. you got Heavyweight Ike, and then you got Weefa who's able to just to just camp, honestly, from the opposite side of the stage. And that's the thing with this comp, is like, Ike is just able to punish, like, so easily, and it's really hard to deal with that Nair. Um, especially, you see, like, RMA just going for it every time and just not getting punished for it. Oh, that's unfortunate for Kenson, that last hit of the uh, Pikachu Fair just didn't follow up, and now... The, the tables have turned here. It's five stocks to two here. So Wei and Kenson are gonna have to find some miracle. And I would say it is hero, but Wei hasn't been going for any like stronger moves like Hatchet Man, Thwack, or Whack, just because he doesn't want to risk uh, hitting his partner, especially in this situation. Like he's only going for the buffs, like Accelerado, Oomph, uh, Psych Up, like, and not too many of these other random spells like Wait, uh, Kaboom. Uh, Den just died three times in a row. 
and wait, what now... happened? Okay, so the the. The the breakdown is that Kenson spiked Den and then Way spiked Den. And I believe the third kill was well, Den died three times, had to force a stock trade with his partner, and then his partner died. So now it's a 1v2, but both uh Arm8 and Den are at one stock apiece. That that should actually do it though. Yeah. That was actually a crazy sequence from uh from the yellow team at the end, making the comeback even remotely possible. And like I said earlier, in doubles, there's so much stuff happening that you just lose track of it. <laughs> so really the fact that I really missed the fact, I literally was talking about what was happening in the match. I blinked and then three stocks were gone and the stocks were even. Like what happened? <laughs> I think, <laughs> like, oh, actually the first one was an SD. The, fir the, first, uh, the first kill on Den was him SDing. And then mm. Wei and Kenson took turns spiking him. And on the third stock, he had to take a stock. And then immediately after sharing the stock with his, with his partner, our mate died. Our mate finally got a stock taken off him. And all of a sudden, it was one stock apiece. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that's quite... I mean, honestly, the comeback was insights for Wei and Kenson uh, during that sequence. But uh, luckily... Uh, Arme and Den were able to clutch it out. So we got the scores even up here. 1-1. Uh, one, one. So Wei and Kenson gonna have to discuss about what to deal, how to deal with, with Arme's Ike. Because that that change, that char that one character switch is what turned uh, the tables for Ar for uh, in Arme and Den's favor. So they're either going to switch... I, I mean, I doubt they're gonna switch their... Team comp, uh, at all from Pikachu Hero. I think it's just a matter of like figuring out what they're gonna, how they're going to deal with, because they know that RMA is a threat now, uh, especially now that he switched to Ike. So they need to see like how they're gonna deal with it. Either deal with two v ones or because it, like because from what it looks like, despite RMA and Den being separated the whole time, they were able to just deal with uh deal with these 1v1 skirmishes very well and even and Den was just able to follow up off of the uh despite being like literally halfway across the stage just because you have sudden salutation and uh header yeah and, and normally in in singles there's a really easy way to deal with ike on stage just nearing you just have to it's it's kind of like a rhythm game you have to be able to figure out when he's in the end lag of his nair and punish him accordingly which is easier said than done but is a, you know, is a strat. Where, where mm -hmm. they don't need to go to Palace. Uh, whereas yeah. in doubles, it's a little harder to just interrupt his nair because there's probably going to be one or two people there in range. So I think in general, they're going to want to try to do what they did in the, in the last game when they made their comeback, and that's focus down the person that's not Ike. And that, again, mm -hmm. is easier said than done, but... It's definitely a real strategy. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it's honestly hard to talk about like what could potentially happen because, like, honestly, like you're going uh, talking about like what could potentially happen in doubles is like shooting is like shooting in a dark room. It's like you're shooting a gun and you don't know where it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We could talk about this all day, but in the end, the human element is stronger than almost any other strategy at this at this point. And R8 is a, is probably one of the best Ikes on Wi-Fi. Yeah. So okay, so they're opting to a triplat stage. Um, Yoshi. So Yoshi's story, I find this uh, interesting because the thing is, it's a smaller. It is a smaller stage. Um, yeah. But I guess the the idea here is to be able to deal with have platforms so you're easy you can cover like a few more options so you have two characters dealing with the edge guard sequence and not only that dealing with soccer header is gonna be a lot easier especially with the usage of platforms just you could just stand under one of them and put and you can just get covered by it. Yeah, it's really interesting that this was chosen by I mean oh I forgot. To Anyway, like, Arm8 and Den were 
really, really strong in that last game. And already, okay, this is this is an interesting turn of events for Wei and Kenzie. Yeah, they already have a they have a pretty strong lead already. So, um, yeah, and uh, and you see right there, um, Arm Eight was uh, deciding on whether to go follow up for the two v one situation on Wei or try to edge guard Kenzie. And in the end, oh, what an edge guard coming from Kenson. Okay. Uh, damn, able to turn that tables, and now it's three stocks to five. And now we're down to four. Way is on his last stock. Same thing with RMA, and Kenson finally losing his first stock. So stocks are just flying everywhere. Already two uh, minute thirty in, like just three stock or three stocks gone on each team. So. Um, Den is trying his best to be, uh, maintain his second stock here, despite being at 85%. He's just going for a lot of these sun salutations, go for a deep breathing to try to get as much healing as possible. Oh, Wei has, Wei has, um, psych up as well, so he's, he's looking for a kill, and he gets it! Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got another psych up! He's still got bounce on for a couple more seconds, oh, a couple more frames at least. It, it's gone now, but he's still got the psych up. He's got, he's looking, he's looking at, uh, at RMA, but he's gonna have to have to uh, settle for Den instead. But that was almost really scary for the blue team. Now Ike at almost triple digit percent. Couldn't get, oh, Crackle Slash was on the table for him. Ike could get a kill here. I think they're dealing with Ike in a really effective way. Kill him early. Mm hmm And that's all I said earlier is like you, uh, Arme is the one of the biggest threats here. And the way that Kenson and uh, Wei have been going about it is just very smart. They're trying uh, edge guard to Ike, uh, knowing that um, Dan is just going to sit back, charge up. So now stocks are literally <laughs> still even, but and percentages are climbing very high for the blue team here. Wei also sitting at very dangerous percents here, but he does have that oomph online right now, and that up tilt is going to close out RM8 stock. So now it's a 2v1 situation for Den. He's gonna use a sun salutation. How's he gonna get off the ledge? Gonna just gonna jump for it and jumps into that S smash. But good DI coming from Den, able to live have a second lease on life here. But oh yes, very strong, uh, difficult situation to be, be with. In between both players there and getting that si uh, oomph up tilt to close out the set for uh, for Wei and Kenson, taking a two one uh, against Armaid and Den. Very strong stuff and good plays. Uh, coming from them that was a huge upset in my eyes kenson was definitely the mvp for those edge guards and way utilizing his menu like you said very good situational awareness knew that he had psych up and was just searching for the kill trying to focus on whoever the higher percentage player was that led to some great conversions and ultimately the upset as our main den go down to losers we are going to be going on to Oshis and mrw versus ziggy and call me tim Ooh, okay. Make sure I don't spell this incorrectly. Oshis and MRW. This is Ziggy. Some call me Tim. Okay. The only player that I know in this roster is MRW. And really? How do you he know play, uh, He's a fellow Incent main. <laughs> I should have been able to guess that because his profile picture on Smash UG is indeed an Incineroar. Yes, I would say that he's um, considered one of the best online Incineroars, I will say. Uh, okay. So, um, especially especially for doubles, like, Incin is a very strong character. <laughs> like, you got you got grab combos, you got kill power, you got re free revenges left and right. Like, this character has so much potential for doubles. Like, it, it's actually absurd. Like, you give it revenge, <laughs> like, your allies' attacks, so that way you can, like, get out a situation for free. Side Bs, even, like, with active hitboxes to just throw your opponents in there. So you could literally have, like, a two-second, like, situation on one side, throw an opponent into instant side B on the other side, and it will still be active. It's actually absurd. So I'm expecting some... Pretty ridiculous plays coming from Osh's M and MRW, but I can't say the same thing. Uh, I can say the same thing for uh, Ziggy and some call me Tim. Um, for like they could bring out a surprise for whatever characters they bring in. Uh, right now we're just waiting on Osh's and MRW. I guess they are checked in. 
So I I'm just hoping to at least see an ins instant plays in doubles because yeah. man, <laughs> that oh, yeah. that's gonna be a hell fest there. That is going to be extremely difficult. All right, while we wait for the other team, I'll get sick. I actually had to fix the scoreboard because the, the, the teams actually didn't fit. We oh, that's rare. unfortunate. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that's the case with some of these tags that sometimes they're too long. And yeah, and we got to extend it that way. Um, man, <laughs> some some call me Tim. I, w I will say your tag's a bit long, but we'll we'll make it work. <laughs> we always try to make it work. <laughs> of course, and that's that's actually what's so cool about this uh, this editor, uh, this this tool I'm using called Eight Way Run Eight W R dot I O. Um, mm -hmm. Lets me like basically treat the scoreboard like an HTML page. So oh, I, yeah. I, I, I know how to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, so it's mm. very easy. Uh, very easy to just adjust that on the fly. Yeah. Uh, MRW is... The int... Oh, you didn't get their locations, did you? I got it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Anyway, oh, Peach, Ensign versus Roy and PT. Oh, this is going to be quite the interesting team comp, I will say. Like, and especially MRW, I know it's like just gonna be throwing out a lot of moves like that, yeah. like dash attack into neutral V. Like, it's just gonna be pretty hard to deal with. Like, especially since neutral V is just such a good move. <laughs> Sky and, J from yeah. last week has me conditioned to expect bad things when Incineroar gets revenge. Yeah. And that's the thing in doubles, like, Insta can kind of just throw out moves, and they will work, like, one way or another. Yes, like, I think, I think that it's, Incineroar is now an extremely scary character. Oh my <laughs> god! Full screen I, I said it earlier, you can't, you can't, you can't deal, you have to respect Insta side V. Like, even, like, in doubles, that's the move that you have to respect the most. Yes, like, because that move is active for years. So if you get your opponent in caught in that, it, it, it it's just gonna, it's gonna be like just hell if you try to punish that. Ooh, okay. Uh, Z able to get uh get MRW's first dog off to the right side of the stage, catching that neutral getup with that S smash there. So, and the thing is, MRW. It, it makes it look like that MRW is going to try to be the stock just because he is the heavyweight. But no, he's he's a damage dealer here. Nope, he's the he's one a, killing. A... Oh my god, another Alolan whip. Ah, uh, this is this is painful. I, I love it. I love watching Incineroar now. Alright, yeah, forward throw. Yeah, forward throw being, uh, like I said, so not only grabs having invincibility, having instant, all of Incin's throws except for for our instant's forward throw and back throw specifically have very uh, large and powerful hitboxes. So why so, not back throw into his, in, into his teammate there? I'm curious. So he wouldn't want to back throw into his teammate there because uh, one, he was right next to it. So um, back throwing into his teammate uh, would have been a difficult situation, especially since Oshis was trying to recover. The reason MRW went for the forward throw there is because uh, he had both, he had one member of green team on that side, and forward throw has a very strong active hitbox when he twirls. It's basically the same thing as Mario back throw. So you have an active hitbox, so you're able to relieve pressure to allow both of you to get back to center stage. And that's why, like, characters like Incineroar with very strong throws can, like, just follow up or even uh, reset situations like that. I see. And, and so far, MRW and Oshis have just been relentless and neutral against these two characters, or against these two players. Call me Tim and Ziggy are currently on the back foot. MRW trying to come to Oshis' aid, able to relieve some of that pressure. Now, okay. I thought that was going to be a side B, but looks like Incineroar is living. MRW going to make it back, and another lone whip sent him up this time. Sometimes, you know, when you... When you yeah. When you get in those situations against Incineroar, it can be extremely hard to make a comeback happen. 
and there we go. Oshis and MRW taking game one. Mm-hmm. And with four stocks left as well, like, the, like, Calvin Tim and Ziggy just couldn't find their footing, like, at all. There were a few times where MRW and Oshis were both, like, off stage on the left side of the stage, but they couldn't really keep up with that pressure or their positioning was just too close to center stage they were focused too much on that instead of trying to edge guard both of them in that case or at least yeah. have one of them hold like ledge traps while the other one goes for the edge guard um and that's kind of what cost them like a lot of those potential stocks as ready since um what i wanted to see there is that mrw takes like incinor as a character takes a while to actually get back to stage especially since he has to expend the air dodge the side b and make sure that he recovers safely with his uh with his cross chop so going for the 2v1 situations especially as on Oshis, is so crucial in those precious seconds right uh, and whenever and you have yeah, so you have the biggest threat, MRW, uh, who's dealing the most damage with the Incineroar Revenge, like, off stage. Go for the other characters so you can at least get some more damage or even potentially take a sock with those uh, 2v1 situations. Yeah, and like like we were saying, you know, that side B has been extremely important for MRW and Oshis. Uh It really, like, we were so focused on MRW, we didn't we didn't talk anything about Oshis and Oshis doing their job, uh, just setting up Incineroar and making sure they stay alive. There were a couple, there are a couple situations where Ashes had, like, for instance, a, uh, a Mr. Saturn, and they just threw it down, trying to edge guard, And that's what they did very well. They were edge guarding very well. Yeah. And the thing is, like, um, uh, the other thing about this team comm is that it's, it's not just a character thing, it's a mental thing. Because, it's like, when people see Incineroar, they're like, oh, I'm scared. Oh, he has revenge. Like, now. It's like, oh, I got to respect that. Um, so, and that's the thing. Like, Oshis is making sure that MRW has that revenge. And because not only having revenge, not only as a mental thing, uh, forces players to have to play respectful. So, meaning that they can't enter that part of stage. And that's where Oshis is able to uh, counteract their habits while MRW is just trying to use that threat range, his presence, in that case. Ooh, unfortunate SD from Oshis there. An auspicious start to game one, or game two rather, after such a good game one. Uh, but, oh my god. Darkest spot dodge neutral, for me. You can't punish that. Yep. You really can't. And Wait, so can you tell me a little bit more about the Incineroar side B armor? Will oh, yes. I hit from Dancing Blade or Double Edge Dance actually go through it? Um, un I don't believe so. It is considered super armor, and the worst thing you could try to do is try to, as soon as you see Incineroar, go for the Larry hit off of side B. The worst thing you could do is go for is try to save your partner because you will end up like the only way you save your partner in that case is try to hit your partner out of it. So instead of trying to hit Incineroar out of the side B, unless you have like a very strong move, uh, like for example, I think Roy F Smash at the sweet spot could do it, but uh, it's better off, it's a lot easier to just try to hit your partner out of it uh, as a way to like just cancel it out. And especially since you know that Incineroar is going to press the neutral B, you can like kind of uh, go for the sweet spot. Uh, you can kind of expect uh, Incineroar to go for like Lariat immediately after. And if green team is able to catch on that then they could deal with mrw a little bit easier but meanwhile um Oshis has been holding his own like good while like mrw has always been like frontlining but every time he's been off stage Oshis has been doing really good job just holding center and making sure that mrw is able to get back to stage really easily back throw yeah and that's why i said and that's the thing like he that was a very precarious situation there because if he went for back throw, he would have killed his teammate. But if he went for forward throw, um, it could have potentially uh, relieved the pressure. But he wanted to go for the kill, and unfortunately, it didn't even he didn't even get that kill. Uh, back throw is gonna be the case here. Uh, it's gonna be a flurry that's coming from the from Ziggy there, trying to get back to stage, but punished by Osh's up smash there. Oh my God! This is like just a lot of ping pong situations uh, left and right. Just too much to call and too much to tell, honestly. Yeah, and right now, okay, so call, uh, some call me Tim is in a really bad spot. He is so close to dying, and especially against an Incineroar and Daisy. That is a difficult percentage to be at and a bad spot to be in, and he is going to 
take his last stock. He's going to bow out of this game. All right. MRW with a turnip versus Oshis. Are they going to try to go for some sort of setup? Down throw. Up uh, up throwing the turnip. Okay. Down, oh, down tilt. Trying to go for a big play forward smash there. Still some breathing room, but not going to be enough as the down tilt forward air connects. And Oshis and MRW are going to move on to winner's quarters, I believe. Oh, no. Yep. Winner's semis. They're going to be playing the winner of Wayne Kenson, uh, which will be happening... After our first winner semis, Lights and Ouch are currently 1-1 against Frog and Chase. They're going to be going... The winner of that is going to go up against Vaquita and Kefik, Kefake, who took out Raw and Stronghold. Yeah, they took out Raw and Stronghold. Wow. That's that's quite impressive, honestly. Um, but yeah. So we're getting close to the best of five territory uh these next couple matches are still not winner semis still not uh we're doing top four best of five so winner's finals is going to be the best of five area uh alongside with loser semis and losers finals so but other than that we still got plenty more matches for you guys to come so uh just stick around so just curious you guys in chat which team do you guys believe will be going uh will be making it towards the end and winning that 200 dollar prize uh, feel free to just uh, type in chat who you got, uh, who you got your bets on here, folks. Oops, sorry. That's actually going to do it for us. We're going to be switching up the commentators. So Gotti and No Oblo will be on your screen next, or Gotti and Jackton. I'm not sure which combination, or it might be a trio actually of of commentators. But either way, that's going to be it for us tonight. Uh, Septile, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter and on Twitch. Both are the same tags, at Septile329. Uh, if you enjoyed that commentary for tonight, I am now that I'm pretty much on break for, I hope that most of you guys are doing well uh, with your finals. Uh, I'm going to be uh, on break for school, so that means I'm going to be helping out more events, uh, whether it's commentating or TOing, uh, starting with Wi-Fi Night Fights. It happens every Monday, NorCal event. Um, open to California players of all cases. We do bi-weeklies of uh, doubles and then alternate between singles. Uh, next week's uh, Wi-Fi Night Fights will be uh, the last event for the year uh, until uh, two weeks after For since we're going to be going on break for the holidays. So hopefully, uh, if you guys are in California, hopefully you can catch that. And don't forget to... Uh, I will be uh, continuing with my streams potentially uh, over the course of the break as well. So feel free to drop a follow on my Twitch or even follow me on Twitter to see what's been happening in, in my life, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks again, Telmo, for having me on here, especially for doubles. Like, I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to deal with that. But honestly, like, these double tournaments have definitely been a new meta uh, that's been developing here for the online tournaments. And soon, I could sense it soon that we'll be going back uh, two offline tournaments. I pray that everyone is staying safe at home. You guys are watching at home, uh, playing some games, enjoying time with your friends and family the best you can. And hope you all have a good night and enjoy some more matches uh, yep. with the next set of commentaries that we're, that you guys will have. Thank you so much, uh, Septile. And uh, as always, you know where to find me. In fact, you're here right now. You can follow me on Twitter, also at Justin Telmo. Um, we are going to get Gaudi no Oblo and Jack then hopefully into a call with you guys soon. Uh, next week is going to be the last Telmo Tuesdays of the year as well. I will not be doing a Telmo Tuesdays or any sort of tournament uh, the last week of the year as I will actually be taking care of a dog. I will be taking care of my new dog. Twee and I are going to SoCal to get our dog the, immediately after Christmas. So we'll be, uh, we'll be out of commission for at least that week. But we might, we might be back... 2021 the future of the tournament is up in the air but we're definitely taking at least a week break after next week um yeah probably probably a good time to say that but who knows uh yeah we're gonna try to get the next commentators up soon we uh I, i'll i'll be right here so i'll see you guys in just a bit uh let's just
By the way, Tomo, you were muted the whole time, so I couldn't hear you. <laughs> so, yeah. So anyone else who could still hear me, have a good night. But literally the whole time, Torsia? Oh boy, we're into it! Hello, hello everyone! Okay, getting into game one, Sam, you need to tilt your camera up, by the way. Yes, I do! <laughs> okay, they can't see me right now, they don't know that. We got Bayonetta in doubles! Interesting! Uh, 
I think the character's pretty good in doubles. Like, pretty large hitboxes, able to follow up very easily. I think she's good in doubles. I would not pair her with Palutena. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this team will definitely struggle to kill. Uh, yeah, this DDD, this DDD ain't dying. Yeah, um, something that's very important to know about doubles is that getting early kills is so big. Y yeah, it, like, heavy characters are much more viable in doubles format. Be just because it is so important to remove an opponent's stock and have time in a 2v1, it, it's just so big to be able to kill someone in doubles early and consistently. And so Bayonetta, Palu, neither of them have a whole lot of options for getting early and consistent kills. Oh, but, but the Palu up there off the top? That is certainly one of the ones Palu has access to that double jump up air can take stocks really quickly. Oh, and he immediately gets the Nair train. Yeah, yellow team looking good off the gate right now, but... Like we were talking about earlier, we weren't even talking about Zelda too. Zelda has so many like fast kill options like that lightning kick. Lightning kick, up air, up B, so many good uh, options to set up into. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Zelda is just one of those characters that jumps up so many tiers in the doubles format. I'd say she's a solid high tier doubles character. Oh yeah, she has good combo throws, she has very good follow-up options, and she's like, like her aerials are all like pretty fast. Those are like some, some very big things. Oh, and yeah. the knight can provide so many setups just like that. That was so cool, he got Gordo and knighted! Okay, oh, it looked like the Bayonetta and the Palutena were gonna have a sandwich for a second there. That was gonna be very, very bad for Blue Team. Big double kill though by the DDD, and now Blue Team actually looking so much better. Yeah, yeah, Blue Team is looking to run away with this. Bayonetta's taking so much damage, gets Zelda in this combo, but Bayonetta's combos just don't do as much damage as they used to, and she gets kicked on the way down, and she's gone! She's gonna have to take a stock! But the she's Bayonetta's to... not taking a stock. Ooh, that, that, okay, so that's probably just an instant loss right there. Um, you, you always want to take the 2v2 over a, a 2v1. 1v1 or 2v1 is almost guaranteed loss. Lightning kick there, gonna take Palutena's second stock, and this is just looking... Yeah, yeah. okay, she's gonna run off. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, sure. You, can, you can go next. I'll allow that. <laughs> okay, game one going to blue team. I don't actually know who's who, so I'm just... Is it called the blue team? Blue oh team, yeah, we're team. not entirely sure. I think that blue team is Va Vakila and Cafe, but I'm not Vakita sure. Vakila and Cafe. Okay. I I think so. I'm I'm not entirely. All positive. right, cause K fake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, that I, would I don't make know sense. if you can actually o Oxred. I'm not actually sure if you can set up who goes to what port on arenas. Can you do that? That'd be kind of sick. Yeah, that'd be interesting. You can. Okay, you can. It seems like they did it for this game. It's, it looks like they're they're in the correct order with player one and two being being blue team. Which it, it's not that big, but like actually, no, wait, 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 because you you decide colors that way, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I'm okay. positive now. So yeah. blue team is Vakita and Kefake, and yellow team is. Frog and Chase. I'm assuming Frog is the Bayonetta and Chase is the Palutena. Oh! You saw that? <laughs> I actually did not. My screen is. Palutena screen just now. nearly died at 50 to a DDD forward smash. They say D I, Okay, I heard recently that DDD's forward smash is like his worst move. I don't get it. That can't be. That can't possibly be his worst move, right? No. I, just, just no way. I refuse to believe it. it. Now that I'm thinking about it, it might be his worst move, but that's... It's not Does because... it mean it's a bad move? Yeah. Because the rest of his moves are pretty good. I don't know what I would put below that. You know? I was gonna say maybe, like, Jet Hammer. Maybe Jet Hammer? Yeah. Jet Hammer can create some serious mind games, but yeah. It, it, I think I've smashed kills earlier. It's interesting. Oh! Um, okay. Oops. Uh, this is winter semis, and you're doing that. Yeah. Oh, wait. What is what is the Palutena doing? Uh, inting. Oh, he got it. He got a kill. He got a kill. He got a kill. He's not inting. Being very hype. Being doing the hype. This dude, inting a big oh, level plays. Be I saw that coming. 
Uh, let's see if they can actually get the punish on it, or if Bayonetta is going to get... Okay. I, I, I like the, the little punish with the lightning kick there, you know. Y yeah, you gotta know Bayonetta is coming to hit Palutena out of it. You just gotta get what you can, you know, you can't go for anything too fancy. Yeah. Lightning kick still does, upwards of 20%. <laughs> oh! He just did up tilt the forward smash, uh oh. Yeah, it's yeah. very solid punish. DD can just hold out longer than just go for a shield break though, no? Yeah. It looks like it looks like Frog and Chase are just a just slightly off on some of their punishes. Like they're they're getting a few of them. And, and sometimes there's glimmers of like big, big damage. Like look at this. Why was that an up smash? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, okay. Up smash is like a really good combo move or a combo finisher for Palutena, but like you gotta let it go earlier and now what? Palutena loses her third stock and this looks pretty yeah, pretty over. Yeah, that's just death. Using the Quick DD 20. to extend the hurt box of back air. Amazing. High level yep. stuff. Uh so who do we have on the other side of we have I've never heard of these players. Yeah, hey, I'm fine with that. I love new people. So, I, I know Caliber Tech. Caliber Tech uh is a very good player. As I recall, they play I wanna say Cloud? Uh, they were pretty high up in last week's Telmo Tuesdays. Uh, oh, Belmont. 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 They were the Belmont player. That's what they were. Okay. Yeah, very high-level Belmont player that we saw in last Telmo Tuesdays. Oh! MRW. Hey, I actually think it's is pretty good in doubles. Uh, besides oh, yeah. Recovery. I think, I besides, think... besides his recovery. Yeah, Incineroar yeah, um... is... One of those characters that really jumps up and doubles. It's way easier to get revenge with all the moves flying around. And if anyone's good at removing stocks early, it's Incineroar. I think he also has one of the easiest follow-up moves in the game with the neutral B. Like you mm -hmm. can just like do jump neutral B most of the time, yeah. and you'll and you'll just catch uh, any kind of uh, enemy going towards you. So yep. I think that like. They're definitely gonna have to watch out for that. He can also get some pretty early kills, like you were saying, like Tipper Ford Smash, Tipper Ford Smash Side B. Side B is really fucking hard to interact with too. Yeah, in doubles, it's just so much harder. In singles, you know, you're always looking out for the side B if you're playing against Incineroar properly. You're you're just constantly like, all right, I need to make sure I don't get hit by side B. I'm not gonna be shielding on platforms. I gotta be ready to jump at any moment's notice. You know, that's usually how you play against Incineroar in doubles. There's another person to look out for. You can't be always looking for the Alolan Whip, and it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, no, uh, for sure. And I think, uh, especially because there's gonna be a lot of like hitboxes all over the stage, uh, mm -hmm. you're gonna be conditioned to shield more. So, okay, I'm shielding a lot. I'm gonna get hit by the Alolan Whip. My sock's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's also there's also the thing of like there's also the thing of like it doubles. There's this scary thing of uh the the up and over version of a Whip has a ridiculous amount of base knockback. Oh it, yeah, it, uh, upwards it, uh, the upwards one. Yeah, the upwards one it it will kill you really early if you're anywhere up there. And while that's not a normal thing in singles. It's very reasonable for someone to get hit into an Incineroar who's up there, get a lull and whipped, and just be dead at a ridiculously low percent. Yeah. Okay, so we're seeing the other characters being Dr. Mario and Peach. Uh, Dr. Mario's it ass Peach doubles. may accidentally be on the... Oh, no, no, I wait, they're like switching. Dr. Mario's... Uh, actually, no, Dr. Mario has some, like, very meaty hits, so it's, like, it's better, but I still feel like... Uh, he has a good projectile too. Okay, maybe he's better than I thought he was. Uh, the problem like, is, I think his recovery is just so bad, though. Yeah, dimpable characters are just bad in doubles. You don't really want to be playing the character. <laughs> the wreck started off with it, so yeah. just running into it. Weird. Ran directly into the defibrillator. <laughs> I I have heartburn. Can you help me, doctor? Here, here's a defibrillator. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. It's even funny, you're on the stage already. Fight. This is actually not a good position for red team right now. Blue team yeah, having no. the stage control. Yeah, they, they just don't want to give this Belmont too much room, and they especially don't want to give this team a sandwich. Because Belmont's main problem is that if he's on the same side as his partner of the stage, he has to really watch his projectiles. But if they are on opposite side, it's it's just free game. 
Yeah, it's one of the few moments where having uh, be, uh, both teammates being on either side of the stage is actually a good thing. Generally, it's a bad thing, but um, like so, sometimes it can be a good thing too. Yeah, for certain because you can like start. Sorties love sandwiching people. Sorties just eat. Feast oh yeah. On. Any any team comp where ping ponging is like a viable like thing is like actually I think even in most team comps ping ponging is good. So yeah, ping ponging is good, but losing stage position is bad. But when you get more off of ping ponging and have bigger hitboxes, it becomes better. Ooh, nice down smash on shield from the Incineroar, predicting the projectile out of shield. Really smart stuff. The clothesline does Mario does the cyclone thing. I I don't. Gosh, I haven't seen Doc in so long. I forgot how heinous that down B is. It's a, yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad. Uh, it does kill early though. That, that no, no, no. That's does. what I mean. I it, it's just got a humongous oh, hitbox and it kills I've, so I've early. I've also seen a lot of people fall out of it. Like, <sighs> yeah. Actually, I guess that's just multi hits and smash. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Oh, what buff that up B? He's just a little bit too far. He manages to get the up B afterwards, so he, he does manage to get it, but I would have liked to see that. I've been playing, like, a lot of Belmont recently, so, like, I've, I've been, like, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta see some stuff. Yeah, this and, and if you're looking for some Belmont to study, Caliber Tech is a very talented Belmont. As we as I mentioned, he, he got pretty far in last week's Tumbo Tuesdays, which was pretty stacked as well, but... He, he was hanging with the big boys and doing really good stuff. Miss space that forward smash. That is a shield break setup. So, like if you if you get uh, neutral B in a forward smash. Yeah. Nice. I, I like the neutral jump up B from the Doctor Mario. That's really smart. Um, for the record, uh, we're we're gonna do this now because it's hard sometimes to keep track of these things. Uh, the the Richter is Caliber. The tr the uh, Doctor Mario is Troy. The Incineroar is MRW, and the Peach is Ausius? I'll go with Ausius. Ostendacious. No, he may be called Ostendacious by either of the, your casters. Please know that that is uh, a, a mere Freudian slip. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, we have Tourette's. We have, yeah, sorry, yes, we, we have Tourette's. So I'm amazed they let us on the microphone. It's a lie. I'll throw a back air there from, uh, from Ausius. Yeah. Oh no, the SD, SD from Troy. Uh, that's yeah. not what. That's not what blue team wants. Oh, Absolutely. that was kind of sick. Yeah, Dude, that was nice. Up. I've never seen, never seen that one before. Oh, but oh. Crown slap. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. He he was right in that percent where he could have done the 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 get one kill, get another kill, and then have the one v one, but just couldn't get that first one to happen. Yeah. I always feel like that if you're like if you're three stocks to one and then you like kill two people and you're in the one v one, it's like even though you're probably in a percent deficit, it's almost like you're in the lead because of momentum. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. There's no better feeling than getting that double kill and just being like, who who's next? You want to go? I'm gonna kill you yeah. right in front of your partner. I'm gonna make them watch. So, what's happening in losers right now? Looks like okay. Wait, did it... no Are... way? Did they bust her out? They went oh two. What did they Prodigy play? Prodigy and Crimson. Did they play like Mario and Lucina or what? Please tell me they did. They didn't play Mario. If Prodigy was playing Mario and they went oh two, then like NorCal sucks. Or like, online that's our, that's our, sucks. Either one. True, but uh, I guess online Louis Bunny is our best player. I was gonna say Prodigy because like Prodigy is our best player, but this that's uh, that's offline. Offline doesn't exist right now. It, it 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 does not as much as we'd like it. Oh, we're doing triple triple commentary. Yo, oh boy, yo the All trips, right. trips baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love me a good trips. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, for sure. I'm do you have a layout for that, Tom, or are you just making this up on the fly? Oh, Yo. this guy right, is so one. talented! Please, please subscribe, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we, please, please. It's only. What, what did that like one streamer say who was like pleading for subs? It's five dollars a month. <laughs> Does anybody know this clip <laughs> of this like this one this one like yeah. girl or something? She's like begging for subs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The chicken, the thigh high. She's just like sitting there, <laughs> going like, 
You guys are so you guys are such losers. You can't pay five dollars a month. It's the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. I love it so much. I wish it was satire. I know, I know, I know. If it were satire, it'd be hilarious. If Casey Tron had done it, yeah, it would yeah, be yeah. the funniest thing in the world. Uh, yeah, Casey Tron, Casey Tron could have pulled that off, and I would have laughed a lot. Exactly. Well, I mean, I'm still gonna laugh a lot, but it's just more of like a, a pitying laugh. Anyway, yeah. we're oh, doing the thing. Nice double, double up, B. He does the up oh. B again, and he goes off. Yo, that's kind of hype. Yo, that was kind of hype right there. We're not gonna lie. That was kind of double double up B. Oh, he's is he again? again? He's still okay. <laughs> he's bad living. This is so good. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> he's just up B. This is top B. Gosh, Red Team is just running away with this one. Uh, yeah, Incineroar yeah. has uh, pretty much just closed off half of the stage. Oh, right. why? Uh, why? The Belmont with neutral B by itself. He killed him at like 80 with a forward smash from center stage! The definition of an anchor. He's just uh, clobbering. I feel like. I feel like. Ooh. That was a This would be a game where I would say that, like, both teams don't want to win, but, like, Red Team clearly <laughs> wants to win. Just Blue oh, yeah, Team does no. not want to win at all. Yeah, oh, no. Cal Caliber Tech has just been making some very questionable decisions, especially for a Belmont. As a Belmont, you have to know, <laughs> being off stage is just, just a bad prospect. Up. All right, I don't literally... We have to remember that not all these players are doubles players. That's just that is true. Uh, and then presented with the opportunity to play doubles. That, so. that, is, that is a good but, point. Okay, but like, think Things about it. When there are two, when there is one other opponent to play against, you really don't want to be putting yourself in free fall, like, ever. Yeah, yeah, but you got, like, coverage, you know, if you have a teammate. If you're that in free bad. fall. Uh, wait, it's over. It's over. Yeah, they died. <laughs> they, 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 the game is over. We're going to win the finals, I guess. Oh, I see it. You moved it up. Then the toe was not okay, prepared. Okay. <laughs> he didn't have enough time to set up the overlay. No, wait, 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 wait. Tumble, tumble, tumble. What, what, what you should do is... Oh, um, that's the name of the stream. Don't wear it out. No, it's not the name of the stream, actually. But um, what you should do is, like... Okay. <laughs> but you, you, you should make Sorry. each of the boxes smaller so that each one goes over your face. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, so we're all just, we can all pretend that we are as good at streaming yeah. as Telmo. Don't like, call me Telmo, Telmo, Telmo. <laughs> call me Justin Telmo, Telmo, Telmo. Yeah, dude, like, look at that beautiful mustache right there. I don't think that we could that we could beat that mustache. I have a beard right now, and I could not beat Telmo's beautiful mustache. I don't even think I can grow that much facial hair. This is about as long as it gets right here. This, this You're looking at it. This is it. Oh, dude. I could, I I could grow James Harden beard if I wanted to. It just to. did not look good. I gave up. I keep the baby face. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I kind of like the, like... I think with me, I think I like the oh, yeah, you look kind good, of man. a beard. I, can't I think pull I like the kind of a beard. Oh, did it... Oh, wait. Bye, Telmo. Wait. Stream's dead. Did the stream die? We've no, okay, like we're, okay, we're back. Okay, we're back. Oh. Oh. Uh, me again. Hold on, we're switching off. Back and forth. You get to see bits of both of us. Eventually, we'll just, like, tell them we'll, like, flash between me and Jack. And then we'll see what <laughs> mine and Jack look like. The fusion. Yeah, the fusion. Fusion. <sighs> Jack Than and Jack Sam, baby. Jack Sam. Jack Sam. Stop that. <laughs> so, how? Okay, okay, okay. So, Kings, Kings and Strain, by the way, are making like the biggest losers run, the biggest mango run of their life. Also, uh, if they can beat this team right now, you know, see. then they got like some, they got some shit. They're like, they've won uh, three sets in a row so far in losers. All right. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, they went in. They yeah, they they they've been going at it. Yeah. Um, I don't. Oh, I know chaos, but they're about to lose to Rod Stronghold probably. I saw Rod yeah. Stronghold play earlier. And, they looked okay. And then obviously Man, we're rooting I'm for Katar. Lie, Sam. And I'm not gonna lie, Sam. You and Way would it wouldn't have even been close if you guys played. I think you guys would have crushed this field. Ah, uh, yeah, finals are a bitch. But, yeah, Dude, yeah. Sam, you and me should have played. Maybe. It's so laggy. Maybe. 
We should have. It would have been so freaking laggy. There is no way we would have made it. We could have gone Bowser Falcon. Bowser Falcon, just like old days. Just like old days. We would have even gotten it once. (laughs) No. (laughs) What, do you have some shenanigans with that combo? What can you even do? Yeah, you just do up throw knee. knee. Oh. Oh, well, I was thinking what you could do. I was thinking about this recently. If they're at like super high percent, right? And you up throw them. So I have to double jump to get to like aerial, right? Instead, I can just down air into your up smash. Oh, spicy. Like, would that not be just like. That'd be fucking. That'd be fucking hype. What, like, good pummel combos do you think there are in doubles? Pummel I feel like there's a lot. Or not pummel, berry. Uh, there's K rule Jigglypuff, which is an infinite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like. That's like a 1v2 infinite. I'm talking like the spicy in the moment, like, pummel! Dead. I keep saying pummel. Buried, or dead. Bur- buried a falcon punch, probably, or like buried a any smash attack. Yeah, buried it. Buried to incineroar forward yeah. smash would probably kill most people at like forty. Or oh, wouldn't he miss like half the cast? I don't know. Okay, actually, what if what if buried to incineroar down smash instead? That would kill like seven. Incineroar down smash is not <laughs> nearly as strong as tipper forward smash. Tipper for- yeah, but it would I kill like it would kill like seventy, eighty. One. Holy shit, that killed at like 50. I yeah. had 0%. I've do you know what my favorite it. thing to do in singles out of K Rolls down throw is? Hmm. Uh, uh, nothing. Down air? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll throw it to down air. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, how often to... does that work out for you, bud? Only at like 110%. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's can, what I figured. You can get like down throw, down air, ups, uh, down air, down throw, down air, up air. <laughs> <laughs> You mean at the percent when down throw forward tilt would just kill them anyways? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Adding an extra step for yourself. It's it's true though. It's a true. I swear it's a true combo. (laughs) I actually don't even know if it's true. Oh, actually, if down throw down throw works, you might be able to get with if you play Carol Falcon, you might be able to get down throw stomp knee. So yep. we have the princesses and the big lads. Yeah, I was about to say Beauty and the Beast versus Beauty and the Beast. I like it. You were calling DDD a beast? No, it's Beauty and the Beauty. Hey, gorgeous. Yes, yes. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast versus Beauty and the Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> DDD is perfect. <laughs> he had time to turn around and throw his partner at the other guy. That was really funny. We That's really split. smart! Wow! I don't know if you guys noticed that, the DDD just held the Peach because they realized, well, my partner's in an advantageous position right now on the Incineroar, so all I have to do is prevent Peach from coming to help, and I'll be able to get tons of damage, and Tam- it worked. Tam- are you watching the Twitch stream? Huh? No, I'm talking about something that already happened. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, yeah. I, yeah, I was gonna say, that was like hella days ago. But yes, yeah. yes, that was that was very, very smart. Yeah, from, it took me a minute to explain from... what happened. Right now, I think, there's I only think one yeah, that, that's Vikido. Oh, oh, we got that big okay. daddy forward smash coming out. He tried to let it rip, but that was gonna very ill advised. The Incineroar had already rolled. There's the Alola. Oh. With- <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the spit out killed him. Yup, that'll do it. Okay, Peach with the edge guard situation onto DDD, but he can't find the upbeat. I think, um. Vikita was showing this like kind of earlier while we were discussing. Um, DDD can stay off the stage forever, and that is so big in doubles because you can actually get so many like cool setups off of that if you can just stay off the stage. You can, like, mm-hmm. something like, like down or up or something. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Incineroar oh, manages to get back on stage, and it looks like Incineroar and Peach are going to manage to get stage position. Oh, interesting. Were they trying to cover the uh, Zelda Uppy with Gordo? Because that was a very bold recovery into the both of them. That's that's something I really enjoy about Double uh, that you can use Zelda, more Zelda will cover on, on the stage most of the time anyways, just because oh. that's a hitbox on it. <laughs> oh! Man it. just slams a Gordo into his partner's face for good measure. I think he thought that Zelda was the one who died and Incineroar was still there. That's that's all I can assume. I think I've seen three raw F-smashes on that left platform alone from the DDD. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not the worst idea in doubles, you know, you're less likely to get punished for it as hard yeah. in singles. But the likelihood yeah, of you interacting with a person by hitting putting out a big hitbox is more likely. Oh MRW oh, countered a D D forward smash or up smash, excuse me. This is gonna hurt. Oh my god! Oh, my god. He's legend! 
But that did like 60%. Oh, he just screwed. Whoa! Oh, what, what happened? What, what, happened? Telefrag? what happened? Triple telefrag! Oh, this is so close! There is one stock oh, on the everyone! Interrupted, but it didn't matter! Oh, that's right. a sift. DDD has to find a way to get this incinerator yeah. off stage and get some alone time with the Peach and even no, then the Peach has a stitch. Yeah. Oh no! Close, but he's at 90. This is looking rough. He's yeah. daring to save his life. He's I think Peach stuck. just run away and just start spamming turnips. And like, or, like, like try to look for oh, turnips. Oh, covered. Get a yeah, I mean that, that's that's the play here. The problem is incinerator is in such a high percent that you don't want to put him in front necessarily. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you should maybe leave. Him. Him for like a like a, a finisher or something, yeah. like a throw. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh! I know what they were trying to do. So, so if oh. I'll say I'll say after this game, I'll say after this game. We'll we'll compensate this one v one right now. Big one v one right now between blue team and red team. That was an amazing move by DDD to throw the Gordo in one direction to keep the Peach off, and then just forward smash the Incineroar, trying to catch him in the end lag, but there was no end lag, and right now, Chuck and Gordos, both of them just trying to find some advantage with these projectiles, bouncing off each other. I love the way, by the way, that uh, that the Peach is using the turnips right now. Oh, the forwarder is going to finish it! So, the, the, the way that he was... The way that the, the way that Oshis was using the turnips to just block the Gordos was just so smart. Gordos is such a big part of DDD's neutral, but if you just negate that with like something easy to do, like turnips, then like it, the matchup becomes a lot easier. But what I was saying earlier, um, with Incineroar's side B, if you do nothing out of the side B and the, your opponent is on the same side as you, they get a smash attack for free. Always. Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. and then, like, because because your, your guy is just like kind of like putting a little bit of lag afterwards mm -hmm. but they will always like get a smash attack you'll always be yeah. able to get a smash attack for free me and um me and redacted used to get some pretty sick setups out of his incineroar and uh i would play like charizard and get for to perform smashes hmm. how early would that kill uh it could, we kill people at, like 50. <laughs> yeah finding like finding your setups like that though is uh um, is is like such a big part of doubles yeah Oh, yo! Boy. Yeah, 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 yo! One commentator for each player. I got the incinerator. <laughs> it's on the incinerator. I got the DDD. Uh, it looks like, uh, it looks like we had a character switch. I see a bayonetta. We had a bayonetta. Oh. Uh. Okay. K fake going over to. the beast. Yeah, K fake going beauty over. The yeah, we have a beauty and the beast, but the other way around. Beauty and the Beast and Beauty and the Beast. That's not very nice to Bayonetta. <laughs> her legs are a little weird and she's like, what, eight feet tall, but... Yeah. How old is she? No idea. <laughs> I mean, Rosa's like 7'6 and she makes it work. Yeah, but her clothes aren't made of hair. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the hard thing, you know. Bayonetta's weird. Very weird. Game. Remember Smash? Oh, Smash. that suck kills so early. The star from DD's neutral beat. That shit kills so fucking early. It's happened twice this like time. 80. Yep. The DDD has been really team killing. He's really been going at Kfig. Rearing, rearing to hit some stuff. Yeah, he he does not Dude. care what it is. He just wants to make solid contact. Shout out to we Andrew Waste <laughs> Away for all these team kills. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to Andrew for coming off the platform, arc firing his own partner immediately without even looking. I Every single had... time. To... Actually, we know both of us have been the represent of so many arc fires to, uh, like, to, to, because when, when we, when, like, a few times when we teamed, he would also do that to me. Yeah, the, 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 the point. The, the, the point I'm at is that I just assume that if Andrew's coming off the Angel platform, I have to get out of the way. I, I, I it's my fault. He has the right of way. That's them the rules. Yeah, them the rules. Okay. Big dash oh, attack though. The from, from, from the DDD. Yeah, this is yeah, super Vikita. close. Vikita you know? is just like, he's chaotic evil. He's a, uh, he's just going for everybody. Yeah, this is a very interesting game we're watching because I just realized it's two—it's damage racker plus uh, 
It's it's the standard composition: damage racker plus finisher. Heavy like that's that's usually how you want to do it. Two characters that are very good at putting on early percent, but not so good at killing, oh. and two characters who are adept as hell at killing people. Oh, yeah, that's two kills right there. That's two kills right there. Dash yeah. attack right there is gonna finish it out. And blue team looking amazing right now. Yeah, blue team just their their fortune suddenly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> just the king of that. Oh my goodness, Richard. Okay, nice. Turn up to forward air. Gets the DDD off stage. Okay. Trying to play it passive. It's interesting that the DDD is the one playing forward. Yeah, I mean, that's that's usually not what you would want in this situation. You know, all the time lasts for so fucking long. Yeah, the hitbox on that is out forever, and it's so strong. Like, it just doesn't have a weak hitbox. There's the bayonet in it. She's spreading buttons. Yeah. Getting in there. Oh, oh the, trying to go the for the edge guard. Trying to go for the kill. Uh, I, I actually, li I actually like that because you're giving. I like the way that they did that because they're giving DDD time to set up his ledge trap. DDD being one of the best ledge trappers in the game, actually, with the Gordo Ford Smash. This is silly. This, this is, is really is... silly. He's Peach. dealt more damage to his teammate than Peach has. Now he's well, probably Peach manages to get the kill though, and now it's the one v one between Peach and Bayonetta. Gets hit by the Bayonetta. Bayonetta no. No. Bayonetta notably having a very difficult time killing too. Yeah, 124 is not even really easy kill percent. There are only a few moves in her arsenal that can actually kill someone at this percent. She needs an edge guard, which is so hard to get against Peach, because Peach can just get back that easily. Forward throw is not going to do it this time around, and he's a little bit more percent. Oh, okay, big Nair, there. though. He okay. only has the parasol and air dodge. Oh, I oh, choked the ledge trap. Very good falling. Nair manages to hit her out of her first recovery, but of course, it's Bayonetta. She's getting back anyways. <sighs> Unsafe dare, but it doesn't matter. Oh, this bear. That's not gonna kill. That's not gonna kill. That's not it. Stalled it. Yep. Not only did he steal it, he was in the middle of the stage. Yeah. Yeah, that, that just was not gonna happen. <laughs> this is so oh. close. Peach definitely has the advantage. Forward air is so much easier to hit. Oh my goodness. Bayonetta has that can kill. That was percents away. Oh, Backer's gonna do it! Oh no! Wow, they took the 2v1! The 2v1 combat from Oshis playing amazingly around the Bayonetta's kill options. Uh, yeah, that was a kind of, kind of a very messy 2v1 from Vikita and Kafake. Like, they weren't. I think that they weren't doing a good enough job at keeping Peach uh, off off the level. I think that you know DDD did. The wall Bayonetta was giving DDD the time to set up a sledge trap. DDD was actually just not setting up a sledge trap. That was definitely something that should have been fixed. Yeah, I mean, it, the fact that Bayonetta is a the person that generally racks up the damage before the kill is done, and the B it's that they were at zero percent starting in that two v one. Well, DDD was oh. nearing 100. Okay, so we have one NorCal team left with Katar and Jeff Sobomb. Shout out to Sack. Um, and it looks like they, they just. I'm pretty sure Katar is Sack. Okay. Tumbo, Tumbo can, you, can you check me up on this? Katar is Sack, right? Wait, yeah, Jeff Sobomb is also Sack? Wait, 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 wait. Jeff Sobomb is Sack? Yeah, Jeff Sobomb is Sack. Oh shoot! That sucks. I love that guy. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's still pretty far away. He's probably not coming to Kin if, it, if if slash when it comes back. I think. Well, actually, I think it's. I actually think it's a matter of when at this point. Now that there's a vaccine. Now that there's a light. Yeah. Oh. Whatever, whatever Maybe tournament Sean chooses to make to replace Ken, how about that? Yeah, I, 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 tr I trust Sean Briscoe. Eh, Sean will come up with something. If he uh, doesn't, I'll start with second. <laughs> Shout out to Sean, second best TO in NorCal behind Stephen J. Porup. Third best TO in NorCal, thank you very much. You're on Justin Telmo's channel. You're on Tel <laughs> Telmo, Justin Telmo. Oh my god, that's a bomb. Don't call me Telmo, Telmo, Telmo. Call me Justin Telmo, Telmo, Telmo. Yeah, I, I, okay, yeah, I, I get that, but like... No, it's, 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 it's Steven, then Sean, then Telmo. 
want you to know I've actually like practiced that and made sure I have it down pat. Like, it <laughs> take a while to like make sure I actually knew what I was saying, because otherwise it just almost sounds like fox with socks. A lot of Telmo. <laughs> It's literally like freaking fox on socks. Can we just talk about? Can we just talk about, by the way, how blue team is just like completely dominating stage control? Gonna get a double kill with the dash attack. That's so big. Yeah, that was... CDD just has no regard for anything. Well, you know that his partner. There, there's a smart way to deal damage to your own partner when you know that K Fake has no percent on them. There is no reason not to go for that dash attack if you hit well, just the dash the... attack. Yes, but just kind of. Gordoing in a oh, general yeah, 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 direction. Yeah. But uh, G Gordo's like one of DDD's best moves, like, come on. Yeah, yeah. You can't not throw Gordo's, but you can throw them more smartly. Yeah. <laughs> it's person, working out for him. But... It's working out for him. Like, like, like think good. about it. Think, think about it. If you're throwing the Gordo, you have two people to hit that you want to hit and one person you don't want to hit. I like those yeah. odds. Yep. There you go. <laughs> 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 yep. The great are good. He's gonna dash attack. He's gonna fucking dash attack. Oh no, he oh. didn't dash attack. Up throw, not even close to doing it. Oh, did 30%, though, that's pretty good. Parasol to kill. I like that combo idea. Going really high with that Incinero recovery, but. I <laughs> did it! The fucking corner hit two people! The, oh. the ledge trapping on Vakita is just so. Good. Richard is really putting on the pressure in these ledge situations. I I, I think he's guessed right a, a majority of the time. Yeah, not something easy to do in doubles when you have to worry about the partner coming toward you. Yeah. Yeah, and K Fake is oh, still watch out, watch so healthy. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of his own partner, K Fake's still very healthy. Okay. <laughs> gotta try harder next time, Richard. Ha! We're winning this thing, no matter what you want. Ooh. This Jeff person's Brad. playing like 4 DPS against his own opponent, uh, his opponent <laughs> anti and good counter. Good Toad, that was amazing. Most Peaches often forget they have Toad, but that's the last stock from Incineroar, oh. and I do not see Osseus making this comeback. The last one. Yeah. yeah. Videos Looks like we're going to a game four that. here. I always think it's possible if it's like three stocks to one, but four stocks to one, I think, is at the realm of oh. impossibility. Yeah, I've seen I've seen people do it, but boy, it's hard, and you're already at eighty. Up smash! And... Oh, I think that they should have just done back throw up smash. That probably would have killed. Yeah, <laughs> that Peach's back throw tends to send really high. Uh, DDD would have needed to get in position for it. Or like an up bear or something, but these are the kinds oh. of things where it just makes something everything so much simpler when you have like a <laughs> kill confirm. Yeah, yeah. When you have these high percent kill confirms, it's also very hard because I imagine these guys aren't in the same, you know, area. They might not even be able to talk over Discord while they're playing this game. I don't know. So, I would hope that they would be able to. Yeah, I hope, but if they're not able to communicate, it might be hard to come up with some of those setups. <laughs> They do manage to clean up that last stock on the Peach, though, and they are going to get their first game in this Winners Finals. They've got two more to go, though, if they want to get to Grands and get a chance at that sweet, sweet money. Tell about Tuesday's cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not much updates on losers right now. Wayne Jensen and JP and Pixel are in game three. We're going to be awaiting that one to see if NorCal can uh, cling to uh, any kind of tournament life. Yep. Lights versus lights. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, what? so. Jeff, Jeff, and, Jeff and Qatar. Are, are that, Jeff that, and that, Qatar that. officially the last bastion? Uh, okay. Jeff Sopov, and I'm probably like one of the best doubles players in NorCal, so like, I, I, I believe in them. Oh, yeah. I, Jeff is a ridiculously solid doubles player. He just is so good at matching with people. I've seen him go to a tournament and like play with someone that I've never seen him play with before, and they look as if they've been playing for years together. Like he's just so yeah. good at making other people look good. Yeah, he, he's definitely like the LeBron James of their team. Heck yeah! <laughs> just come in, make all these busters look like they're look like they're. 
championship winning material. Hey, the Lakers actually have like a legit championship winning team this year. Like that, I think they, that they're they, winning this one for free. They do. They do. I've been talking about pre. I, I'm talking about previous LeBron James squad. Oh, like the 2007 Cleveland Cavaliers, where the yeah. second best player was. Um, Talbo, you know his name. The, the center that played on the Cavs? No, 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 no. In 2007. <laughs> he was like an all-star that year or something like that. I, it was... No, it wasn't. Anderson Verschow was on that team, though. He was just the 15th man. <laughs> man, I'm out of the loop. This is not my world. <laughs> Yeah, 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 El Galskis. That guy was an all-star that year. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> I don't fucking know. There are multiple El Galskis. I wouldn't think that that's a particularly common name in the, in the National Basketball Association. The dude... <laughs> uh, interesting to point out the stage pick from the uh, the Incineroar squad is going to be uh, is going to be Smashville. I mean, to a certain extent, that makes sense, but I actually kind of hate this because DDD is giving DDD like, yeah, it's you're... just so tight. Those it... cover so much range. Small small stages are actually like really good for DDD. Oh. Yeah, because the hitbox oh, is just so big. Oh crap, Peach died. Alright. First stock taken by Blue Team. And, uh... Red is gonna have to be able to get a stock back if they want to do anything. Make any headway. Oh my goodness. He's addicted to these forward smashes. But, he, I mean, back throw probably, should do it. It's... Throwing them out like they're going out of yeah. style. Like they've got no value. He is the style. Throwing, throwing them out like a Grecian dollar. Wait, why did the upbeat do the zoom in there? I thought upbeat doesn't normally do zoom in. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he had revenge. He, he probably had revenge. Re any uh, special move with that's revenge boosted will do the zoom in. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Or like gotcha. a mini, mini zoom in. It won't actually zoom in, but it'll like make the whole stage purple. You know what move does zoom in? Falcon Punch. Falcon Punch, baby. And Dog Punch. Yo, yeah, punch is not a six punch it's not sick. You, you know, well, it can be sick. You know, we complain a lot about some of the newer mechanics and all of it. The zoom in is so cool. That's great. It's, I, it's I actually right. like. I actually like the, the, the end screen zoom screen. in. No, I, I actually like that one too. As long as it's correct. As long as it's correct. Yeah. Which it really is, but... but the fact that it isn't sometimes is like a little irking. It's a little. It's it's time. It's it works. Yeah. It, it, it's it works enough. All right, nice down tilt, but this Incineroar is staying alive for a long time, managing to get a lot of mileage off of that stock. Stock tanking is a humongous thing in doubles. For those who don't watch as much doubles, like being able to keep your stock while consistently dealing damage to the opponent is so valuable. Just Larry gets the peach with no regard. Oh my gosh. There's no reason. He was completely uh, safe, coming out no of lag by his teammate. Him. Dude, this actually looks like this actually looks like Patrick. Yeah, this like legit looks like Patrick. We yeah. also have to remember we all know that this one is double top eight. <laughs> this wow, is this is, no, no, got, this is not just top eight. This is winners finals. Oh my That's god! That's the beauty of doubles is that it can make even the best players look like freaking morons. These That's players true. are great and they're playing oh, yeah. very well. But every now and again, you just do something it's real so goofy. Boneheaded due to the chaos. It's so goofy. Yeah. You just your your blood's running, the adrenaline's going, and you just kind of suck uh, your friend in the face. by the way, revenge to Gordo, and he has 158 rage. I'm pretty sure DDD dies to a forward smash here. I'm pretty sure either of them die to a forward smash. I don't think that's saying much to 159. That's true, and if Daisy is now indeed dead, the revenge is still there. Okay. The red screen at 40. Yeah. It was, yeah, it wasn't death, but, uh, boy. It's DDD. It it's, uh, oh, there's a Gordo. Uh, doable? Yeah. Yes, definitely doable. Definitely doable. 
Yeah, the Incineroar gets a fresh stock, but we've seen. <gasps> oh, no! No! He, no. he didn't it press A. If he just really if he just put Incineroar underneath the stage, then Incineroar would have died. I don't think yeah. Incineroar can make it back from underneath the middle of Smashville, no, right? Absol absolutely not. You put Incineroar underneath the middle of the stage, there is just no way they are making it back from there. Definitely doable. Yeah, what the I was going to say stock, is that... Oh, you're just going to leave it. He didn't press A. What I was going to put Incineroar underneath the stage. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah? Yeah? But, like, of all the clips to start off... <laughs> he did <laughs> We're all perfectly we gotta make, like, a one no one 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 Oh yeah, yeah, I got, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 this way, this way, this way. What am I doing? What am I supposed to do? Wait, I have to go down. This is so hard. <laughs> We're just making a V. We're making a V. <gasps> oh, make a triangle. Make a tri, dude. Uh. Wait, no. Wait. You do this. Oh my god, that's so weird. No, wrong side. I got nothing. I can't do it. <laughs> I give up. I go. Oh, no, this, this is too hard. This is too hard. <laughs> can't do it. There's too much of a delay between the thing, the sun's in my eyes, and you know, I, I, it hurts to get up. And so, oh, man, don't make me stand. Yeah, maybe if I was like turned around, I could do it. The Brady but... Bunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. I gotta turn this is the story strength. of three not so lovely not ladies. Yeah. And Telmo, three times. This is the story of a lovely Telmo. Wait, who was I... blessed with three very lovely Telmos. Wait, I just realized. I I just got the background. Look, it's Telmo, Telmo, Telmo. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you just, serious? I just got that. How many <laughs> times have you casted this tournament? <laughs> yeah, Telmo. How many? It's so nice. You say it thrice. Wait, but okay, so, so then, like, what are the tacos there for? It's Taco Tuesday. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually not a LeBron fan, I'm a Lakers fan. There's a difference. Got his brain uh, looking like the surface of a bowling ball, which is even more apt given the fact that there are probably some holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> God. Dude, I've taken so many L's today. Sam, did you read Prey Sword Sakurai today? No, no, wait, hold I'm on. Let me see God hold getting ready. I got four, I got four stocks by Red. West Balls. So oh, I got four stocks by yeah. West Balls three games in a row on on quick on uh, on unranked. Oh, oh and I didn't know it was unranked. That's it sick. was unranked. Yeah, I got four stocked by West Falls for or for three games in a row. I almost took a stock in the first game. I, and this was his Falco, by the way. This wasn't his uh, th this this wasn't his Falco. Or, I mean, this was his Falco. Excuse me. This wasn't his like. This wasn't like his DK or his Falcon or something. It was his, it was mm. it was Red Falco. And we got. Oh my God! We played on Yoshi's for one game, and um, I took forty percent. You took forty yeah, percent on, on Yoshi. I, it was West Balls on Yoshi's. Like yeah. come on. Yeah. You got. You got. He beat Armada on Yoshi's. He did. Yeah, he did. He's done some crazy, crazy crap on Yoshi's story in Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is a sick yeah. game, by the way. Y'all should watch it. Uh, you all should download the Slippy emulator and install Melee just to, Literally. you know, support Fizzy. Shout out to Fizzy. Per burn the rest of your life learning to wave dash, you cowards. Oh, Katar and Jeff so bomb didn't make it. We didn't even no. know it. No. Oh. All right, let's go, Ryan Jonah. Okay, so I watched this. I watched this Wii Fit Trainer before, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, the Wii Fit Trainer does not camp enough. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, that's okay. sick, but like. No, 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 no. Do you, you don't understand how busted camping with Wii Fit is. It, it, Wii Fit is like, yeah, busted, no, no, but like, I always like a sick Wii Fit, even if it is not the one. No, Wii, Wii, Wii Fit's a sick here. We we fit is sick. Shout out to Jason. Shout outs to Jason. Shout outs to to to, to never mind. I just had a complete brain fart. I can't remember names. I give up. You say, were you gonna say Varun? I was gonna say Varun. That's the one. I knew it was one of the higher letters in the alphabet. I wanted to say it started with an X though. Uh, <laughs> Varun. Every every now and again. Varun. Every now and again, brain names just get deleted from my memory bank, and there's nothing I can do about it. That's some yeah. of the time. I so what is like Sam? Sam, you should do this. What does Wolf bring to the table? 
Um, uh, what Wolf brings to the table is combos. Really good combos and actually pretty respectable kill power. Wolf is an extremely good doubles character because, again, characters with bad recoveries, if you the higher level you get in doubles, the better characters with worse recoveries get because you can assume that your partner is actually going to do something to help. Palu is a character that is very good at helping their partner recover. So, so yeah, pa Palu here. run off up air is like so busted. Yeah, Palu run off up air, even run off nair, especially now that they nerf the kill power. They nerf the kill power so it's worse in singles, but it's way better for saving your partner in doubles now. Wolf is just, he's really good at starting combos and finishing combos. Yeah, exactly. You can get something going and yeah. continue to stream, because he has just that just amount of comfortable amount of, like, knockback um, duration. So where you can keep going pretty easily, but then, well, he can wail on you with a back here out of, well, say, a Palutena in there. Yeah. Um, well, Lights is, ma right, Lights is managing to hold on to this stock for a long time, and that is going to be a big problem for Blue Team. If they can't get rid of this stock soon, it's just going to keep compounding. Yeah, Palutena actually one of the, I think what, uh, probably like, maybe actually the best stock tank in the game, just like with her very fast ground movement, very good aerial movement, and very solid aerial hitboxes to be able to stuff you out. Yeah, she's just one of the best characters at avoiding kill moves and just frustrating the opposition and, and just, I can't, you can't get her. She's too mobile, yeah. her hitboxes have too much priority. She's built in trading tools. Yeah. Probably one of top five. I mean, not probably one of the top five characters in doubles. Palutena. I think she's, she's actually just, like like right. number three or number two. Honestly, yeah. I think she's so busted in doubles. No, no, she is. I think. I think people like really overrate her in singles, but like in doubles, I think she's like so broken. Oh my goodness, the double kill. Yeah, manages to finally take the stock off of Palutena, oh. but it is too late. And even though that spike. What a trade. It was one for one at what cost, my oh, friend? Genius. He had yeah, such high percent. Wanna... You take that trade any time of the week, and you have the stock advantage. Dude, yeah. this is such a magic thing. You don't want to one for yourself when you're two cards to one. No, nah, oh. that's troll. Oh no, he's fine. He's bad they chilling. Can go off uh, the cape. You can't. You you don't want to trade units when you're down on board. That's lore. There you go. <laughs> the board centric card. Oh, he decks it. Yeah, it's just ledge shenanigans. Wow, what, what is going the heck? On? This has just been going on the ledge for forever, and it ends in him walking directly into a kick to the nut. <laughs> yeah, um, I will say something also about Wolf, and that I kind of noticed it like once, and I think that they can also capitalize off of, off of it more. Wolf's forward throw just looks like the best combo throw I've ever seen. Hmm. Like, that, it sends that, like, it's, it's kind of like low to the ground but like slightly up so that you can get like a like an aerial if you wanted to but you can also just arc. get like a smash attack too or like a forward yeah. air or a dash attack or something yeah for sure i didn't notice earlier mrw uh if you're doing just side b neutral b and down b as incineroar in doubles you're doing it right you're doing good you keep going kid i i, I think you can i think you could put like nair in there as well you you can but it's not necessary. That's just extra credit, you know. It's like it's like when the teacher says, you know, you could do this assignment for extra credit. Like you could do that. You're not gonna do that. <laughs> You're not gonna do that. I don't want that. X Red, X Red, have you played with the have you played with the Terry before in doubles? Ter Terry Palu, like me and me and uh, our friend from HK, we figured out uh, that like Terry Palu is actually like pretty insane. Very fun team combo. Uh, I've also heard uh, tell that Robin and Palutena do quite well. Dude, I actually think that's like one of the best teams in the game. I shouldn't think that's like one of the best teams in the game. No, I legit think it's the best like, team. It's why, it's why even though I play by left now, I'll never drop Palutena because why would I not play Palutena in doubles when with way when that's team comp is just so busted. Have you guys played that by left Robin before? Uh, we played it a few times. Uh, it, is, it, it, is it good? No, it doesn't seem that good. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say it doesn't seem that good. Violet, Violet is not even that good in doubles, if I'm being honest. Dude, me and Wesley have played Samus Richter before. That, that sounds really pretty good. That sounds... No, it was terrible. 
No, I, no, that sounds like it would be absolutely awful. Oh, well, we you both know, had to yeah. give up stage. We both had yeah, to give up stage. Yeah, if anyone approaches you, you just kind of like... Uh. Yeah, because the thing... Right, this is something I want to talk about earlier. Another reason Wolf is a pretty good doubles character is because his projectile stops after hitting one person. Um, Richter's projectiles don't do that. So you yeah. cannot guarantee that you're just going to hit, you know, the enemy. You're probably also going to hit your partner if they're anywhere in front of you. <laughs> Oh, um, x red the, the combo is that you can charge up smash during Buster Wolf, and, uh, since Buster, like, you, you, like, the up smash is free, like, to get out of Buster Wolf, and you can kill most characters from, if Terry does down tilt, jab, jab, Buster Wolf, you can get, you can kill most characters at, like, 30. Oh, yeah, I've watched that happen. It was pretty funny. Um, I mean, the broken combo is always just long move that's easy to react to in the up smash. Not hard. It's not rocket science. We're, we're not reinventing the wheel, we're just killing people with giant space laser. They are just really close. No one's, lost a, no one's lost a stock yet. I jinxed it. Uh, I jinxed it. I did the commentator thing. Okay. <laughs> Why would you do uh, Wolf up? That Wait, was an interesting way to kill you... someone. That was how did the Wolf, wolf end up, up in the game. corner of the stage, though, afterwards? No idea. I wasn't paying attention. No idea. Uh, I, I guess up B, I don't know. It was sick, though. That was, that was, that was hecka sick. I think my team is right where they want to be with Wii Fit being the one at three stocks because she is so good at just chilling on the ledge. She's got to chill on the ledge. Oh, Let no, she went on stage. Why'd she go on stage? Yeah, especially against Wolf. Like, you got to force the Palutena over there. The Wolf can't challenge you on ledge. He's too scared. Like, he does not want to die. The Wolf Palutena will go on. the corner and then says, I'm going to aerial in place until someone approaches me or gets thrown at me, and then they get hit. And then the Wii Fit, unfortunately, doesn't doesn't have to stop unless Palutena comes. Then she might have to stop a bit. Down tilt's pretty good at stopping Wii Fit shenanigans. Yeah. Even then, you can ledge hop or you can like drop from ledge ball, and that will beat the down tilt. Again, he's killed with the up beat the second time. This guy's nuts. This guy's crazy. This thing People just, I guess, they just can't react because they have to pay attention to the other stuff. Yeah, Glad I mean, it, it's just kind of gets slipped under the table until it's too late. I mean, that that's doubles. Is like easy to react to moves. You get hit by them so much more in doubles because you're not paying. Oh, combo, combo. Oh, where was the back? Oh. Oh. Still manages to get that back throw, and that was a huge swing in momentum for for lights and power. <laughs> Header spike though from Raw. Yeah, still an ever so slight lead for lights and out, but it's not by much. Blue team is definitely in the lead. That's it, that's oh. it, that's a Kim, right? Oh no, uh, you didn't get the forward smash. Yeah, I needed to oh, keep charging it. They are really trying to get this wolf's early stock, but the Palutena is here. The brigade has come to save the day. The laser's a teammate. Okay, here, we'll here save. Ken's Perc on. Percent leads do not mean that much in doubles. Like,. Things can just happen. Mm hmm Um, oh my gosh, I think I think Ouch got a little confused for a second there and did the, the classic blood frenzy of just like going after your opponent because you're just hitting the nearest thing. Yeah. Like back Oof. attacked and forward aired the Palutena and then realized oh wait. Oh my I'm goodness. Wolf well, Shield is an M and M. He's off stage. Oh. That's just that be They trade! It's they a double kill! It's a 1v1! This is actually exactly where Blue Team wants to be. Palutena wins this matchup so fucking hard, it's not even yeah, funny. It's it's hard, but that free deep breathing is definitely gonna make it a little bit harder. That is dangerous. Really hard. That, and that's yes. it. that is it! Getting the Nair into up air, that's a very, very smart conversion there from Raw. Keep those boots in. Clutch stuff too. Good for Snet Rain. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's over. Oh. The, the stream should should tell me. Tell, 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 tell me is currently informing us that the Warriors just lost to the Kings, uh, which is just trash. Oh. Dude, doubles. Basketball. Yeah. Oh, clutch, clutch god. god. Oh, clutch god. Oh, Tell I know you are.
Telmo, did, did you see the did you see the Lakers just like completely destroyed the Clippers? The the what was the score? Sam, what for reference, uh, uh, AD and LeBron have not played a single game yet, and the Lakers have uh, beat the Clippers twice. Oh my god! <laughs> wow, AD and LeBron have not played yet, and the Lakers beat the Clippers twice. Like. By, by 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 how much? What was the score? What was the score? I don't know, but like their their second year rookie dropped thirty three on the Clippers. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! That like, Tatum like Taylor like, Horton Tucker or something like that. He dropped thirty three points on like, on 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 the Clippers. Like the, this is preseason, so sometimes the Clippers will play like their B team. But no, the Clippers were playing Kawhi Leonard, Paul George. Like they're playing their their whole squad. He dropped and... thirty three points on Leonard and George. What the hell? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that kid. All right, back to Smash Brothers. Game, game three, game three. The game brief three. talk about the NBA has now ended, and we are going to watch these two teams duke it out. One to one is the set. This is for all the marbles in this set, if I'm not mistaken. We're only doing top four for the uh, for the best of five. So. Yeah, and I like the stage pick here for red team. I think that Palutena on FD is like very, very, very bad. Yeah, it's it's just a much weaker stage for her. She she really likes to be able to extend her her up air <gasps> combos. What happened? How did he die? Whoop! Type B spiked him. Oh he no! He lost his visibility on lead. He played. I think guarding Wolf is so hard because of that. Yeah, I mean, it's just that threat. You know, most other people have that thing where it's like edge guarding them is hard because you might get clipped by a move. Wolf is nope. just instant death. And no music King angle from, uh, from from the wolf there, so he won't be able to get back to the stage. Yeah, Another thing I'd like to mention is that I, uh, in terms of this stage in particular, I think uh, Mario and, and, and uh, Wii Fit's projectiles do a lot better than, say, uh, Paul's Yeah, Kingdom, that's but... a... You bring up a good point there. Wii Fit especially can do, like, on the ledge, she can do, like, uh... Oh my and, gosh! And, and that was fucking gross. That Bro was actually playing out gross. of his mind. He's playing out and of he's still, and he, By the way, he still has three stocks. Like, that's so Solidly. fucking big for WeFit to be in the lead, for, for WeFit to have a stock lead. They do manage to answer back and take one of Mario's stocks, but this WeFit stock is looking like it is going to be stubborn. And look, he's playing much more towards the ledge now. This is exactly what he needed to be doing, like, uh, when they were losing the games before. Like, literally yeah. the whole time, he should just be chilling on the ledge. Like, it's, just, yeah. it's, it's such a difficult strategy to deal with. Yeah, there it is. He ends up running into a back air, but he has done the damage. Mario, however, is at pretty high percent. So, Stronghold's got to be very careful. Uh oh. Throws him off stage. Didn't really want to do that. I'm surprised the Power Paint didn't go for the down throw. Wolf was right there. Maybe could have gotten something off of it, at least. Press the puts up passive of Wolf and that disadvantage stays at the top. Yeah, you really want to press the advantage on Wolf. Such high percent. If he okay. dies, does he take the percent? Does he take the stock from Pollard? You always take the stock every time. There's no reason to not take the stock. Hmm. Oh, big combo there though from Green Team. There's so much damage so now racked up on Raw. Mhm. Mm oh, nobody made it to the soccer ball. This could be its first stock. Yeah. Oh, they do manage to take there the stock is. from the Wolf, and we are back to relative parity if they manage to get the stock off of Palu pretty early which there's a deep breathing in play it's not that hard to get it wolf just yeah, it's also it till, oh no, they 39 already racked up on ouch too this is still totally possible for red team big back oh, throw wow. here remember that mario's back throw has a hitbox on it during the throw animation you cannot contest that yeah, it makes Mario very good in doubles because his grab is relatively safe. But there is the kill on the Palutena, and now well, they're at high percent. This is very doable for Wolf. <gasps> but there's good the flood. He's got to deal with the double edge guard, and these players have were already so adept at keeping Wolf off the stage. He's not going to manage to side be back. And Raw and Stronghold are going to move forward with a very impressive game three performance. Yeah, I would say that their strategical gameplay looked much more solid than um, than it did in the previous two games. I think that Raw in particular definitely stepped it up in Game 3, and I think that was definitely what their team needed to get the victory. 
I think mm -hmm. they just they they recognized what they needed to to pace the game at with what they had it in their in their arsenal because they were playing pretty recklessly. Both people playing a bit forward, and then as you're saying, yeah, we fit playing back is just what they needed to do. Oh, they and tried to congest, getting... contest a lot of hitboxes where I that think... isn't really what they do. No. I think we're going to be getting them again right now because I think we're going into cal caliber 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 tech caliber tech caliber tech. There we go. Caliber tech and Troy versus Ron Stronghold because Frog and Chase and JP and Pixel are already in game two right now. So I would assume that we're just getting Ron Stronghold versus Caliber tech and Troy. That would be so, a fair assumption. So what, did they play like Belmont Mario or something like that? It was, was that what they, Belmont. Is that what they played? Uh, it was Belmont and Doc, if I recall correctly. Right, Doc. Um, yeah, the worst one. I don't think that they should be playing Doc in this team. No, I, I definitely don't think Doc is. I just don't think Doc's a very good doubles character. He could have just left it at not a very good character. Yeah. Yeah, dude, dude, come on, don't do Doc like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Louis 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 he's thick as hell, but like, come on. Louis Muddy beat Sam, remember, guys? Bro, being a plumber is more valuable than to getting a PhD, okay? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but um, especially versus Wii Fit, I think, uh, uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't think you have the tools to deal with Wii Fit. Like, Wii Fit just throws you off the level and you just die. Mm -hmm. Um, Richter does have, if he can get a nice, like, ledge holy fire, he can make it a lot harder for Wii Fit to just play that game, but Doc mm -hmm. can't go anywhere near Wii Fit. Like, Doc just yeah. can't touch it. It, it. it makes it very one-sided dynamic. Whenever you have a dynamic of, like, if you have uh, a character who gets oppressed by rats against the team that has rats on it, it can often make things a lot harder because, like, I just, you, you can't touch them. If you can't touch rats, you can't touch rats. That's how that works. You, you mm -hmm. just get oppressed. And yeah. And the just, cover disparity between the two teams is going to be pretty significant in this matchup. Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. It's also Richter against, against yeah. Winfit Trainer. Yeah. Both of them are going to be so susceptible to just losing their, no, pardon me, losing their stock very early. So they have got to be extra careful about that. Mario I think, uh, Blood against both of them. It's just they're gonna weep. They're just mm -hmm. not gonna. Is it was Mario? Especially Doc. Right. I think like uh, mm -hmm. at the very least, Doc has whip. a tether. Yeah. So like you can maybe get around the flood from time to time, but like Doc will just cry if he gets flooded. Also, if it's against the Belmont, Mario can just run off with a constant hitbox and try and contest it as well. Yeah, just nair yeah. forehead. Uh, MR, MRWE, oh yeah, Tomo got it. Uh, it's already happening off stream, so we're just waiting on the the other Losers Quarters match that is going to be played on stream between Calibre Tech and the team we just saw, Raw and Stronghold, and it looks like we may be doing that. We have most of the teams in the arena already. We're missing someone, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It'll be fine. Everything, just... it'll be all right. Every little thing is going to be all right. We don't want to get Thomas' thing taken down, so we're not going to do that. Like, let's go get a singer. <laughs> what if we just started singing the minor key version of all, all of the songs we want to sing? I you mean, know? dude, sing, some of the songs that are just switched key just sound so interesting. What is it? Take on me. My favorite favorite way to get around DMCA is by using cover songs. Oh, oh yeah. that's smart. Wait, is Smooth McGroove stuff copyrighted? No, but I have explicit permission from 10 Second Songs to use any of his music. Oh. Nice. That's fucking sick. Um, what well, I was... Uh, that fuck. Clever, that's a clever. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a clever workaround. I wonder if you could use like Judy Phonic or a Amelie if you wanted to play like anime music. Maybe. Telmo is logic stuff still copy is still non copyright. I remember a while ago I heard that like none of his stuff was copyrighted for this specific reason. I wouldn't use any of Logic's music because he may very well have samples on it that can't be that, that can't be cleared or that weren't cleared. Yeah, I'd imagine that would be 
harder to work out because of, of sampling. That it, yeah. rap in general is just really hard to do because of how much they sample from other things. So Fuck even DSTA. if it's, we just get it's, it's so a, bad. It's a hard knock life. Just just let us fucking play music. Like what's the pro, what's the big deal? I watched There's Sebastian making music today. So, oh, you you making? Or they're making it today? Yeah, they were they were they were streaming. They were doing a remix of one of the KDA songs on stream. Oh, yeah, cool. it was really cool. You should check out the mod. It was it was interesting to watch what they were doing. All right, we've been getting get the music. <laughs> game number one uh, between Caliber Tech and Troy versus Raw and Stronghold. Raw and Stronghold are the blue team, and Caliber Tech and Troy are the red team. And Caliber Tech and Troy are currently getting rocked. <laughs> Oh, nice act. Great. Okay, I mean, Red Team now uh, has stage control. I've never yeah. seen that visual interaction of soccer ball and holy water. Uh, yeah, it's it's a very buggy, buggy one. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it very much. <sighs> oh, oh let's Mario see v Mario. Yeah, let's see. Get soccer ball there. from the entire other side of the stage. Ooh. Oh, and the forward smash. Don't kill there for caliber tech. Yeah, very clutch. That gives Red Team a nice stock lead. Let's see if they can hold on to it. It's kind of hard with their characters, and indeed, oh. Richter is going to go down. Dr. Mario may not be far behind him. Yeah, that up smash is going to do it. Okay, so even game right now. Yeah, pretty even game. Nice combo from the Dr. Mario, getting lots of damage on this side of the stage. Gets the pill. Can he get the finish? Nope. Oh, and he might get it. Oh. He's so on the level and cover actually very, very clutch up be there from Caliber Tech. Um, you would uh, think that hitting your partner there is bad, but because of the position that uh, Troy was in, Caliber Tech actually saved him in a way. I actually want to comment about Caliber Tech's usage of up be because traditionally in the 1v1 it's a punishable move, especially if it whiffs, but being able to have other people on your double partner means that that laggy landing doesn't really punish you as much. So it's such a good out of shield option to just say get off of me that Belmont it's, doesn't it's usually have. So fast, it can extend combos way past when they should be able to go. It's a it's a really good option that's normally very risky. Oh no! He's getting Mario. He was getting Mario. He's still getting but, Mario. But look at look at Troy Mario. right now being the clutch stock tank that nobody thought would stock tank for Red yeah, Team. Yeah, the Doctor Mario stock tank. He's heavy. That's yeah. rare. Okay, and they killed Troy, and now Caliber Tech is in a very difficult position because he is at 124%. He could get touched and die. Yeah, he's got to hold on to this stock, but he's Richter. It's hard. Despite, despite being uh, gimpable, I feel like these, both of these characters outside of deep breathing don't really have two reliable kill options. Unless uh, he gets backered by his teammate. Uh, well, yeah, that'll, make it, that'll make it a little easier. I was, I was going to say that both Mario and... We fit uh, have up smash and back air respectively, but other than that, Mario also has the best forward smash, smash in the game. Oh yeah, also forward smash, but I wouldn't call that reliable. It's still a smash. Yeah, there's smash up, attack. It's up smash, it's smash attack. Smash attack. Oh, this oh the team call. Oh. Try oh, to get it. Dude, Raz side beats are amazing today. Yeah, he's really been getting that header spike a lot. It's not easy. <laughs> But makes it look easy. Game number one going yeah, the to Incineroar gets a stronghold. Yo, I like the Incineroar replay from like two play. sets ago. <laughs> 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 nice Incineroar oh, replay, Tomo. Haven't quite figured out the replay functionality on uh, on Streamlabs yet. Hotkeys are fun. Tomo saying that he fucked up the hotkeys because he's a buster. He's, uh, Dustin Talmo. Uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes in this crazy mystical thing we call life, you just go out like a buster. It happens. Does it happen to anybody else where you just start getting really tired during commentary? Yes. I yes. a lot. Very tired right now. You fall uh, asleep. All right, no, that takes a cake. That's pretty funny. That takes a cake. I woke up. I woke up at eight p.m. and I am exhausted. Well, I mean, that means you've been asleep, awake for like four hours. That's a lot. Four is a lot of hours to be awake. <laughs> hey, last uh, on Sunday, I was only awake for six hours. I slept for the rest of the day because I was just so tired from work. Yeah, I've done that. 
Yeah, yeah, when I worked at Amazon, that happened to me. I went slept for. I went slept for 14 hours. Uh, We've all worked at Amazon at this point, then. Sheesh. I didn't Dude, know Jack, how's peak right? Now? How's peak for you right now? What? How's peak? I'm only part time. I don't really have to go crazy. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> Oh, I hate Amazon so much. I'm working. A, I'm working another sixty-hour week this week. Bro, that's you're going crazy. Yeah, I'm making a thousand dollars though, but like it's still another yeah. sixty-hour week. Bill Ryan, right. making you do sixty hours, or are you signing up for? Yeah. 60 oh hours? yeah. No, no. It's mandatory. It's mandatory extra time. Jesus. Oh. The switch to Simon. All right, we got a Simon Belmont. That's a rarity in this day and age. Look at that. No. Isn't there? Uh, Sam, you should know the reason, right? Isn't there like a strictly better reason to use Simon over Richter it's or something like that? It's just like, the Olimar it, it's, it's just in this, uh, with the picture. No, 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 but like uh, also in the snake matchup, right? Yeah, in the snake matchup. Uh, oh, I can't remember. The, I, the, I just remember because Wesley the started playing will, Simon will in this matchup. The certain projectiles, whereas Holy Fire, or, or the Blue Fire won't. So it's just objectively yeah. better to use. Uh, Simon, unless it's don't hold me on that. I could be completely talking about oh, this. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think I need to okay, look this, this up later. No, this one we need I to ask Wesley because Wesley, uh, Wesley, he, like picked Simon, I think, that day over Richter versus the snake player at Bay Battles. Interesting. Yeah, so maybe it's, it's got something to it. Gets the four yeah, smash caliber and he's gonna try to go for the edge guard, but accidentally like rolls. I don't think he meant to do that. <gasps> Can the dog get back to stage? Oh no! What killed Mario? I don't know. Okay. All right. Uh, well, that happened. Uh, four. Caliber four attack nine. just up being a neutral. The usual tool. Good air dodge. Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this time there's no platform. The usual. Yeah, this time there's no platforms to help him out, and his partner was a little occupied. So, that is gonna be blue team going up big. Or not big, but they're definitely going up early. But we fit's gonna get taken down, and we are back to parity. Let's see who can get the separation. The Mario combos are coming in, but there's no follow-up from the Wii Fit. Oh no, it's just trading blows for blows. It doesn't matter who's getting hit by what. Things are just landing. Yeah, a lot of chaos. Sometimes that happens in doubles. It's just this mad scramble and someone comes out on top. Oh, yeah. Ooh, holy someone holy fire top. forward smash. Yeah, you gotta watch the holy fire. I will say, for how much I hate caliber text use of up I love his use of holy fire where he You don't like the up -bees? I love the up -bees. They're no, amazing. They're terrible. What? What? He's got punished for like so many times. And he's gotten I mean, so much from it so many times. Yeah, he's, he's just using the move a lot. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just spamming the move because it's way safer to do in doubles and it manages to, to kill pretty early if you can get it high up. It's got a lot of ace knockback. And also a lot of that. That was up. so sick. Did anybody is that see that? Tech, like, down -aired? It, so, so Caliber Tech down aired, and he down aired from so high up that it had no lag when he landed. He immediately yeah. canceled into a holy fire. Oh my gosh, dude, that's really good. Just knowing that's that's just character knowledge. Like just knowing your own character so well. Wee Fit's got to be so careful here. She gets knocked down. I'm not sure she can get all the way back up. Oh, those hula hoops just barely managed to get her back up there. Okay, Ron managed yeah. a decent punish on the dock, but they need something big soon. They're very down Caliber Tech. Oh wait, no, Caliber Tech only has one dock. When did that happen? Oh wait, crap, this is close. Probably got punished for using Upbeat like an idiot. It's so hard to keep track of stocks and doubles. I thought Caliber Tech had two. Oh, up smash, kill oh, him, double to one. I don't even know what happened. Oh, Mario is uh, such a big Mario advantage Mario versus here. Belmont, this is, this is an uphill battle. Yeah, but Belmont is past the percent where he's gonna get Mario. Mario can a Mario can actually kind of struggle to get Mario in on a Mario at Belmont at any point after a back air. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, <laughs> this could be it right that. here though. Oh, like, how is he gonna get back? Belmont's alive, but the uppy puffs. Oh, <laughs> did he? He downed through the holy fire and then back her through the holy fire. That was some Mario privilege right there. Yeah, that was. I'm a good character. And that Ron was... Stronghold gonna take that one. Yeah, Mario's a Mario's a good character, and Stronghold knows how to abuse it. Uh, yep, 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 yep. That was a, a really good, well played by Raw and Stronghold. They just they they managed to get the kills they needed a lot. And I mean, Raw was kind of getting punished near the middle, but 
they they really were taking advantage of some of the things that Gotti was mentioning. The upbees, I don't think were necessarily bad, but there were just way too many. Oh, did he? He did that through the whole Mario, Mario and then back her through Mario the holy fire. That was that some fire Mario just privilege. Just an inch right. away from his head, but he still no manages to get but that back air from the upbee puffs. Like, how does the holy fire not hit him there? That's so shitty. <laughs> Uh, this game fucking sucks. You game blows. You game dude. That hitbox is so much larger than the hurt box. That's that was the mm. only way that would have happened. Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. disjointed for reasons that are unbeknownst to me. I, I, I don't quite. I understand think it was it. just the last hit. Maybe because if it was anything else, I think it would have interacted. Maybe, but uh, I, I, no, 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 it wasn't. Because he popped like it after. It. Yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't. And Looks like no, now we're going to be seeing. <laughs> I think uh, we're going to be seeing a team. Did we? Have we seen Frog and Chase? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. We did. I'm Frog. I cannot Frog. remember what they played for the Lions. Yeah, but we did see them. They lost to uh, Vikita and Kafeik. Oh. Oh, I see. They lost them 2 0. Um, oh, they're the Bayonetta player, aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, wait, were they the one who played Zelda as well? Was that the team that played Zelda? Or was that the DDD team that played Zelda? No, that was Vikita Cafe. The DDD team was playing Zelda. I think these guys were Bayonetta and Palutena? Question mark? This is best of five. five. We are in losers' semis. Fun, fun, fun. Always love me a good best of five. Love seeing doubles here. How are y'all enjoying the doubles action, everyone out there? Happy that we got some doubles again, or just can't wait for singles next week? It's okay to be wrong. I can't wait, for, can I can't wait for locals, that's what I can't wait for. I mean, it's okay that's wrong. a game. Come on now. It's like tattooed on everyone's brain is just, when can I... Uh, when can I... Uh, Henlo? Henlo trifecta of commentators? What is... He Nick, what is Henlo? That's that's a that's an Austinism. No, that's an Austinism. I know what that is. That's an Austinism. Yeah, it's it's old internet. No, that's not just Austin. Austin picked it up from old internet that has then been turned into an Austinism. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's one of those like early two thousand or yeah, new two thousand. You didn't get that Austin from okay, but the fact Nick, but the fact that both you and Austin say it must say something then. I don't God, say it. I know it's origin. You're 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 saying danger is a wire. Don't be surprised if Nick doesn't talk to you for a few days. <laughs> You'll just make him stop. Yeah. No, Nick, you should just stop. You could also just make yourself stop. That, yeah. that, Come on, it. get some help. <laughs> All right, Frogger and Bubbles are in the arena. We're gonna get underway any second now. This is indeed the Bayonetta Palutine, if I am recalling correctly. How are we thinking that's gonna match oh, up against huh? the Mario and the Wii Fit Trainer? I feel like disjoints are gonna be in on the side of uh, Palutena Bayo, just kind of able to put their bodies out, able to trade one for one. It's more more so just positioning for the other team then. <laughs> At that point, capitalizing on lag or an entrance. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie, Palu shits on both these characters, so that's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Palu, Palu doesn't lose many matchups, what can I say? One of her losing matchups is on the screen, though. Hey, but this Man. is the one, not the one she's playing again. Yeah, hey, she does lose the Bayo. Really? I, I, I've never actually played the matchup. I only played Falcon against Bayo. Falcon gets shit on, by the way. That, that's not a fun matchup for Falcon. Pilot actually so. has a good time against Bayonetta. Like, all your characters are actually no Palu doesn't, but Lucas has a good time against Bayo too. Come on. Ah, yeah. Old Smash 4 matchups, baby. Alright, getting into game number one, we have the yellow team in a red dress. That's heinous. That's crazy. Uh, can, can we get like Sean Briscoe oh, on the setup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tito Sean, can we please uh, get him over here to yell at some people? Uh, you? Yeah, dude. Bro, people uh, okay. use the opposite color comp like with the, the different tag. It's just it's so wrong. It's like it's so, yellow team with so red gross. against uh, red yellow. Well, okay, okay, t okay. Shout outs to shout outs to Raw. Shout outs to Raw for using red team with red we fit. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it's okay to be white Mario. There's no white team, so who gives a crap? And he also has red accents. Yeah. Which, it also lets the red pop out against the red, uh, white. 
I guess. A just... Nice up smash from Bubbles on the Mario train. Oh, oh I am behind. E oh, are you, you now? There we go. Okay, so it looks like Bubbles is Chase, by the way, and then uh, Frogger's. Frog is or Frog is Frogger. That's what I, I, would, I would assume. Boom. Uh, Telmo has the names wrong. However, this is Raw and Stronghold, not Caliber Tech. Troy Anthony. Someone's not doing their job. Just saying. You can have all the fancy stream equipment in the world, but you can't get some names right. Or give us a replay on that. Very yeah. I get you. No, 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 no. There it is, Ron Stronghold. It's alright, tell me. Oh, you're Kobe. back. Oh races. Oh my Dude. god, that, no, you that was very worried worried. for a while. From, that was actually from coast to coast. That was like, yeah. from... That was from left That was platform. from Fremont to New Albany, Indiana. <laughs> Straight oh, out Jesus. of New Albany. Oh, that poor Mario yeah. could not get out of the field. Okay, yeah. there he is. Oh? Oh, Dude, Hurricane is in a bad like a spot. Team. Wait, why would they give up that pressure? Oh, well, I get to get a back air. Yeah. Why did they take across the road? Not a back air of Bayonetta. Yeah, that's not a bad way to do it. It's a good reason to get across Wait, the road. Especially in Smash. But wants to cross the road. <gasps> oh, that means he's got to avoid the trucks. I guess Mario back a truck. It, <laughs> it certainly know. feels like it sometimes. Oh. Oh, oh, Mario should be dead oh, okay. oh, no. Good air dodge. Wait, no, that was SDI. Up? That was good SDI. Yeah, just managed to get out of that last string that would have killed him. Yeah, the forward air would have for sure done it. Oh. Okay. That time I think Frogger just messed up his combo or something. I don't know. Yeah, could be the case. Um. Probably just playing the projectile game. Actually, I think it's like very risky to do that too. Explosive flame is not the best move, I think, in doubles. Yeah, um, I, 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 I actually wholeheartedly disagree. Explosive flame is very good because it's a precision projectile. You can place it. You can. Yeah. Yeah. If you do have the air to range to like, the T, you can just say, "All right, well, they're not going to land there. I'll just cover." You're where pretty it much is. most of the time just priced into doing long explosive flame though, because your teammate is most likely going to be where close explosive flame is, meaning that like it's pretty easy to tell where it's <gasps> going to be. Yeah, so that, that, that can often be true, but a, a lot of the time you can also get your teammate out of a sticky situation from very far away by just hitting everyone with explosive flame. Yeah. Maybe that's just like the Falcon player in me that I just want to just run there and dash attack them. Nah, it's got a lot of practical applications in doubles. I love yeah. explosive flame in doubles. I think it's got a thousand and one uses. All right. I like, uh, I like auto reticle. That, that I, I actually, I think kind of auto reticle is kind of weak. I think that's pretty... Uh, 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 auto reticle is also because it will never um it won't target It'll never target your teammate. It won't yeah, target but it's the, the the duration of it staying out in terms of like arc coverage. It isn't just like I'm placing this here. It's this is covering a sweeping angle of the stage that yeah. you can interact with. But if you're, in a, if you're in a sandwich scenario, it's really good because it's hard to get around and it gives your teammate a really nice opening. So, yeah. Yeah. Palutena's, uh, they're hard to use, is the problem with her projectiles, is that you really need to learn how to use them. I don't oh, like wow. that version out of witch time at all. Like, you oh, can't, really how do you smart. do that? There was he a witch shielded time. the back throw and then waited for the lag after the back throw to up smash. That was awesome, that's really hard. <sighs> nice combo, they're I playing love, so well. I love that. Yeah, they're playing very well, this team. Oh, I love that too. I love doing Nair into Explosive Flame. It's not a true combo, but it, it like it will work most of the time. And if it doesn't work, your opponent is in such a terrible position. Let's shot back. Let's do it. Bullet, bullet climax. If... Very hard. Yeah, even if the ledge jump didn't work out there and the person buffered an option, then like they were just gonna deal with Bayonetta instead. Mhm. Mm yeah. Probably it, it, doing uh, EBK or something. It was a really good pin because it was just. Panetta doing bullet climax, just charging it, so it made it so Weefit couldn't go up. But if you go down, you're like, you had a ledge trumped or nared. It's just really, really hard to get around that when they have so much aerial de area denial. Yeah, and that's like, uh, I think that's like such a big part of doubles too. Is like, and that I think that's what the Palutena Bayo team is so good at is just that their hitboxes cover such a large amount of space that. You'll you'll just be able to take stage control just basically for free most of the time. 
Well, it's just since it, they are really good at forcing 1v1s because if one of them gets a hit on a on a player, that player is out. They're they're out for the next five seconds. You know, that that is five seconds of a 1v1. So at that point, yeah. it's just your character versus their character. And Bayonetta and Palu are both fine characters in their own right. And if you're already ahead, you love Side the trait. I fucking uh, dude, am I not a prophet? Yep, he'll slide. He'll slide. Kick to start the classic bayonetta. Bayonetta sometimes forget that they have other moves that can start things off. What is a combo starter? <laughs> uh, side B. Them up. Well, what does that do? How do I get that side B? Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Fox trap down tilt or something? I don't know. No. Yeah. The the real mix up is just run up grab. And into what? And back throw into Palu. <laughs> no, the true mix up is standing still <laughs> and good timing when they approach you. The standing just, still the spot. The true mix up is just standing still. If there's no, oh, nothing else. No, you're the true mix up apparently is killing yourself off stage on accident as Bayonetta. That should never be happening, but the. Uh, recovery was just not there from Frogger. Bubbles is a I actually see Bayo's SD all the time, because yeah. they use their recovery as like an offensive tool. Ooh, Chase with the great side B to manage- oh, Did you shield grab that? That's a fucking- Oh, that was a sick warp kid! Yeah, Chase is playing with Mario gas Mario. right now. He is holding onto this stock so well. He's at 39%, dude, that's- Okay, that's some fucking Conrad shit right there. Yeah, that's just not taking damage, but he's still doing so much. Like, he has been doing a ton of damage and has just not been taking much in return. And while Frogger's kind of getting bopped, he's not getting bopped hard enough to make up for the fact that they just haven't been hitting this Palutena at all. He tries to get the pivot grab, but gets grabbed for his own troubles. I like the yeah, idea that they were going to approach, but it was just a moment's difference. Yeah. There's the fling. Get him out of here. Okay, a soccer ball again. And really good. At now, I think blue team is now in just such a. Oh, oh never oh, mind. Dude. Bad counter there from uh, Palutena using her probably her worst move there. Like yeah. one of her few bad moves. Counter is just so unreliable. So many other characters in the game can figure out how to take an attack and give that attack back. Palutena. Hasn't really figured that one out yet. Tries to get the up air off of the Bayonetta combo, but is just not able to jump quite up there. Doesn't have the ups. Bayonetta pummeling her teammate. And uh, pummeling leg grabbing. Oh, spot touch up smash on the ledge from uh, from Chase and. Oh, I don't like the up air follow up there, but they at least get like a little bit of damage. But stocks are relatively even right now. Slight percent advantage for yellow team. So let's see what they can do with that. Yeah, if they manage to get rid of this refit stock, it might be a little bit better. Oh, okay, Mario, but the ceiling's too high. Yeah, that was smart by Chase to try to go for that explosive flame, but it just ended up hitting Bayonetta. It, w it was almost... Oh, no DI! No DI for Ron, he's gonna get down throw backwards. It's so important to DI the down throw outwards. Yeah, you even when you're at the ledge, it can feel so much like everything in your body is screaming "di in" to get to not die, but you're just killing yourself if you do that. Actually, di in is by far the worst. Then you get down throw up here. Yeah, and then it's just then it's just free. All right, but relatively even, actually exactly even game right now. I would say. Yeah, I would. I would say if. If Stronghold and Raw didn't have such great killing potential on their side oh. of the screen, and you mean like exactly that. like that, that she would be one. But up smash respawn. Now it's a 1v1. Only 60% on the Wii Fit, but deep breathing is online. We've seen this exact situation before. Palu versus Wii Fit. I will say Palutena is still advantaged here. Absolutely. Especially now that deep breathing is gone, this matchup is just so garbage for Wii Fit. Wait, you're going for you're going for what? I wouldn't even go for that warp cancel. That was a weird warp cancel. I know I don't warp cancel on town and city, man. Those platforms are weird. They have mind of their own. Kind of warp cancel ego is can be a pretty powerful thing. The I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. This oh, is love the use of up smash. Even yeah. Just, to, like, just something to ward off the ball. 
it's normally up smash on ledge is like a decent option against Wii Fit. It is amazing because it completely denies ledge jump shenanigans from Wii Fit. Yeah. Oh my god, and he's just playing around the ledge hop ball option so well. This is why it's this matchup's ass. <laughs> oh, no, that was an accident. That was an accident. It hit the, it hit the that was an accident. Ball. No, that was an accident. Every time it what? Palo, every time Palu forward tilt, it's an accident. No, I did that. Even a sour spot would have killed there. That was smart. Yeah, no, that no, was, that's character knowledge. Forward tilt stays dude. out longer than any of her other moves, and it kills pretty early. And that is going to stays longer. Than, stays out longer than us. Smash, no way. Yeah, it does. Totally. Up smash stays up for twenty one frames. Stays up for eighteen frames. Forward tilt lasts wait. for a long time. Eighteen it frames. Okay, wait. I'm, oh no, I confused it with Puff Nair because I was yeah, comparing Puff Nair that. Twenty one. Puffner is actually 25. I looked it up. Oh, I don't know. Puff, Frank, that off the top of my head. Puff's not important. Puff is <laughs> Puff is actually a really good good doubles character. What do you mean? That is true, but I don't care about frame data and doubles. 2K out. Which makes me so mad that base mage DQ'd. Yeah, it is a sad day. All right, we're going into game number three. Frog and Chase up, and they have just been playing really well. Managed to get the 1v1 in that. E even though it felt like Ra and Stronghold were probably playing the 2v2 a little bit better, I if you can't win the 1v1, you're not going to be able to win the doubles match a lot of the time. They went back to, to Town and City. Deeming that I I'm a little interested. Right choice, but... Oh, oh, big combo. Wait. Big, big, combo, big combo, combo, combo there for... <laughs> Wait, okay, I was about to say, that's a really sick Mario and Palu combo, then I realized that Mario and Palu are not on the same team. Yeah, no, Pal Palutena was just so excited to be involved in a combo that... Uh, it's again! How many times <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! They're just training spikes left and right, that's like, like that the fourth that type of spike that we've seen from this player. That was yeah, the biggest no you have ever there. seen. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You get down there. Get, get out of here. You can't do that. Ooh, that's a Chad power shield. Holy hell. Oh, combo starting. Oh, oh I got that up there. Frogger and, uh, Frogger and Chase are really playing with gas right now. They are yeah, looking... I... I actually would say that they're, like, by far the team I've seen that has, like, you know, that plays, like, an actual doubles team. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, far, they, they're playing around each other so well. Like, I've seen any time the Bayonetta gets an upbeat, you kind of notice that the Palutena just shifts to looking for when the Bayonetta is going to stop comboing and looking for the yeah. up air. That being said, uh, Red Team is currently the one up in stocks, and Mario is maybe getting a combo? Nope, it's Bayonetta. She can just get out for free. Yeah, I actually think that Chase could have... Oh, yeah, right there, looking for, there that, for, looking for the conversion there. Yeah, they've been looking for which twist to up air this entire time, and I've just realized saying which twist to up air out loud how ridiculously broken that is. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's such yeah. a channeled thing. I'm gonna be stuck here for a little bit. Come on over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, They're, don't worry. I got them nice and served up on a platter for you. If you could just, if you could, just, thank you. And, and think somewhere about it. near Palms me. Hitbox is so fucking big. Yeah, and which, I don't really have to know where it's directly coming out, as long as it intersects. Yeah, and which twist comes out so fast, and is actually very consistent with where it sends. It always sends them forward. It always sends them the direction Bayonetta is facing. So mm -hmm. it makes it really easy for Palutena to know where she needs to be for that up air, and they have been capitalizing off of that this game. That being said, it is still pretty close, and Palutena is looking like she might be a little far off stage. Oh no, Chase! Oh no, she gets axe kicked! By her own... Eight. All right, let's see if they can. Uh, oh no, and Chase in a bad situation again. But Palutena's recovery is pretty good, so she will be able to make it back. But now Frogger losing his stock too, and Red Team suddenly up. It was much as we were talking about Yellow Team. Yeah, Yellow Team has been playing well, but they haven't been finding nearly as many early stocks as this stronghold and Raw have been. Oh my goodness, that Mario combo was disturbing. There's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Raw got an up smash. Smash. Yeah. And now we have kind of okay. So the Mario having low percent, I don't think is as big of a deal as if it was Wii Fit having low percent. Mario. Oh, 
Mara has a lot less to provide in the isolated case than yeah. compared to a weak in the 2v1. Yeah, and, and Mario's just got far less survivability and frustration power than we fit. Ooh, tried to get a little oh, too back at clipping it. <laughs> Alright, now we got a really, really important 2v1. I think that, like, they, they gotta, they gotta, really they gotta, they gotta, like, stay sharp right here. It's so easy to mess up the 2v1 sometimes. Yeah. I feel like in this matchup in particular, Mario's gonna have a tough time kind of contesting what they could throw. Oh, that was yeah. so sick! Did you, did you fucking see the ledge hop up beat? The ledge hop up beat to set up that up smash. It just popped him right over that ledge. Because it sucks you in, but they managed to get an instant replay on that? over. Yeah. Can we get an instant replay that on that? Please. That was so fucking. The ledge hop up beat to set up the up smash. Frog and Chase are fucking awesome. This is my that favorite was, team so far. That was crazy! That was so cool! That is the victory screen. <laughs> that was what that's tell. not. And Palutena sure does look triumphant. That's... She knows what she did. Yeah. <laughs> I did that's that. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. we can we can reenact the up beat through the holy fire and then back her through. The oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're getting used to it. This is the first week we've had instant replay technology. How does it work? Like the uppy goes like this. Give it tell them all. Yeah, and then Palich goes like this. So I just the through the holy fire. Do I have like a laser pointer? We don't have it. It's dead. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Me and Jack did a pretty. Wait, there's three people. All right, so there's the comboed. No, the combo. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I can do the uppy. I can do the uppy. Watch this. Watch this. Let me I don't. I don't have a laser. I don't have a laser pointer. Give me. Give me a sec. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. And then like, also, and then, like she's like know, doing up smash. I also, you know, I don't think that I can. What does she do during witch twist? What is she Who? doing? She's spinning. She, she goes like this. She's like she twisting like, and like shooting spinning. and spinning. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whatever. Anyways, we're oh, gonna get into the losers. There. Here we go. Ah! Yeah, the little. Woo! Woo! Yeah, Jack's got it. Alright, uh, there we go. Oh, I haven't ever done that before here. I wanna play along. Witch twist! I'm kind of a dominatrix, but kind of not! <laughs> what do you mean, kind of? Like because this is a kid-friendly game. Well, this is a kid-friendly game, so we can't outright call her a dominatrix. I think I can. I think we can. I'm still... Uh, how is Bayonetta in Smash Bros? Can we, like, talk about that? Oh, yeah. People like, are like, oh, they can't add Master Chief. Bruh. <laughs> what is, do you see what you're looking at right now? It, the rules Bayonetta have been changed. Is most She's so stripperific, and like, it's just what, what, what? She's you know, not she's wearing like, clothes. She's literally wearing her own hair. Yeah, don't, don't be so high and mighty with. But the kids might be mad about seeing things that don't exist get blown up. I mean, do you, have, do you remember the original Super Smash Brothers cart, uh, advertisement? That I. Yeah. You mean the, oh, the I one with like Yoshi? The one with like Yoshi? The one where they're all like, it's like yeah, a mascot, they're like, just completely the like, suplexing each other and diving off of stuff, it's amazing. Let me see if oh. I can find that. Oh, I, I, I thought, thought you were talking about the, uh, the, 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 the 64 commercial, the one where like, yeah. the one where like, they're, they're on like, like, like suits and they're just like, actually beating the shit out of each other. Yeah, 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 I saw, I, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah, I know, I know it because it's got that song in the background, the one that I'm talking about. Yeah. Right, well, we're going to be back to Vegeta and K-Bake. Haven't seen him in a while. Let's see if they can slow down the momentum that Chase and Frog have built up. They're just working so well together right now, and it doesn't look like it's slowing down, getting a massive combo onto the DDD to start things off. Yeah, Frogger in particular just, like, not getting hit right now. Mm, Using yeah. Bayonetta's mobility so well. Yeah, and that's the thing. Bayonetta is a re can be a really frustrating character to kill, so I'd imagine that Frogger can take on that stock tank role pretty easily. We also have to remember both that both characters of these can. characters do not have fast moves. I think the only thing that really comes out fast is like DDD Nair. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, all the that's neutral about too. it. It's all the yeah. neutral too. Alright, fair mm -hmm. enough. Oh, but, like, that's not a threat. Right. From Chase. That's what's that was terrifying something. about this mashup. I feel like they're just outclassed in terms of that type of stuff. They don't really convert. To, no! They can convert, oh, but they just don't. No, he DI'd. Threaten. So, so with DDD upper, you want to DI the throw out, but the upper, you want to DI it in. 
because it sends mm. in the opposite direction that you would think. Yeah, it's super weird, and and it's it's again, it's one of those Palo Tana situations. You get down thrown a oh bullet, God. You're scared of dying, but you just got to DI away. That's your teammate, yeah. Frogger. He, 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 he got confused for a second. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Fog of war, fog of war. You never know. She has a dress. It's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> She has yeah. a dress. Oh my goodness! A dress, a vaguely magical air about her. She. Vaguely. Order, she orders a very twinky guy around a lot <laughs> who has a bow and arrow. Okay, who also has a bow? Dude, you're they're, reminding they're me of like the same person. Short, spiky hair, scrawny lads. <laughs> she has spiky hair, scrawny lads with bow and arrows. Yeah, Zelda and Palutena, same person. <laughs> You reminded me of this thing where like Hugs was ranking like fo like best fox players ever, and he was trying to give something to Chillin' Dude. He was like, okay, best neutral fox player that's also a rapper, and he's like, no, I can't even do that because Mike Hayes is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's poor Chillin'. Oh man, life is hard for Chillin' Dude. Such a he, nice he's player. not a neutral fox player. He lost neutral fox. Yeah, no, he got a... neutral fox back. Well, he got... did he win it back? No, he, he just, just was giving it back. Just gave it to him back. Well, oh, by the way, the oh, game over. Just... And, and we're going into game two. Yeah, apparently, apparently we're going into game two. I don't know what happened. It's yeah, just... got nothing. Um, So, uh, about that momentum. Um, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. I thought this dude was supposed to be so much better than this. That was so up. awkward. What happened? Because we were, we were hyping them up so much and they just yeah, they like, got shit so on. Man, they these two so can't calm they these up. guys. They're gonna get chewed alive. They don't have the speed. They don't have nothing. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> they, they just started like... Are, Words. <laughs> do you remember in Worlds? Uh, <laughs> do you remember in Worlds? I think it was Worlds 2019 when G2 played against Griffin, and everyone was like, "Gee, Griffin's gonna get chewed alive by G2," and then they freaking rocked him in two consecutive games, and all the analysts were just like, "I got nothing. I, I don't know what just happened." <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think I watch much Worlds 2019. E, Alright, EU is just the king of bustering when it matters Buster's most. So hard. Oh wait, there's a Rob just... on screen! Yo, there's not no, a that's Palutena! Not, that's not a, yeah. Rob! I think Rob kind of sucks doubles, actually. Again. Compared to singles, I think Rob actually is like, not as good at doubles. I yeah, okay. Angry. This is This is the counter pick, is now there's no way Frogger's gonna get confused um, with who uh, is who. You say that, but he was just getting comboed by the Bayonetta earlier this stop. Oh, well. Frogger <laughs> may need to visit an optometrist at some point in the near future. <laughs> that is some shenanigans going on on that side. <laughs> what a hold. Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Whoa. Doesn't DI the proper man, That man is the smartest man alive. Yeah, Chase. Don't go into the fucking bayonetta side beat. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chase, Chase, <laughs> oh, got her. He's literally fucking doing neutral beat right in front of you. Why would you? Maybe it was they calling are... out the dropping of it, but like. They're falling Rick apart, like right in front of my eyes. So sad. Oh no. <gasps> the oh, boys. Play with them. Oh Maybe. no. You can do better than this. We've seen oh, better hey. than this. I believe in you. Kill DDD. Yeah. That's just 34%. Am I? Uh, uh. Alright, DDD's getting getting combo. Oh, the laser, laser goes wide. The reset on the platform from the Zelda, but unfortunately the DDD was getting combo. Nice combo. save! Yeah. Nice save from the Zelda, punishing the lag of the up air. Again, I actually don't think Rob is that good at doubles, I don't know. I, no, Rob Rob goes down a lot of tears. Most projectile characters that, that really rely on projectiles and zoning just aren't oh. quite as good in doubles, and Rob is especially bad because his startup frames and his like, coverage options are frankly awful. 
Maybe they just wanted to put a bigger body on the on the board against what they're dealing with, just because. I'm pretty need... sure. I don't think. I'm pretty sure Rock is still in chat. Rock, right. can you? Rock, can you confirm this for me? Is Rob what? is Rob worse than doubles? I'm pretty sure Rob is still. Oh, I think he's 100 percent worse than doubles. Yeah, I I don't know. It, it, it just feels like Rob <laughs> with his terrible card up frame. He doesn't have fantastic mobility. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe this is Chase's actual character. Who knows? Maybe Chase is a Rob main that was just playing Palutena for doubles. Oh, but that down tilt to back here, and wait, they're in the lead. Yellow team's in the lead. Oh, wow! Oh, because preemptively, they knew that was preparation. Oh, and they're oh, oh, they're taunting. Oh, oh, man. Don't be a Smash 4 Bayonetta. You're better than that. Both of them you, are taunting. Sam, this Sam, Sam, what do you mean? Have you played against Izzy? Have you played oh, against Izzy before? Please lose. Please Have you played against Izzy? Oh. Up tilt, up air. I'm rooting for her. Oh. 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 His own teammate. It didn't even hit the Zelda. No, but it was still fucking hype. It was so hype. Well, yeah. All right. You can only I hit so much. Well, okay. Well, we kind of shit on this pick the whole time, and and it worked. Yeah, what can I say? We just don't know what we're talking about anymore. Like. Uh, I don't know, I, give us the chef like, or something. I feel like Rob is worse than doubles to Palu. Palu's probably like second best doubles character in the game. Yeah? I, I mean oh again, God, I it might it. be that Chase is a Rob player. You never know. Yeah, never yeah. know. Alright, well, uh what can what can Vikita and Kafake do? Like, what, what do you think the adjustment should be? Uh, the main thing is that they were just kind of letting Bayonetta go off. I, and, like, I, I, I'm pretty sure that Bayonetta was the one doing most of the damage that game. So they, yeah. they've got to be careful, like, just letting her do whatever the hell she wants. Just the big body while Rob occupied anyone that wanted to do anything. and Yep. It, just Bayonetta against big lads. Don't really have a chance. Oh, mm -hmm. went back. Went uh, back to Palutena after that worked? Okay. Oh, um, I've done that before. Uh, Alright, keep your opponent on your toes, and I guess it was a little Remember, bit of the strategy. Game Sam, two. you were watching the set in Genesis, the, 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 the set uh, in Genesis playing as the Peach player. I, I won as Joker and then went back to Palu. It's mind games. How do you yeah. not expect the immediate explosive flame? How do you not see that coming? When Palutena's in the back, the only thing she's going to do to you is explosive flame. How can I hit you? Away. Yeah. I'm too far away to get anything else. Bayonetta, by the way, doing insane work again on this, particularly on... Goodness. Uh... On Vikita, the DDD, because... Like, you know... Hey, once once Bayonetta hits more. DDD, it can be, like, really, really difficult. This is chaos! Holy crap! I cannot even keep track of what's currently going on. They're they're just I'm trying running at each other. Okay, oh. I managed to get the witch with a little bit of lag. That gave us a moment to actually process what's going on. Oh. Perfect shielding the downer. Oh whoa Wait. whoa! The worst part is that I have internet lag too, so I can't actually tell what's going on most of the time anymore. Oh, don't put on. <gasps> Tries to punish oh. the bad. On the stage and gets killed for his troubles, and Yellow Team is down a whole stock. But it looks like it looks like Yellow Team might be able to make it back up. There's the back here, and we're back to so much death. We're back to complete parody. Everyone just died one after the other. But here's the Bayonetta combo. That down tilt to reset the combo was really nice, but she still probably doesn't get as much as she would have wanted. Of the blue moon was getting carried away. Yeah, I think you could definitely combo DDD for like an extra 50% there. Yeah, if, if, if you find a better extension. I'm not a Bayonetta player, so I could not tell you what that is. <laughs> oh. Can we get like CPU in the chat or something to tell us? Thank god I'm not. Oh, All you right. could have stopped the multi bit. Uh, that yeah, was I, a very I, strange I, interaction with that Gorda. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. It was, uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I saw. Was it bouncing on the ledge, but because it was moving forward, the roll <gasps> off the ledge? Yo! Uh, okay, yeah. Vikita almost had the, like, sickest fucking, like, play I've ever I'm seen. That would have actually been playing the game. Okay, alright. 
Last game, yellow team was all about the BM, and now Richard is swinging back. Yeah, they they are not taking it. Blue team is just yeah. Y'all y'all can taunt. We got taunts too. This is even, fairly. Obviously, nope. Zelda has a, a percent Dell stock lead, but one uh, Zelda having a stock is actually very important. Okay, yeah, well it's taunt now, but like right with a death wish against everyone. It's concerning, but it's it's, strong it's a lot harder to die in doubles than it is in singles. I feel that like that is true. Mm -hmm. You can definitely stall no. out your death a lot easier. Ah, uh, Chase just playing like brain dead or something, doing just like nares in place over and over again, hoping that somebody yeah. will run into it. Just jabbing as well, like he was just randomly jabbing. I mean, I'm not sure entirely what he was doing, but that's okay. He's, oh. he's getting nervous. I don't know. Uh, Frogger is at a very high percent and needs to be very careful. Gets the combo on the Zelda. There's nothing DDD can do oh, to even stop. Really yeah, poor okay. DDD is just helpless to watch as Zelda gets comboed for a year. Oh my goodness! Tries to bow within away from the DDD up here, but goes back down into the multi hit and dies. Now it's a 2v1. That went in very oh. inconsistent. <laughs> Oh, oh no, he's still good, he's still good, he's still good. Oh, that would have been so funny if he hit his partner away and then whacks the enemy. Gets it anyways, this guy <laughs> gets his ledge traps. Zelda, Zelda should have done the like the bye bye taunt. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Yeah, this this DDD is really consistent with the ledge traps. He gets them like a majority of the time. It's it's amazing. Hmm. Fuck, dude, I hate it. Why does commentating make me tired? It make me tired. Bro, you've been awake for four hours. I'm still very <laughs> Actually, no, five and a half, excuse you. I'm sorry, excuse me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what it is, but I tend to yawn a lot on commentary, too. It's I not that I'm tired. I get it. I'm tired right now. Oh, I'm still very I could actually go. To, I could actually go to sleep right now. Like, not even gonna, not even gonna cap here. See, you're gonna, you're like, gonna miss all this hot doubles action? This game is so close. I'm so excited. Like Frogger and Palutena, uh, Frogger and Chase were looking so good, but now it looks like maybe Vikita and K Fake have it out. They're just going back and forth. <laughs> oh, I just realized there's no way to choose which team you are, so that's why he's red dress Palutena on not red team. But this time. They got lucky and no one's really the wrong color. Well, the blue team got blue. The blue team like, got blue. Uh, are you sure? I don't think there's a way to blue choose on, online, right? I, I saw people switching between colors before. I don't know mm. if that was their own volition or if it was just the system. Oh, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm nuts and these people are just psychopaths. Yeah. Uh, alright, well, anyways. Looks like right now, uh, Yellow Team having complete control over the stage. We were talking about this earlier, how Palu and Bayo can just use their big hitboxes to just kind of get center for free. Mm hmm Makes sense that they would go to a tri-plat for sure, uh, because the, both these characters get enormous extensions off that top platform. That being said, they are Palu both... Palu in particular, friends. actually. Yeah, they're both very high percent, though Palutena is holding down this stock very well, hasn't taken a whole lot yet. Another thing very too high with movement ability, uh, characters, so weaving between these platforms it puts just a lot of general pressure that the other ones can't really match, just given the yeah. speed of their characters. I was just about to say how important uh, warp cancelling is to Palu. I actually think it's so important to Palu's game. Maybe not so much in doubles, but like it's No, please don't! Okay! Oh, he DI'd it well. Uh, he he DI'd it well, uh, but I don't know what happened to Frogger, I guess he just, you know. But, uh, yep. anyways, yeah, warp cancelling very important to Palu. Tripods enable warp cancelling very well. Nice lightning kick there from K Fake. Mm hmm. Okay. Palu, Bayonetta is gonna get a nice combo started, and it's just that the DDD is not gonna be able to participate. He's not gonna be able to help out due to the fact that Palutena is keeping him on the ledge. Oh, the Gordo got knocked back into the DDD by the auto reticle, and that is going to be the stock for Vakita. Yeah, that's like one of the reasons, like one of the many reasons why Palu shits on DDD. Yep, auto reticle is just <laughs> such a strong tool in the matchup. Oh, uh, train. Uh, 
the Nair train, there was actually like... Disparity. Oh, nice! Way to go out there for it, but it doesn't actually manage to kill the DDD so tanky! Oh, no, oh. he whipped the forward oh. smash! Or the smash. Yeah, yeah, the band ended up. In that matchup, I don't really think that she's too threatened going out for those back airs against DDD, because DDD can sit in the air for a little while, but going out and trading with a back air, I don't really. It's not too. It risky. can be hard, dude. DDD, DDD's forward air is not something to mess with. It's true, but she's at such a low percent that it it doesn't matter. If you get hit by the forward air, you're like, okay, whatever. But if you hit the back air, you kill him. Like right there, she does, and she manages to kill him. And yellow team is currently a stock up. We may be going. Yeah. They actually were going through like a pretty big combo right there, but they were, uh, Blue Team was oh, able to break out of it. Oh no, but this could be a no, no, not quite. The forward air not killing off the top. Great like patience from Ace just waiting for the tech roll and then finding the back air afterwards. But they are now both on their last stock, and Bayonetta could easily take a few hits and then end up out of here. That's how fast doubles can move, so I would not say this game is over by Fantastic! Yeah, exactly right! And now, now it's all. Chase suddenly, they were up so much, so but quickly. he's got to find a kill the onto the Zelda in particular. He yeah. wants the 1v1 against the DDD. That's such a good matchup for Paladin. Yeah. See, in this situation, neutral B and Zelda is going to be so paramount. But it gets the ledge trump. Skill. Oh, we got and a 1v1 this is here. Hard. This is just hard. DDD versus Palutena is a also very hard very matchup. Strong. Look at that auto reticle just beating out the Gordo. So little that DDD can do about it. Gets nared. Are you sure, Sam, that this matchup is hard for Palu? Or hard okay. for DDD? This matchup is hard for Palu. This matchup is hard for DDD. But this matchup is also hard for Sam, and unfortunately, that beats out. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that beats out the Palutena thing. I don't know what to do against the freaking penguin. You just you throw press the thing. neutral B button and you win. It doesn't you... work. He runs at me. <laughs> you, you had the opportunity to laugh Fat against Silent and you didn't. The fat man does a star and I get, I get scared. I get scared. Oh, oh. oh that was so close to being a good aerial drift from uh, oh my yeah, Makita. Yeah, Chase just it's has control, so though. Nice. It's gonna be so hard. Nice rollout, doesn't get Chase, hit. Chase, I will say, Chase has to still <gasps> play well because something like that can just kill. <laughs> so easily, too. He should have rolled. You should know that the best option wow. against DDD with the Legends roll. Or at least I, uh, like when, he, when he's looking for dash attack. Measure to show that he is winner, and they are going to go Dude. to grand finals. MRW, you are going to get to play, my friend. I can't wait for all the shit that's going to be talked inside the Smash.gg chat. It's like, man, you guys are taunting me. You guys are fucking garbage, you piece of fucking shit. That's <laughs> taunted too, don't act like you're little angels, little fuck boys. Dude, yeah. you guys are fucking playing Palutena, dude. You guys are Let's fucking carry, it. dude. <laughs> yeah, that Palutena just lost to a DDD and a Zelda. Look at a tier list sometime, motherfucker. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> oh. Yo. Oh, shit. You, you hate this game? Yeah, you're right. This game sucks. We should all just go play Lethal League. Does, no. does Lethal League have no. doubles? Anyone no. else play Lethal League? We should play doubles? Lethal League. You should play that one game that was on the Super Switch Smash before Brothers Smash Melee. came out. Bro, oh, Smash Sleepy. Flash 2? How about that? Yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, yo. Smash Flash 2. Yo, my Bowser, my Bowser kind of sick. Uh, Sam Sam's Ichigo? My Lloyd? I love Lloyd's Ichigo. Insane, bro. Ichigo can wave that, yo. It's so cool. <laughs> I, I, I played Bowser because I hated playing it. I played Bowser in that game because I hate playing against Fox. So I just can't, I just like do the Marth thing and I chain grab Fox to death. Because Bowser can zero to death Fox off of, off of a grab. That's silly. Yeah, yeah a single up grab. Into up the, yeah, up throw, up throw, up throw, up throw. Into like up till up throw, up throw. And then, like, you just throw him off the level and edgeguard him. Pikachu! <laughs> yeah. It's so funny how because it's Axe, we just give it a pass and we turn a blind eye. And we only mention the Marth chain grab. And we just kind of went, well, <laughs> Pikachu is up throwing Fox. We just kind of look the other way. And then we turn around and I have no idea what Axe did, but I'm sure it was really sick and not at all lame. <laughs> hey, hey. 
I don't think uh, they're like against like unless it's like against like the top like twenty players or something like that. X doesn't chain grab an FD, right? He just like does some like sick shit. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, 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 yeah. Against like against like top thirty two. I guess like top hundred players. Yeah, no. He, I don't think he does it. He only does it when he like has to. When against like like, like when he's playing against like Mango or something. Yeah, Mango, Leffin, those people where it's just like he's not gonna win if he doesn't do the chain grab. Or it's not does like he even chain grab against like Ginger? I don't think so, right? Yeah, he does. Oh yeah, he does. does. He? No, Ginger, Ginger's like top twenty, dude. At this point, at this point, Ginger's like top twenty, top thirty. X can't, X can't afford to take. Yeah, him, but I, I don't know. I feel he's, like Ginger's just really good at the Fox matchup, and like that's it. Uh, no, I mean he's got some other things. He's great at the Ditto too. He's actually really good at the Falco Ditto. Tell it to Mango. Tell it to Mango. I mean, that's the problem. Is that it's Mango, who's also amazing at the Ditto, and. I'm going secret. Well, did you, did you right see now. what happened for like with Mango versus Magi? Yes. Yes, oh. I saw that. Magi is such a good player, but Mango just shit on her. She was playing so well that day too. It was so sad because she, she was had actually like this... with gas. How how is it that like all of the like the Vodin Falcos get the best like combos? Like, there was mm -hmm. a year where Dishes Wiz had the best combo. Yep. And then oh, Magi man. had the best combo that year. Yep. Like. Yeah, nah. The, Fal the Falcos, man, they know how to do it. But it's, they, the, it's not it's not like the Mangoes. It's not the Mango. A Mango doesn't get the best combo. It's always like, it's like Dishes Wiz, you know, Magi. Like, mm -hmm. it's not Ginger or Mango. I mean, there's always the summit where Mango did, which in my, what is in my opinion, the best combo in all of Melee on Plop. To be fair, no, the best combo in all of melee. The yeah. best combo in all of melee was um, Johnny versus Lucky. That that's and... up there. I I love the Mango Fox <laughs> comeback. Just it's perfection. It is melee perfection. Oh gosh, I love that one. Nah, it's Johnny versus Lucky. It, it, no, that's a good one too. Don't get me wrong. I definitely put that one up there. But I, I just love it. It's short, it's short, sweet, but you could not pull it off if you tried. If you tried, if you tried a thousand times to do what Mango did to Plup in that last stock scenario, you would never get it. You'd never get it. Is that the one where he did like the, the up, up smash? Like he, did, he did the wave shine up smash on the like, platform, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he did the wave shine up smash off the platform and, and it, it killed, killed like, like the percent the percent where it was going to kill and it was off of like down air shine turn around up till back air off the, the shine wave shine off the platform like it's just a crazy amount of inputs in so little time that all needed to be executed perfectly for it to work i will say this johnny versus lucky is by far the best Falcon combo that's like ever happened oh, oh um, yeah well, I even for all of like the the for all of the nun combos and all of the bond combos, it's it's gotta be Johnny versus Lucky. I'm also very well. I'm also very fond of the Lord, the Tof, what the crap, Lord. Lord. The crap. But that wasn't really a combo. That was just really, really good commentary. That was really good commentary, and no, it was a pretty cool combo. Lord, Lord did some I love crazy Lord. stuff. Lord did a Lord did a tech check. That's what he did. No, he it's tech checked Johnny. It's like all this crazy pit stuff, dude. I love Lord. No, I, what? Right now, what I miss. Lord is right I now, miss, online, right, yeah. I miss Dark Rain, No, man. wait, Wizzy. Wizzy is probably the third best Falcon. Wizzy's not running not in online, though. Wizzy doesn't play online at all. But oh, he played in Summit. He played at Summit, and that's the first online event that he's, like, entered. Lord has entered more events and has actually been okay, doing... Okay, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay, if we're, if we're just counting because he entered more events, then yeah, sure. Well, I mean, obviously, they, Wizzy's they, they, probably the better player. Wizzy's... They, uh, don't get, like, don't get me wrong. I love Lord. He uses keyboard. I have to love... I have to like Lord. He uses keyboard? He uses yep. keyboard, yeah. On, on, really? Online, he uses keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, absolutely crazy on keyboard. I, I wanted to tell Westfalls, by the way, that I used keyboard, but, like... Uh, wow. I, I didn't want to get like roasted for that too. Where is Oshis? I'm missing Oshis. Or I... ah, all right. Well, we're gonna see more of the Incineroar gameplay, the hot Incineroar action. More Alolan whips, more laureates that you can shake a stick at. Spin into wind, clothesline into wind. 
Well, while we're doing that, I'm gonna make some edits to my cube, actually. You have fun with that. I'm so I'm gonna... excited Dude, for your cube. I thought that the cube, I thought that it would be, I thought Thalia would be too powerful, but then White ended up not doing anything in, like, the drafts that I tested. I mean, got it. So... It's White in Commander. Okay, but do you know, do you know what the best archetype in Vintage Cube is? It's White fucking weenies. True. White white weenies are good. Selesny is also very good. No, 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 no. It's it's white weenies, then mono red, then uh, I guess like any mono blue pile with like with any of the power nine. I don't know. You know. Yeah, with like any of the good cards. Yeah, any of the power nine cards. Yeah, that makes oh. sense. I wanted to ask you. I wanted to ask you, and I, I can talk about this because we're on break. I, I actually wanted to make an edit to my like top three cards of all time. I wanted uh -huh. to add like an asterisk in there, with uh, uh -huh. with number three actually being uh, Luris pre nerf. Oh yes, yeah, Luris pre nerf is top three cards of all time. I I I, 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 I think, think I think Luris pre nerf edges out Black Lotus. I don't know. I don't think it edges out edges out Black Lotus. Wait, wait, my my, wait, my number three is Black Lotus. Oh no, it doesn't edge out Black Lotus. I think it's just below Black Lotus. So then it would be number four, because right now, yeah. right, right, right now, mine is like ancestral recall, ancestral recall, soul ring, black lotus, and then I guess like technically Luris, but if it wasn't Luris, it'd be time walk probably. Oh, that's crazy to me. I, I, I think time vault is better than um. I think time vault's better than soul ring. Soul oh, ring is would... soul ring is an insane magic card. <sighs> I, I, we can have this discussion later. Right now, we're waiting around for what? What is Osh's right play again? What's the <laughs> matchup we're about to see so it's ddd ddd zelda versus what are they playing incineroar incineroar it's for Incineroar peach right and then i, I think, think at the... one point kayfake i'm switched liking this at, at one point kayfake switched winners? Winners. I feel yeah, like they they winners. yeah they played winners yeah they played winners oh, I'm, yeah, I'm this is a three this is a three one for this is a three one for auscious and mrw this is um, this is the beauty and the beast yeah the beauty and the beast wait the beauty yeah, and the yeah, yeah, it was the beauty and the beast versus <laughs> the beauty and the perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. When, uh, that's the, that's the one, and um, yeah. So we're gonna see more of that. We're gonna see if they're gonna make the same adjustments where Kefake is gonna go for something like the um, the Bayonetta or the Daisy that they switched to the first time around. MRW just kind of throwing out taunts while he waits for his doubles partner to show up. I mean, he did say he was going to get flashy, so now he has some expectations. I mean, it's Incineroar. How I'm flashy can you get? Game. Yeah, right. Love Incineroar. Love him to death. But very simple one-dimensional kind of character. Not one-dimensional. One-directional. Like, he's just kind of got, like, he's going to do Incineroar things. There's a lot of ways you can do Incineroar things, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot of side Bs and a lot of Lariat. I think Incineroar is actually pretty Nine. fucking lame. What? I don't. I think he can do a lot of hype stuff. Like, cool side B plays where, like, you grab them off the platform or grab them out of the air with side B is cool. But, like... I don't Down know. Spikes. Like, saying Incineroar is hype is saying, like... Saying Incineroar is hype is saying, like, grapplers are hype. Grapplers can be hype. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, uh, I hate them. Obviously, I hate them, but uh, I don't know. Grapplers deserve. Apparently, they deserve like nothing. They deserve nothing. They do. They deserve nothing. But it is occasionally hyped to see the hometown grappler go up against the top player and have the entire crowd at his back, and the top player just gets fifty-fifty to death. Fuck grapplers. Dude, you just guess wrong like three times and die. <laughs> Alrighty, we are getting into grand finals. MRW and Ashes versus K Fake. Right off the bat, MRW getting the Alolan whip, putting oh. a lot of damage onto that peach. But and now he has revenge too. This is actually could be pretty scary oh for my, me. He got another revenge boost off the board. Oh shoot. Oh, but he is just getting destroyed on ledge. Oh, the up smash just not covering. No, his time. revenge timed out before he could get the up onto the onto the DDD. That was actually very unfortunate. Ooh. 
I like yeah. baiting the revenge with the Gordo, sending it short, and then grabbing it. That was really smart. Yeah, that that no, that's really smart stuff. Uh, and he is being rewarded currently. Makita hasn't taken any damage. The DDD is relatively untouched. Manages to get the first stock off the Incineroar, and that is going to be the lead for Makita and Kithik. And remember that this is DDD that Ooh. we're talking about too. This guy will live forever. Yep, if you let him, he's just not gonna die. Oh, man, dead. Uh, uh oh, and you're dead. Oh, oh no, he keep... managed to get back. Down. Yeah, yeah, jump, he's fine. The verticality yeah, like, of Incineroar uh, is good as calm. long as we don't need to go horizontal. He, he stayed calm, though, it was very, very, like, you know, like, yeah. good stuff from no. MRW. Yeah, great play. A lot of other Incineroars would have just panicked, not known that they still had a jump. <laughs> oh, that was so that unlucky. Sucks. That was he had revenge, guy. too. <laughs> that sucks so bad. Man. He gets grabbed, he, he loses revenge. He gets oh, and he's just getting clobbered. Oh, dude, MRW is not having a great time right now. And I will note, the GDD still has not died. Oh, oh no, no tech. No, he wasn't no ready tech for zone. the Gordo to hit him from behind. And the GDD has still not died. You should get a shield. Oh, oh, he's going for the cheese. Oh, hello. I actually really like going for cheese in this situation as DDD. Like, yeah, you're at 147 no if you. Yeah, yeah. There's just, like, no downside for going for cheese. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, no! Double revenge. That's a lot of revenge. MRW. Wait, is that a grab? That's a grab. I think it's. Oh, no, no! It has to be a throw. You have to actually. I forget. It has to be a throw. It can't... It's not just a grab. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. MRW lost revenge, anyways, so. Yeah, taking damage makes the revenge timer go down faster, and it went down pretty fast there. He has not been able to make 107 on the last star. Yeah, he... Yeah. And there's the death, and Sinnoh's death can't be mitigated now. Oh, yeah. and he's dead. Bye-bye. Yeah, now it's just Peach by her lonesome against a lot of stocks. And I don't like that he threw him the other way. I think that the Zelda should have ran away and tried to space out. Like, <laughs> like they should have gone for, like, a combo. Yeah, I, I, potentially that would have been the better option. I think they just wanted to take this really advantageous ledge position. I can understand both uh, avenues, but I definitely think the combo would have been the better route, personally at least. Yeah, <laughs> this is also like we're like we're, because like the way HK plays doubles, we're also we're all so biased towards comboing people. Yeah, we just want to combo we're, people because we don't if really you play the combo. So you're based. bad and washed, dude. Like literally. Me and Wesley played. Oh, that was such good edge guarding. Me, 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 and Wesley, me and Wesley played no neutral. We only combo. Yeah. And we, Andrew and I are pretty similar until it gets to the 2v1, and then we just throw everything out the window and just ledge trap you. I actually think that when, when me and Wesley played Zelda Palu, that we actually had the better version of that. But. I, uh, I disagree. Have you seen Robbie had ledge it. trap? We had night. We had night. Mm. I, th I think our fire is better than night, personally, on, on as far as ledge trapping is concerned. Night. Phantom. Phantom. Ah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, uh, oh. my chest brain wants me to call it a night. I'm sorry. Yeah, Vikita and Kefake are going to be able to take that game number one, and we got some thinking to do for Oshis and MRW. What was going wrong? Did I hit side B enough? Did I hit neutral B enough? Would I hit them too much? Like, you gotta adjust the amount of times the Incineroar hits B. It, it was honestly just that the Incineroar wasn't getting a whole lot off of Revenge. Yeah, he that got was destroyed on ledge too yeah, much. He also got destroyed. He couldn't, like, he couldn't recover from his, his mitigate. Yeah, no, that's, that's also very true. He got destroyed on ledge, couldn't make anything of Revenge. It's just a recipe for not a whole lot of progress in the way, in the direction you want. Yeah. Uh... MRW, taking a moment to think about his line. Oh, All okay, right. we gotta leave. And so we're back like, at it. Wait, no, left again, hold on. Now they're both I'm leaving. Going back to, I'm going back to editing my cube, this is ridiculous. I assume they're doing stages. That's what I assume they're doing, and just like no one was communicating. Now MRW's in the spectator seat. Oh. There we go. Now we're all back to normal. Uh, 
I think it's gonna go back to Daisy again. Just they like have the car combo finally. Oh wait, no, no wait. I'm getting yo, them mixed up. Yo, okay, both teams have the proper belongs. team colors. Both teams Is that the what they were working out? That could that's potentially be with it. That that that's is super hype. That makes that, is, that actually makes our life so much easier. That actually, yeah, no, that actually is very nice. Thank you, thank you to everyone who's currently playing. If you're currently watching the stream, we appreciate it. Gets the revenge. Can he get something off at this time? Nope. Gets thrown. Nope. It's gone. Oh, but he gets a falling upper to Florida. That's not bad damage. Mr. Saturn's on the screen. Yeah, no. Mr. Saturn's off the screen. Bye, Mr. Saturn. Oh, that was I super like, close. I like Vikita using uh, the star from uh, MRW to just give shield pressure to uh, Ashes. I think yeah. that throwing them off the stage is fine, oh but like God. I think that that's better usage of it. Yeah, because they all, they almost broke Ashes' shield there, but Ashes has not taken a whole lot of damage, and boy is Blue Team just getting trunched. The combos this game from MRW and Ashes have been vicious. I mean, I think it might be there's a tighter stage that they're benefiting off of. I don't know. I, I'm not entirely sure. They're just getting their punishes better. Like, MRW's not getting completely oppressed on the ledge this time around. He's actually able to play the game, whereas last game he kind of wasn't able Ooh. to play. Nair. Great Nair. I can't believe he didn't move back to generally neutral. Oh, Telefresh. Not killing, but right, that'll do it now. Yeah. With the... DK having 57% means almost nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if he manages to get the Incineroar off stage and make something of this. Nope, Incineroar back on, gets the Lariat. <laughs> He's just throwing out big, big meaty moves and just hoping it works. I mean, yeah, I a lot of times his Incineroar you standing Mr. Saturn, by the Oh no, there's Saturn! Oh, he oh, saves it! it. Let's go, DDD! Alright, hard bias. Throw it off, throw it off, throw it off, throw it off. Throw no, 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 you gotta be sick as hell. Dude, set up. <gasps> no! I hate, I hate dealing with Mr. Saturn because I love run-up shield. Yeah. No run-up shield if Mr. Saturn's around. Uh, and Zeroar somehow loses his life. I didn't even see how that happened. I think the Zelda killed him. And... Oh! oh! Extending the hitbox with the Gordo. Yeah, that was very smart. Up smash, kind of a forgotten move for a lot of Incineroars, because it's just not as flashy as the down smash or the uh, forward smash, but it's still a great move in its own right. He's just getting too predictable with that. Like, every time he gets revenge, the Incineroar is going to try to go for the side B, and he, he's got to start mixing it up a little bit. Otherwise, they're just going to be able to space around it. Just be more efficient with the revenge, knowing that you'll get something guaranteed. Ooh. No, I he choked it. Or maybe actually he was going for like the the no, the nothing the nothing go. Oh, could have been. Wow. Oh no! Uh, what happened to the Zelda? Zelda used their Din's fire to pierce through and hit Os uh, Oshis. And yeah, in, Oshis. The, in that it left them in too much lag to recover. Interesting. All right. Well, we are at even stocks, relatively even percents. This could go either way. Whoever gets this first stock is going to be in a huge advantage. Oh, no. oh my god! Kind of high. Uh oh. Yo, let's fucking go. Uh oh. Okay, we're back in. Who's pinging, Telmo? Who's pinging? Um. Well, the lag tracker's not looking at everyone right now, so Telmo's not entirely Ooh, sure. Yo, wait. That was turnip into our back air. That was tight inputs. This is still Stitch. so Stitch. Well, <laughs> uh, if everyone's lagging, no one is. No one's yep. sitting if everyone is. Uh, Alright, one to one! They were just more able to get- they were doing really good team combos in the first little bit, actually. Like, they were getting a lot of leverage, Incineroar wasn't getting oppressed off stage. Like they, they cleaned up a lot of their play and figured out some of the things that went wrong in game one. I really enjoyed how they were playing there. They looked like yeah. a completely different duo. Yeah, almost. No, you're totally right. They, they were playing around each other a lot better. Give me like a few minutes. I need to do, do something. Hold on. Yeah, sure. I think MRW, go, maybe that was a pause. I, I think MRW still does need to be careful with how he's utilizing this revenge, because... It really does seem as if he's very telegraph player in that. Regard. Yeah, it's 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 way too telegraphed the way he's doing it right now. I understand that, like, look, if you get revenge as Incineroar, you are looking for a Lolan win. 
but you need to be a little bit tricky about it, you know? It, it, it's, it's hard. It's hard. And in, sometimes in the heat of doubles, just you just want that. aerials at everyone so while to mix them up. Yeah. It, it, it's still a, a stronger aerial. It's still a stronger it's aerial. Damage. It does more shield damage, too. Shield damage matters. Um, but it, it, it's just really hard sometimes because you just... Incineroar can kind of lull you into this state of this was working. You know, the easy stuff was working. I was getting these Alolan whips. I was getting these Lariats. And now they're kind of playing around it more. And I, I don't know how to do it. Like when I play simple Incineroar, this happens. produces a simple mindset. It, exactly. Sometimes it, you can get caught in that a little bit of Incineroar. But that doesn't mean he's necessarily a one-dimensional character it oh, just means yeah. that some he has very rewarding options and sometimes those rewarding options can kind of take over your 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 thought processes at least that's that's just for me you know i might be talking out my own ass but oh, when yeah, i play no. ditto we yeah. want to get the meaty i the want meaty that meaty it's, nothing in this world feels better than incineroar side beat it's just such a big just Crunch! Oh, I love it. I think of a couple. Yeah, there's, 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 <laughs> there are a few. There are a few that beat it, but boy, it's not a bad feeling. I'll tell you that. No, oh, no. <laughs> Hell, oh, all about it. Oh. So we are currently waiting for, I believe, Oshis to come back. He may have been the reason that lag was happening. Maybe he's trying to reset his router. Uh, I don't know if Talmo knows what's going on. If he does, I'm sure he'll. They'll talk at us if he doesn't, then... Okay. And so, Osh is going to take a stab at fixing his Wi-Fi a bit, even though, according to Telmo, everyone was throwing flags that game, so... Maybe it's a futile effort. Who knows? How's your day been, Jack? What have you been up to? Nothing much, really. Alright. Some days are like that. Yeah, today's one of those chill days. I was actually I was muted for a moment because I downloaded this new voice mod <laughs> modifier, oh. and I'm seeing how this goes. Oh, no. <laughs> HK is gonna get plagued in a little bit. Oh, <laughs> very excited. Uh, I spent the whole day grinding to gold in Legends of Runeterra. Well, was... you made it. Yeah, I don't know if you heard me telling Gotti, I don't know if you were here. It was just one of those days of card games. I was playing my usual deck, which is kind of more of a controlling deck. I was just getting trunched every game. Mm. So I, I eventually just throw up my hands, and Nick mentions, Hey, I want to see that old hyper aggro deck you used to have with Callista. So I'm like, alright, cool, I'll play this for a game in ranked. And then I won six games in a row and made it to gold. <laughs> hey. Just playing the, the hyper aggro deck. Yeah, we'll take it. What about you, Chad? Yo. How's Chad's day been? Everyone in chat, what'd you do? What'd you What'd you have for dinner? Are you part of the uh, the, the the Secret Santa? Uh, I am not. not. Secret Santa stresses oh, okay. me. Out. Well, okay. Um, I'll tell you right now, you're not me. God, he is. I'm excited. I don't know what to get him. Hopefully, he's not looking through the, the vods. But yeah, hopefully he's not looking here. through the vods. Hopefully, none of the chat spoils it for him. No, we already. Need... Well, I wish you luck in that. Gotti, Gotti, Gotti can be a Gotti can be a hard man to shut up for sometimes. Kenny, oh shit. Well, it's just you know, it's got weird taste. Love the boy, but sometimes you can have weird taste. Nice down throw Nair from the DDD to start things off. We are getting into game number three. <laughs> Even games right now. Picking a wow. larger stage. Uh, who is who is counter pick this time? This would be the counter pick of the DDD and the Zelda. It makes a lot more sense, giving them more space to, to really set themselves up and kind of have to deal with this. I feel like uh, the other team is just a bit faster with their moves. Mm hmm. Well, and, 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 you know, neither of these characters have a particularly great amount of range. You know, sure, Daisy does have turn-ups, but 
it's not like those are completely matchup changing. Whereas Gordo and Dits Fire and Phantom can yeah. be very annoying pieces of harass. Making space. Oh, reading the air dodge in. Yeah, great read. Can they get this combo though? Not with the last Yo, what's up? I'm back. That might what's actually be Discord lag. What's up? You didn't miss much. It's a pretty it's even game. Enough. Okay. Up Wait, there. how did the game like just start? Uh, uh, the reconnecting. What? There was some lag yeah. in the last game. Yeah, one uh, of them reset the router. Night in the back air doesn't quite kill, but like, what the heck? That's good. I love calling it night instead of fans. It makes it sound like it's a fucking chess piece. <laughs> Dude, I, I want to point out, I just saw a really good play from Ashes and MMRW! I'm trying to point out something cool they did, and while I was pointing out, they did something even cooler! Never mind! My uh, god! They're playing like a lag. They're playing like a com Uh, it looks like it's Vikita right now. I'm seeing some flags being thrown by him in the bottom left corner, so... I'll have to keep an eye on that one. Which is the letter that we're looking for? The F. Yeah. The F is flags, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. And yeah. Nikita has eight flags. Eight flags so far, so... Which is more than zero. That's... You usually want zero. Zero is what we're looking for. Yeah. Hmm. And this is very one-sided. MRW and Oshis are playing with absolute gas. I, 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 they're playing so synergistically. I've seen them do like some doubles tech. Oh my gosh! Crazy combos. MRW gets that kill, and this just looks like they are in full control. Yeah, I mean, look, four stocks to one. It's like going to be very difficult for K uh, for Kafake to come back. Yeah, especially in Zelda. There are some characters where you'd say this isn't outside the realm of possibility. You know, it's ZSS. yeah, ZSS Joker. Uh. I actually, pa Palu can do it. I think, ironic, I think Jigglypuff actually can do it too. <laughs> Jigglypuff, really? You think Jigs can do it? Oh yeah. She, I'll take your so word for at, it. I think she's like so good at camping, like camping the ledge that like, it, you, I don't know. I feel like whenever I'm in a 2v1 with Jigglypuff, I don't feel like that disadvantaged. I don't know enough about Jigglypuff. I haven't played against her enough. Kills his own Daisy. Oh no, she's alive. There's the Alolan Whip. I actually kind of would have preferred no nothing on that. Uh, hitting yep. nothing, letting Daisy get the combo. Uh, that should be it, though? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Good trade. Uh, Alright, Asha's MRW going up two games to one. Yeah, well, alright. what they were looking for. I get the idea, but they were just getting outplayed. Yeah, I mean, it, it's the right stage, but they've got to play better. Like, stage, stage can only make up for so much. They, their opponents were just getting so many combos, and it, it just was sheer oppression. I'm not gonna lie, I was so tired. What I went to go do when I like left was just I went to go get a, a, an energy drink. <laughs> I was actually oh. just exhausted. I don't know why. Yeah, I got lucky. I, I decided to drink some coffee before this, and it's been uh, been, good. been good. Coffee makes me fall asleep. I don't get it. You're a weirdo. I, I tried coffee like once, like the first day I went to work, and I was just like my first day of work, and I was just tired throughout the whole day. Wow. On your first day? Yeah, my very first day of work. That's, that's dude. That sucks. I, and ever since very, then, I've had, I've had energy there. drinks. Dude, wait, did you start your work day like offset, like normal? Or did I you started have to come uh, to my first work time? day was 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Dude, hmm. you're crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, it's not as crazy as my current schedule. What is it? My current schedule is 6:30 p.m. to 7 a.m. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So we are going to go into game number four. This is going to be one of the ones for all the marbles. K fake switching over to pallets. Hang on, just seeing if the tears can make a difference, or maybe this is comfort. Who knows? But I doubt he would be. Switching to the top tier now, if it were comfort, he'd probably be playing it right off the bat. So, yeah. kind of rules that out. Okay, fake playing one of the better palace swaps. Not the best one, but one of the better ones. I like blue. I like, I like pretty much everything. I'm not the biggest fan of the purple one, but. Yeah. What? I think, what also is, I think pe purple, pink, uh, and default are the ugly ones. Purple's I think uh, default. I think default's fine. Palutena looks great. 
Jesus. Jesus. Palutena with the black dress? Oh, oh my god. god it's Flips, got I didn't know the up smash. Wait, what killed K-Fake? A revenged up smash. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, yeah. just going for some. Um, that hit. Very uh, interesting reads. <laughs> Wait, those wings hit? <laughs> that forward smash hitbox. Yeah, who wasn't on the wings? That forward smash hitbox is normally very unforgiving, but that time around, it just gave him a little gift. I've never seen forward smash hit like that before from Palutena. No. MRW. Yeah, that was worse. MRW hit Lariat three times in a row, and each time it was the correct decision. I hate, I hate it so much. I love it. It's so funny. How is this cool? It's so funny. Oh, because he gets oppressed and he's a terrible character, but he just has he this find those windows. He, he has a deal. He actually has a DLC move. Yeah, kind of. Larian's like just one of those amazing moves. Okay, K Fake um, doesn't play this character at all. No, K Fake. That's gonna make uh, things yeah. hard. Listen, I have to be critical. He's, he's on stream with two Palu players as commentators. You have to be critical of, of somebody who's playing Palu. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 You're it's also rough. in grand finals. Y yeah, you can't be missing teleports like that. Don't say anything. Don't say a damn word. I <laughs> yeah, will leave I right thought. now. That's I will what... leave right now. I'm not in grand final. He is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> For those of you unaware, uh, Noablo kills himself a lot in Smash Brothers as Palutena. That's... Dude, I started playing the character after you. How am I better at recovering? Yeah, well, once you get better at spacing forward air, then we'll talk. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is great. Once okay. you get better at the warp cancels, right. then we'll talk. I mean, warp cancels ain't nearly as necessary, man. No. Come on now. Come Hitting on. them or being cool. <laughs> Dude, warp, warp cancels like the only sick thing Palu has. Come on. Yeah. You think I ever have I ever playing cared about being sick? You're not sick. As much as yeah. you want to think you're sick, you're not sick. She, she can be sick. Everyone can, can be sick. Can be. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And Sidor manages to get back. Okay. This is actually a pretty close game. This is starting to get really close. They're both at pretty much even percents and stocks. And Sir is getting oppressed on the ledge again, but he manages to get past the ledge trap, and the Daisy is gonna find the kill on the DDD. This is looking really oh. bad. They wanna find this kill on the Daisy, they, they find are. it with the Gordo. Okay, he's gonna Oh yeah, I mean, this is this is the problem with Palu's combos in doubles is that it's actually pretty easy to break her out of it. Mm-hmm. She's more of like a follow-up character and not necessarily like a combo starter. Though. Yeah, that's the that's the problem is that if you can hit her out of the nair, then you can just negate the follow up entirely, and the nair lasts a while. Oh, yeah. Nair seals it. Great coverage. Great coverage from Ashes. All right. This isn't it's impossible. He is DDD. Oh, this is extremely possible. Oh, 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 like that oh, happens, no. it gets a little harder. Wait, that doesn't get it technically a grab, so it doesn't. That should be- No, he oh! jumped! Oh. Yo, Clippers game 5? He whiffed it! He whiffed it! Oh, they both oh. grab! Yo! He's just mashing buttons! <laughs> Yo, Clippers game the... 6? <laughs> he hit the red button so many times! Clippers oh my game god! Seven? He starts it! The oh, he's in the lights! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> Is that an actual disconnect? Are you actually kidding me? Oh my gosh! Daisy's still alive. That was awesome. But this is gonna be. That's what? they gained tens of of faults right there. Ash oh, has sixty. No, Ash oh, has thirty six flags. Then gets forward to. It all happened no. immediately. Yo, oh, that was all that moment. Please, just somebody let this game end. Please, just let this game end. I can't watch anymore. Oh, oh no! no, no wait, watch Gordo, watch Gordo. Okay. 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 Five. okay, okay, I was actually, I actually thought the Gordo was gonna hit Daisy. <laughs> it spiked up from 35 to 39 at the end. Oh. <laughs> just for good measure. Oh, yo, so let's go lag switch.
the lag at just the right moment. It looked like Incineroar was in grab lag anyways. I don't know if he could have done anything, but it was just so sad that that was the moment that it decided to happen. Alright, game five. That was a national tragedy. Who wants more? That was so sad. That's horseshit, man. Tell your partner to fix their internet then. Come on. Yeah, Ashes was the one throwing flags. It's hard. It, it, it's hard to it's hard to say that it's horseshit. I mean, it's annoying. Oh, don't no, no, it was horseshit. It's just you know your partner's fault, not your the other team's fault. Yeah, I mean they weren't they weren't throwing they weren't throwing shade at anyone. They were just saying it's general horseshit. <laughs> we'll wait we'll wait for the personal <laughs> attacks, <laughs> then we'll come at them. Oh yeah, yeah. Then we'll, we'll wait, we bring it down talk first. Yeah, wait, wait for the actual shit talk. Horse shit could be thrown at the universe. This universe is horse shit. I'm not gonna defend yeah, the universe. Th it fucking this sucks. game blows. This game blows. It could be the game that's horse shit. Maybe that's what he's talking about. It could be I'll, Nintendo. I'll join Nintendo that. is horse shit. Yeah, Nintendo's horse shit. Smash is. It's so hard because I love Masahiro Sakurai, and it's not his fault. He's not part of the legal team. Ugh, it nope. sucks. It's the. It's the people who are running Nintendo of America. I mean, not America. America. It's, it's, oh, it's Nintendo it's, it's, legal. It's, 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 it is Nintendo of America. They were no, the ones that it? gave Big House the C the C and D. Well, that uh, one. But Japan's also taken down a number of things. Yeah, it's off the president's. Head. Okay, okay. Put your bets here right now. Put your bets here right now. I mean, Our both of them were throwing flags. It could be Oshis or Vikita. Who knows? Who's getting the six flags? Is a lot of flags. Who's, Thirty is a 30 lot. That was a that was a lot of flags. Who do you think's getting DQ'd right now? Right now. I don't think anyone's getting DQ'd. I think at worst they'll both realize that they're both lagging. Vikita was also lagging halfway through the game. Why do? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did they they gotta like show take a picture of their fucking like their uh, ethernet adapter and they have to have like a picture of like a word next to it that way you know it's theirs and not some like <laughs> random person off the internet yeah well like those like reddit amas that like has it on a p piece of poster or some shit yeah it's twelve fifteen at yeah, 11 yeah, 08 yeah. pacific standard time here is my ethernet cable connected to my laptop the laptop is on administrator and you can see that that's my name there you go Use my social security number to go with it. You can go look that up. Bro, this this pub mix from Costco is OP. The pub mix? Oh yeah, Costco pub mix. Where it's I at? Mean, it's Costco. It has to be good. It's the gift that that's the gift that keeps on giving and giving, and it just doesn't feel like it stops. It's stopping, but not because it can't. It doesn't wants to. No, we're on the bottom. Sam, uh, well, speaking of, you want to explain the nachos paradox while, uh... Oh, wait. Is this the one where it's, like, chips and sauce? Oh, yeah, dude, chips and cheese. The, 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 it's not the nachos paradox, it's the nachos cycle. All right, you have some chips, right? And you go, dude, if I get some cheese and some, like, beef, I could go make some nachos. Some and you have some, like, leftover ground beef and cheese, and you go, dude, if I go buy some chips, go make more nachos. <laughs> but then you have all these leftover chips, and it never ends. It's a delicious cycle. There's a Rosalina on the screen. Oh, wait, what? Um, is this the lag check or fact. is this the thing? Alright, uh, that's kind of. Can hype. you turn on the lag thing? It is oh, on. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna be commentating mostly the lag thing and some gameplay. <laughs> some gameplay. Okay. Uh, why did DDD die? Um. I wasn't paying uh, attention, I was looking at the bottom left corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very some game, from you, Sam. Some gameplay may have been exaggerating. Incineroar's uh, shield just almost got broken, that was awesome. Uh, did he just watch <gasps> so many oh, 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 oh. Double kill. Double kill. Double kill. Double kill. Vikita is the new kill leader. <laughs> I, I mean, he's probably been the kill leader of this whole tournament, let's be real. It, it, it's either him or MRW. I mean, there's no way it's anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> although, it, oh, uh -oh. Vikita has four names. Four. Oh, oh. Okay. A few flags from Vikita. That's that's four. Six. Oh, no. <laughs> just swats that... Just swats that cosmic mage, cosmic... This Rosalina. 
What is she? What? she? She's a mother to all the Lumas, that's what she is. Okay, what does yeah. that mean? <laughs> and what does that mean? <laughs> Dude, he just, like, he just held MRW in place for like 10 seconds. Yeah, neither of them could do Why anything about it. The Lumas? Just help with. She, she doesn't, doesn't make, make them. They were there. They they just kind of yeah. said she would. Then she how would was she? Oh, okay, so it's just like an adoption. It's, yeah, it's it's like it's like if you got adopted. That's that's your mom. Wait, then yeah, how do they just keep showing up in Smash, huh? How does that happen, huh? Uh, uh, that I don't know. <laughs> endless endless amounts of disposable soldiers. Well, <laughs> it's uh, so fucked up. You get endless amounts of disposable children. Kafake is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can't you just fake another one, you know what Telmo. I mean? <laughs> for, the, for those who couldn't hear, Telmo just said in our ear that uh, technically all children are disposable, and you know what? I can't find fault in his logic. Oh my god. <laughs> Again! That's the second time he's killed his doubles partner! Yep, but it didn't end up mattering. Oshis is the last man standing, and he gets hit by both the Gordo and the forward smash. He has a lot to do if he wants to make this happen. It is looking like we are going to have a reset bracket. Uh, that actually should be it, because he doesn't have much time. Oh, <laughs> get him, get him. No, he's got the up B. He's still in this. Down throw. Oh. Gets they, are just, they are just all over him. They are really finding the option coverage. From that below. Oh. No, not quite. Ooh, doesn't get the timing with the down smash. DDD's off the stage, maybe? I love how K-Fake, whenever they're on the ledge, just kind of lets the DDD do whatever. Like, he's just like, go ahead, Nikita. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere near him. He should try to gravitational pull the Gordo so that the Gordo's a constant hitbox around Rosalina. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. Imagine that will do more harm than good in the in the long run. It's more likely to hit the DDD. <laughs> Me and Waysa still have it pulled off. Yeah, we now have a reset bracket. We're gonna have a whole new best of five. Baby, Damn. stick around for a long one. Stop we it. What's going on? Stop it. Stop what? We have another reset. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Oh hell, <laughs> Jack! We cannot commentate together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, whatever me and Sam are commentating, it ends actually pretty early. Yeah, yeah, every goddamn time it's me and Gotti or you and Gotti, it's fine. But if it's you and me, we have a reset that goes to game five. It went to game five again. It's gonna go to game oh, five. Oh, it's gonna be ten games. What, what we learned is that you guys should just commentate with me. Ooh. Yeah, it's the what? Yeah, what we've learned. This, this certainly benefits Gotti. What we've learned is that Gotti should be able to commentate every week. <laughs> that, that's yeah, only Gotti. The, the thing is, green. if Gotti wasn't was... so fucking terrible, I actually would be commentating every week. Yeah. Mm. Gotti with space in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. Put put my face instead of the Tomo face. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. The stream is now just Gotti, Gotti, Gotti. Yeah, Gotti, <laughs> Gotti, Gotti, Gotti Schneider. <laughs> Gotti, Sweet. call me Gotti Schneider. Don't call me HK Gotti or Alexander Tipso. Call me HK Gotti Schneider. Slowly, Incineroar's face morphs into into Gotti's face. He grows a few feet and grows a scraggly beard. Just each of the characters slowly morph into Gotti-fied versions of themselves. Gotti-fied to be made considerably taller and more white. I'm not even. What is happening? I hate you guys. What is happening downstairs in my apartment complex? Sounds like someone's like doing construction work. Jesus. Dude, maybe they're having a baby. Who knows? Um, no, there's okay. a difference between that's having a baby. a baby in this. I know the sounds of having a baby. That ain't having a baby. It's also not having a baby, it's making the baby. But having the baby no, involves no, no, no. a lot I meant, more I meant yelling. Having a baby. Oh, oh man. I don't know if that involves as much hammering as this, uh, <laughs> unless they're doing it really, really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> unless they're doing it in a way that will not end up being particularly successful for the whole thing. Uh, yeah. 
My favorite thing is whenever like I'm lagging, it's like, dude, maybe my tenants are just downloading porn right now. Yeah, that's that's always the question. It's like, is that it? Is that not that there's anything exactly no, not that there's anything not wrong, that there's anything with, wrong it, with it? I'm just asking, are they downloading porn? Yeah, that could be the that could be the question. Having a moment for the players no, to not think the question, over. It could be the answer. Uh, Having a moment to, for the players to think over what maybe went wrong in that match, thinking how they might be able to play the next one better, thinking, Man, I don't is, know. is Rosalina actually a good character in doubles? The answer is likely no. Oh, yeah, no, the answer. Yeah, in game four, it was Ashes. Game five, it was a little bit of. I, I, I mostly saw Vikita. I didn't see any Ashes in game five. Yeah. I think the real winner is. I think the real winner here is just who gets more flags. <laughs> who gets more flags? Yeah. That, that's who you declare the winner. Yeah. Guys, go see if you can like remove a capacitor or two from your router. <laughs> go start your microwave. Yeah. Go go start your microwave. Go. Uh... You have like a a a, a, a down hair dryer. To, go downgrade to Comcast. Dryer. Go, go call Comcast. Comcast, is there any way you could give me worse service? They'll jump at the opportunity. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Actually, wait. I think if you ask Comcast, maybe that's it. Maybe you call and ask Comcast to give you worse service. If they think they're actually doing a good job in making you happy, I bet that would be horrible for them. <laughs> I that, bet that's that like actually, the worst thing. I Bet you, I bet you that's probably the most efficient way. Well, I mean, I mean, every every online player has has their lag switch, right? Yeah, we, I mean, we look, all have. I have I have mine right here, right? I bu I brought right? mine this, at Staples. Yeah, this is by the way my capture card, not my lag switch. <laughs> it was in the same <laughs> section as the paper shredders and the uh, paper clips, right there. And the easy buttons. I have both of them next to each other. My easy button and my lag switch. One for BMing, the other for, well, also kind of BMing. <laughs> Man, can we just fucking... What are we waiting for, Tomo? I don't know. Tomo, what are we waiting for? So let's fucking go. I mean, let's, let's go. We we we. Okay, no, no, no. I'm fine with this. We stand bitching about the lag. Actually, no. We just stand bitching in general. We like bitching. Well, as long as we, as long as we're not throwing any personal attacks. As long as mothers are left out of it, you know, let's not bring the mothers into this. Holy no! What? Wait, what do you mean? That's when it's the best. Come on. Okay. I'm I'm kidding. Come on. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on now. <laughs> let's be civilized men and insult each other. Civilized men insult each other and each other's mains. <laughs> you suck and your main sucks. It's the easiest one in the world. But what if it's K fake? Instead, you just say you suck and you're carried by your main. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Then it's easier. Like just oh, still wait, Rosa. We have, We're back. We have three into people game. on red team right now. Uh, that, it, it does that every now and then. Oh, wait, no, he's still on red team. Hold on a moment. Oh, Hang okay. On, they seem to have realized the mistake and uh, managed to get it fixed before the game came in. I think they're probably going to have Kayfake move out and back in. I think Takashi MRW would... Takashi Pikachu. Was that? What? Kakashi Pikachu. I'm sorry? Kakashi yeah. Pikachu? Like Kakashi from Naruto? Yes. What about it? Like it's Pikachu. Kakashi Pikachu. Send me. Jack, are you having a stroke? <laughs> send send, send me whatever. I'm saying frequently enough to where I don't think it is. I, I mean, well, people, wait, wait, that, wait, that, wait. that is not anything. People oh, repeat things during a stroke. The problem is you're not explaining it. You're just saying two words together. So I'm <laughs> having an pretty, issue. Well, all right, I can't save the image. Just take a screenshot. Oh wait, no, here it is. Found it. Uncopy image. Wait, actually, no, send it to Telmo so he can put it up I'm on his screen. I'm putting in commentary. 
Kakashi Pikachu. <laughs> That's pretty okay. <laughs> he is not wrong. Kakashi Pikachu, he's not wrong. Here's one of our boxes. That looks better. That's good. Uh, <laughs> Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, did you okay. just say Miss Capri? <laughs> <laughs> wait, did you not see this? Where's, 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 I need to find you. No, I, I, yeah, it's up in commentary. <laughs> Ten twenty-eight. <laughs> Frizzle. <laughs> oh, we didn't Oh shit, he was never shot. What happened? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> For the record, we're, we're we're looking at a picture of Hero, a hero where he's throwing a fireball, you know, his Frizzle, and it has a picture of Miss Frizzle's face. You might end up seeing it later. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Well, we're just gonna have a giant collection of memes that have been built up over the top oh, of these days. My god. We just have a meme wall. Uh, <laughs> red team currently down a whole stock. Oh! And flags have been thrown again by Vikita, I will note. So. It's kinda hype. Let's go. Hype. Let's go, Vikita. There was a little bit of lag there. No one threw any flags, though. Let's see. Uh, I'll also note that Oshis has a hundred ping. Where uh, <laughs> do you see that? Is this, oh, no, is now this... it's back down. Now it's back down. It was a hundred ping per second ago. <laughs> it's very important. So is this, is this just how team comps work? You just have like one lag switcher that's the heavy player, <laughs> and then one person who like damages the other one. Yeah, yeah. That that seems like the the smart. Wait, who's dead? What just happened? What just happened? Yeah. MRW is down to one stock. Oh no, it was the, it was the Luma that died. Thank oh, it was the Luma. Oh, okay, you saw the and I'm like, wait, no one's at zero. Yeah, I got so confused. I saw a character die. Okay, it was the Luma. So, okay, we can't hear because there's unfortunately no sound, but the way you can tell if Luma is the one who's dead, because Luma makes a little cry, like, Ooh, me, me. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, a, is there a way to get sound into this? Uh -huh. I don't know. I mean, you're I don't, no, you, I don't... You, you don't want to because the music's on. Mm, yeah. Also, it, it can make it very difficult to commentate. Someone, someone might use this in order to, uh, instead of buying the soundtrack, oh. they listen to this. You know, the soundtrack you can't buy to the game. And instead, no they're gonna listen to a hey. quick VOD with the sound in the back, with the music in the back. No, background. Sam, you can't, you can't, you can listen to the soundtrack of the game by buying it. You just need to buy the game and then use your Switch as an MP3 player like Nintendo wanted you to. I actually did that. <laughs> I did that. I have no joke. joke. <laughs> yeah, you you joke, but I have actually done that because I was that desperate to listen to it. My phone was broken. It died. There was no way I could have audio, and I wanted to go on a nice drive with music. <laughs> so you I stuck my switch fucking the switch in the car. Yeah, and do it. Plugged it in works. my earbuds, yeah, and I listened somebody. to some nice Earthbound music. Yeah, Before I got listen. into the accident, I was just listening to KDA like on repeat. <laughs> mm -hmm. K I, still haven't listened to all the, I still haven't listened to all the new KDA songs. I listened to Baddest, and I haven't listened to the other ones. I yeah, so, do, 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 okay, actually, no. You may, you may not like Drum Go Dumb, but you know that I would like Drum Go Dumb. I need to, I need to show you that. That one's like my favorite one so far. Oh, I think I heard Drum Go Dumb, too. I think I heard that one, too. That's like... It's... Dude, did you, wait, did you end up watching the video I sent you yesterday, or did you just say you were gonna? Oh, I, I, did, I didn't watch it yet. Oh, my God. I, I, I'll, I'll, watch I'll, I'll, watch it. I'll watch it after the stream. Yeah, watch it after stream. Clive Mori, they're telling How us. How big is this rug? <gasps> what? <laughs> I'm going shopping right now. now. Now that I have caffeine in me, everything is funny. Yeah, guys, for the record, it is 11.30. The stream has been going on for a while and has been taking a long time. The commentators are getting a little delirious. We're doing yeah, our I best. Apologize. 11.30, Sam, it's 2.30 for me. Shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Sorry, 2.30 on the east coast for our boy Gotti Schneider. So, well, we're getting a little loopy. It's all right, though. I we're, mean, we're for me, you did wait for my, like for my body schedule ago. right now, it's like 2 p.m. for me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pardon, pardon us. Oh my <laughs> 
happy I found this. <laughs> no, because you can't see. Okay, no, you can't see, see it that much. You can't see it enough. It's gotta be the first, right? It's what, what you be should do? First. What you should do is you make fade, the text. Fade to the other one. No, no, no. You should make the text on the first image black. That way, because it kind of bends it, blends in with the background too much right now. So you should make Ooh, the text. Have a black text with white back, uh, border. Yeah, so, that, so can go no, but then the you can't part. see the white border. Y you can you can't see the white border against the white background, but you can see it against the black parts. No, no, God, Jack is right. This is, this is this is this web, is web design web design principles. If you have a light background, you put black text with a white border. If you have a black background, white text with a black border. Because traditionally, if you were to put a black text on a mostly white background, it would work, but then when it intersects with the darker areas, you couldn't see that part. What is going on now? Oh my goodness! <laughs> we're only on game some... two! We're all gonna just kill ourselves real quick. Yep, yeah, <laughs> including the commentators. Yeah, we're about to get... <laughs> Tangle them all <laughs> That's here. what I was- Wait, did you think I was talking about the players? Yes! <laughs> you're killing themselves! No, wait, wait, like... did you- <laughs> Did you think I was talking about the players? No, this I don't, is, I don't care energy. what they're doing. I'm talking about what we're doing. This energy oh my drink God, is actually this exists. They have an Appa bucket hat. <laughs> Your jacket <laughs> is on Etsy. It's, like, it's just Amazon. Amazon sells this shit. It's on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's oh. desk just lost about 20 health. <laughs> Bro, I love this desk. It sounds like I'm pissed off every time I, like, interact with it. Like, yeah, you, it sounds like you're really hitting it. I'm sure you're not, because if you were hitting it as loud as it sounds like you're hitting it, it wouldn't exist anymore. It would be dust. Oh, bro, I've always- it's- it's like 11 to 8, <laughs> oh but God. if it wasn't, I would just- <gasps> <laughs> Alright, MRW, taking a moment. Dude, these beanies are nice. Oh my god, I- Bro, I'm, I'm shopping for Christmas gifts, but I'm finding more shit that I want that I would want to give to someone else. Wait, is this for Secret Santa? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, I haven't- got I haven't, some, I haven't He's got, he's got someone up. who would be really Somebody's... into Opta Bucket Heads. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so then I can figure it out, right? Who's into Avatar The Last Airbender? Gotti, I'm, I'm, I'm just clicking on things so that are funny. I am- I am <laughs> just fucking joking around. <laughs> Bro, this is no, no, no. It, it gets, it, can do. I'm not actually gonna do that because it gets so boring if you find out who's got who. You know who the easiest yeah. motherfucker? Do you know who must have the easiest life in the world? Whoever gets lost. You just pick oh. something and then he's happy because I would, I would yeah, like. You could literally pick box. You could get him a, a thing of yarn and he would be very happy. You could get him the. No, all it has to do concept. is just have like. An anime girl on it, and then he would not like, an anime uh, girl. You just need to put cat ears on it. It's awesome. Just get him some. Get him like. What, get him mind if... comp, and then put little cat ears. Like, <laughs> little cat ears on Titan's butt. He'll be the happiest man in the world. <laughs> I can't. I apologize, Thumb, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, no, that was... Yeah, yeah, please apologize, but also that was really funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, what I meant was the Communist Manifesto. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Complete opposite ends of the spectrum, but one is far more socially ac no. acceptable. No, you should... Social. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something Ooh, that... Right? Uh, to be fair, I was talking about it in a negative context, as if it were something that you wouldn't want to normally get someone to give. It's a dramatic irony. Of course I don't want to. You get the point. Oh, we lost like four viewers after he said that. That's awesome. I was talking about it in a negative context. Wait, what? Bro, why does it have to be a white thing? Just what do you mean? Why does that have to be a white Suddenly thing? Suddenly, I'm uncomfortable like being dirty. surrounded by white guys. Got a point. <laughs> Am I deeper in the hole? No. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I was talking about. Yes, I was just about to say that. All right, Marvel Mars. Explain yourself the worst. <laughs> Sam, you're just, just, yeah, uh, you just That's not a deeper hole. Everyone, everyone loves Karl Marx. Who doesn't love Karl Marx? <laughs> 
Oh what are what are some other ones? How about the how about the tree? No, it's we. Please stop. I'm trying. No, we, we should just get him. Like... on three governments by John Locke. How about we get him? <laughs> you were taking, taking an oh, elevator yeah. down. You can get him. Every son, you sentence could. you say, you touch another floor. Yeah, just get him like something really boring instead, like what's, some like philosophy books. What's Frederick? What's Frederick Nietzsche's book called? I want to know what Sweet? Thomas Hobbes' book is called. Nietzsche, the, oh, the one I, I, know Nietzsche, I know who Nietzsche is. No, the, he's, he's a nihilist. I don't remember what his, like, seminal uh, work is called, though. Oh, uh, I, I, I can whatever. Look up. It's not important. The important thing is that whatever book you get him by whatever famous Enlightenment thinker, because now I'm going for Enlightenment thinkers with John Locke. just indoctrinate their entire Arcane. philosophy into himself? Yeah, I want to get. But, it, but no, the no. only thing that's the only thing that's important is I don't know how to pronounce Nietzsche. Okay, I can't pronounce German. Don't 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 isn't ask that, me. That. No, this wait wait wait. Is Nietzsche 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 Nietzsche? It's 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 gotten uh, at the end. It's Dude, gotten, okay, no no no. I got it, I got it. The game like started. This totally is the most dull thing We're you can ever. We're in. This We're is like one of the most too. dull things you could ever give him. You know, just give him Thomas Hobbes on the citizen. On which is the with, citizen? Yes. I want to see. But with cat ears on it. <laughs> but with cat ears. No matter what it is, you just. You just. Paste Someone little, get a little rock cat ears. With cat ears. Please. You just. Oh yes, that was the game, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Just, uh, just... I, I hope, I hope everybody is liking our stream of us talking about you know, philosophy and like random deep left tweets philosophy with some Smash and Ultimate and in the background cat and cat ears. Don't forget yeah, the cat. Ears. But uh, with, with some like Smash Ultimate in the background. I want someone to draw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Not after then. Sometimes it happens. It's about 50 50, Telmo, okay? They never know what yeah. they're gonna get. I'm not going to lie. Get. Sometimes the grand finals can be very uninteresting, and it's just better not to talk about it. Well, okay, now I'm gonna actually talk about gameplay because Pokemon there is stadium. gameplay. Oh like, my gosh, he's alive. That was from fucking downtown, I'm not gonna lie. That, yeah, I can't believe the Incineroar is still alive after that. Okay, yeah. uh, with oh, no, right right after that, but he gets up smashed for his worries. Even in this game, Rosa up smash yeah. is still fucking busted. Yeah, very even game right now. Wait a second. Uh, Wait a second. Eight All damage the... off of all the F smash, that's so good. Wait, I'm still confused. Why didn't that F smash hit him? Does he have, like, eye frames? No, 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 yeah, no Luma, uh, Luma, uh, Luma in, hit him, not Rosa. Oh, your whip, you're you're invincible. You're or you can't not invincible. No, 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 he did get hit by the F smash. Cool. Just Luma hit him, not Rosa. Oh, just so only did he. Okay. Yeah, Rose is the one that does the damage, Luma is the one that does the knockback. Oh, okay, so it just didn't, like, knock him back at all. Can, can I get fan art of Nietzsche with the cat ears? <laughs> can we just get, like, a <laughs> bunch of enlightenment can, philosophers? Can, can somebody, like, like photo- Great can political somebody just, like, and- photoshop? Can somebody photoshop Oh my right god, now? Karl Marx with cat ears. Yeah, Karl Marx with <laughs> cat ears. Can, Aristotle. Tell, can you get all this? <laughs> yeah, actually, get Thomas the Thomas Get, get, yeah, get, get, get the Eve on this. <laughs> the way you can get weebs to pay attention in philosophy class. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Can, can Rosa Gravitational pull the star from DDD? Uh, probably. It counts as a projectile. I never thought of that. That's actually really interesting. Uh, Wait, I don't think it's me, useful, but it's interesting. In stage? Because it clips to the ground, doesn't it? Well, also think about it. You're, you're taking out that person for like another half second or something like that. But when they reappear, if you cancel the gravitation, it can get the projectile can just get locked. You just googled it. <laughs> you can just, just Google literally. It. It. It is it. So Karl Marx with cat ears is a thing that someone had already dedicated time to. Yes. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if that's Karl Marx, why why is there a swastika behind Karl Marx? <laughs> Wait, I'm so <laughs> no, 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 okay, okay, stop, 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 We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. Back, 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 no, back, 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 That just doesn't make sense. That's literally the exact the opposite. The opposite of what he stands for. <laughs> why are they doing the good name of Karl Marx like this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who is he? 
Oh my god, look at Kafeng, look at Kafeng right now. Look at how many flags, look at how many flags. He's in the 70s, 70s, 80s. Can we go under? They're gone. 91. And it's over. And it's out of there. Why do you think we're commentating this shit? Yeah, that's the unfortunate. I want to commentate. Carl Marx to crash through combo. It's a good matchup, and I want to commentate it, but there is so much lag on both sides that it's just not working. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. For those of you just joining us, we are we are in grand finals uh, after a bracket reset. We're having a bit of trouble with lag right now, yes. so we're having some problems a, getting A bit of trouble it. is an understatement. It is an understatement, and it's not particularly... The problem is, it's not particularly on any one side. Both sides are throwing a lot of flags in the lag checker. Uh, we're currently going to see if it ends up getting worked out by TO Team. You know, our very talented Tama Tama Tama. Greatest team in the world. Oh, great. Well... Yeah, fair Did enough. Game right. Or was that game no, three? That was game, game two. two. This is We're just one, game one two. One to one, baby. One to one. I found another one. Are these? Imagine two if this is. Imagine if this is how the rest of the set plays. Just every game somebody he exited again. That's but like, just imagine like every game somebody disconnects. They keep trading games that's until like better. it's over. That's much better. That. That's super. He good. has the eyes too. He has the eyes too. The eyes sell it. <laughs> <laughs> the, eyes, the eyes really sell it. Oh, oh my god. god. Do you think Austin would even know who that is? <laughs> there is Just like a 50% chance. At some okay, at some point in the future, thousands of years from now, when we are all dead and gone and oh, we are no. nine, ten generations down, some internet architect slash netrunner will go through the remnants of my Discord. <laughs> and with their advanced technology, stumble upon the commentary channel beyond, like, they've hacked, they've gone beyond the need to, to like, they will have logged in as me through some magical grace of technology, and they will see the commentary channel. And, and just how cursed it is. Channel, there will be two pictures of Karl Marx with cat ears. <laughs> With yeah. zero con- one of them has a swastika on it. <laughs> Which is just great. There's no context wrong. whatsoever, and it's they will just have- wrong. They will have it's the biggest- Why?! They will have the biggest existential crisis of their surely hundreds of years long life at that point, because that's where life expectancy will be in a thousand years. Oh, bro, you, you know, know when we learned- resolved. We have you know a when universal we, language. You know how we learned time. that, like, you know how we learned that like the dinosaurs had feathers? It's gonna be like that. Like, did all of the great philosophers of that age have cat ears? Is that what made them such foxy knowledge seekers? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, there's an Isabel! Yeah, uh, by the way, there's an Isabel. You forgot to mention that. Wait, she pocketed the ball! <laughs> okay, yeah, so how many different there. characters has Kefake played? Yeah, so yeah. Four? Yeah. E four? Oh. Uh, Rosa, Paolo, Rob, Daisy. No, I don't Daisy. think Kafe was, was playing Rob. That was someone else. That was someone no, else who played Rob. Did. Yeah, no yeah, yeah. They, they played Daisy in Winners. They played Daisy in Winners. No, yeah. Uh, is Kafe gonna okay, lag wait, out? Wait, wait, wait. Look at the lag check. It's Kafe again. 50, yeah, it's Kafe again. 60, 60, that's another 70, connection. 80, 80, 91. 92! Oh, Tell me, we are putting out quality content. This crap is funny, and you know it. <laughs> the value of this stream has swung significantly oh. for the wrong reasons. All right, <laughs> I, is this? Are we actually DQing somebody in grants? That's kind of hype. That's kind of hype. I like that. Dude, that's about the most hype way you can end the tournament. <laughs> Dude, if this isn't like, just a showing of how shitty that, Nintendo's but... online services are, then I don't know what is. Ah. Uh, can we get also, like that's just it can be poor internet as well. We don't know. No, like, okay, come on. Nintendo's right. online. Nintendo's online is garbage. It's like, the, it's like the meme of the Russian guy like celebrating, pouring champagne into his mouth, kissing the lady, <laughs> and then shows him on the podium third and place. Both, of the, both of the other guys have just disconnected over their face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's actually such a good meme. 
Yeah, I love I love that meme. That 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 meme is so adaptable. It's very specific. It just conveys that specific <laughs> energy. Um, I am so excited for. We have a platform of thirteen people listening to our shenanigans. It's a lot more than I initially expected. Oh, I mean, one more. Wait, I mean, I mean, they can't just lose the set well by themselves if you just. And then, yeah. They can't just lose the set just by losing, get, dropping games over <clears> and over again. I mean, it, if I, they I mean, keep I... the connection, then they do. If they don't, then they don't. Yeah, if they don't have, if they don't have a connection, if they, if they're continually disconnecting, then that will take its natural course. But if you, yeah, because they're already on them, match I will point. also completely understand. Like that's twice in a row that they lagged out pretty early in, and it was clearly oh, them yeah. lagging out. So, I can understand I'm both I'm arguments. I'm down either way. Yeah, I... What do you mean? Oh, come on, we, we, NorCal has been around for a while, and there are a lot of dumbass people in this region. There's no way this is it. I, I think that this is up there. I mean, we... Oh, uh, we also had Sonics versus King Chris. No, but that one was hype, because oh, King Chris... No, 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 King Chris went random. No, no, King Chris went random. That was actually hype. Sam, that, that, that cheek... Sonic game. Yeah, you guys oh, weren't. Man. You guys weren't commentating oh, that crap, yo. That was the single most frustrating thing that I've had to deal with. Oh, King Chris versus freaking. No, 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 Sonic. King Chris. It was. It was. Um. It was. I forgot what the Sheik player's King name is, Sheik but he player. plays like he plays like ZSS or and I think Bayo. Oh, and Palo. Man, that was. So but his main is Sheik. Yeah. And he's playing versus rough. Sonics. That was rough. Um. Yeah, I remember Jack telling me about this. I, 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 to I told you, if me and Sam were commentating this, we might have actually just started talking about Magic the whole time. Oh, guaranteed. Especially, well, we definitely would have been, that was my first this was tournament. in October. This was, like, around right. October. Oh, so we can complain about Wizards of the Coast terrible decisions about Yeah, we would have complained about, been complaining about Wizards of the Coast the whole time. Dude, okay, can I, like, talk about this while we're waiting for whatever Telmo and Septile? <laughs> Shout out to Telmo and Septile, by the way, and Steven. They're probably doing a fantastic job on this. Um, yeah, this tournament has the best TOing staff of any tournament out there. Don't don't even at me. Don't even Oh, yeah, 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 easily. Like, they could. Actually, if they added Sean Briscoe, then that would make this, like, literally, like, this would be, like, the, the Lakers all-time team, but, like, yeah. for TOs. That's like Avengers Assemble, baby. That's like Avengers Assemble. Yeah. Why does someone have a modern glass cereal bowl for $20? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you looking Why are you spending $20 on a cereal bowl? Why would you sp I don't know, man. I don't know. Especially what? since, is it actually glass? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Rock, you have been, like, with this lobby that you're looking at, we have seen more of the lobby than we have the game. That's yeah. the issue here. Yeah. And I think we need to be seeing more of the game. I'm not sure. Maybe when, I'm wrong about this. When one. the game when the game starts, most of the time we are commentating the lag thing in the top bottom left corner instead of the uh -huh. actual gameplay itself, because that's more interesting. If I'm being honest. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that's been like I know that's been hype. Mm hmm. Yeah. Turns the out. Lucky Charms uh, ice cream. Turns out Nintendo the Lucky Lucky Toast Crunch ice cream. I I Ooh. love just hearing Jack go shopping. This is amazing because yeah. he just like finds the worst things. Yeah, like why? Oh, cinnamon you... Toast Crunch ice cream. Does that not sound amazing? I hate Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I bet just you having bad opinions. Dude, yeah. the milk after. Okay, okay. The actual like eating the cereal part is fine, but the milk afterwards is so fucking. It's disgusting. ice cream. You're... It's milk, but it's good God, milk. Crazy. That's crazy. Um, Jack, so what is the search query you're currently putting in to Amazon? Is it just <laughs> useless and terrible items? <laughs> oh, no, there, there's just a gift finder scroll thing next to the, the whatever oh, it's called. Yeah, yeah, right, and right. I just Don't you remember going, that? Same but there's a, oh my god, right, and it just has ridiculous items. If, there's, <laughs> if you ever want to find some fun things, there's a site called thisiswhyimbroke.com. I know, I remember that. That's been around since, like, the dawn of the internet. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, okay, okay, I'm going here. It is so fun. Like, a cereal bowl that's also a bong. <laughs> the, like, the yeah. no phone air? <laughs> this is why I'm broke. Doc, this is why I'm broke. com has been around since I was in high school, at least. I, I oh, know, man. I, Sam, why are you not in this? Taco Sam, why are you not in this? 
Because oh you man, you bastard! Sam, I needed to give you this. Well, <laughs> I'm going, uh, can't help you. <laughs> Sam, I, see, I see the water glass cereal pool. Let me look. Let me look. Okay, chat. Oh. Okay, chat. Go on. This is why I'm broke.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably first gonna all, be more interesting than grand finals. First of all, please have a weighted blanket. I need this. If any of no, the dude, the qua have, have me for it's a weighted blanket. Bro, it's 150 pounds. That's quantum, it. Phys quantum physics for babies, though. Quantum yeah, physics for babies sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, wait, I want to grab it. Is throwing a 1943 Yo, Sherman hey. M4A1 tank? Who wants to go over Dr. Seuss's theory, mm. or oh, Dr. Seuss's so rendition well. of string theory? Hold on, this illuminated bowling arcade sounds amazing, although it's $280, excuse me? That's not bad! That's not bad! That's really expensive to me. That's that. big! Bro, 150 bones for a weighted blanket? No, 150 no, bones? That what you said? I'm looking at something- Bro, like that's an expensive blanket. That is a really expensive blanket, actually. Oh? I'm sorry, Wait, is that a flying Wait, why does that car? say bowling arcade when oh, that is clearly ski ball? Mandalorian helmet. It's just ski ball, yeah. That's ski ball. Wait, what the hell? Do they not Wait, know what me. ski ball is? This this is actually the best <laughs> The Die Hard Christmas sort of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the that's the problem, unfortunately, Good with the doubles it? tournament is that it doesn't benefit. I, I I don't think doubles benefits from the lag reduction that we got from the recent yeah. patches, right? Hey, you know that oh Among Us. God. Marshmallow this filled hot cocoa bomb. bombs. Oh, that looks awesome. But it's oh, man, thirty four bucks. Thirty four bo bucks. How much are you getting with that? How, yeah, how many? Are you only getting it's one? Three pack. What the fuck? Three pack. What the God. God. That's for sixty. And that's for sixty. Yo, can we like actually re like, wait? Wait, are we starting? Wait, are we starting? Yo, are we playing Smash Ultimate? Can we we re review for like strong arm robbery? All right, we're starting Smash Ultimate. It's still no, 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 fellas. We compile our money. We're gonna compete against them. We'll sell it for half the price. We <laughs> 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 can make chocolate balls with marshmallows. It ain't hard. Yeah. Oh my god. It's funny that Five this is why I'm ball. broke. Is like. It's funny that This Is Why I'm Broke is not actually a site where you buy a lot of stuff. It's a site where you look at a lot of stuff. I don't know anyone who well, actually bought a number of things. things. I still you have a toxic... things off of This Is Why I'm Broke. I still have a toxic waste glass mug, and it's awesome, and I, I use it all the time. All right, fair are enough. You, Jack, are you broke? Now, but not because of that. <laughs> are you broke? Might as well call RiotGames.com. <laughs> this is why I'm broke.com. Jack, I have a question. Are you broke by any chance because of a certain online FPS made by Riot Games? Uh, a combination of the two uh, IPs of theirs, but yeah. Lovely. A solid 300 this year on that. I'm not Oh, sure Jack! Oh, the DDD dies! The DDD gets cross chopped! Shit. Oh, what? no. Is it. Is it. Is is it is it? No no no! I'm just I'm, no. Four? Vikita is the one with the flags. Okay, stuff, Vikita, but... Vikita threw a few flags, but not that many. Not enough to make it. Okay, another one. Another one bites the dust. But Telmo, is it over five thousand? Ah. Uh, so no, not five thousand. So you probably spent around. No, I'm talking about like including like stream equipment and shit too. Because you probably bought stream equipment just for this, right? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So you fully fund Tomo Tuesdays' rewards. Dude, I'm so sad I missed- I missed recently. I, I saw you were commentating a Tony Hawk event, and I only saw it afterwards. I'm so sad. So tell me, you- But you yeah, tell me, what, what's the actual the... number? Because I know sometimes the pot's different. It's, it's, it's a, over it, a thousand. It's, it's about 15- I just spent about 1500. Shit. That sounds about right. Jeez. I was I was gonna guess like around a thousand two hundred. That was my guess. Yeah, most of that was. Pop. Yeah. 
Because <laughs> these guys ain't gonna pay five bucks to enter a fucking Wi Fi tournament. Hell no. <laughs> Ugh. It's only five dollars. It's only five dollars a week. Come on now. What are you? <laughs> oh, you gotta get on stream in your thigh highs and tell these simps that they aren't paying you enough. <laughs> everyone look at everyone. Everyone look at commentary chat. This, so did you put a picture of you in thigh highs? If no, I'm not looking. <laughs> this Isabel is 193, by the way. Yeah, I'm amazed that she's. Oh my MR, MRW. Oh my gosh, she's still alive. 219. No, 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 no. It's not me and thigh highs. It's actually. That's even better. That's even better. Yeah, it is even better. It's... <laughs> 231 K fake, and now he's. Wait, did you do that? Did you do that? Or, or did you find that? I think that was Twee. That was too... I, I, the Twee yeah, is the one who posted it. The artist. Oh my gosh, Twee! Yeah, Twee, you should do, Twee, you should do commissions. I'd pay for that. I'd pay for that shit. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, oh, this is actually super close, by the way. Peach is at 135%. Oh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, does she actually draw? Oh, I've never- Okay, wait, 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 show me her work. Oh? Does she have 159 on Peach. Oh my gosh, she's only at 36. Sure. Do you- Do you put things on Twitter? Oh my gosh, what a combo! That was- That was fucking sick. Oh, he died, oh, but he didn't oh, die! Oh, and MRW and- uh, MRW and- I already forgot what the other person's name is. It's finally over. And no, that out. was the hypest way we could have ended that. That was so much better than a DQ. Oh, Alright, no. let's Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Us barely talking about the match while they were actually doing some pretty sick shit. <laughs> I talked a little bit. Not that much. Eh, we talked about how high, high percent Isabel got. She did. She got him to like 219%. Didn't matter. She still died. Yeah. Still, still lost, but uh, good stuff to both the players. Sorry about all the lag issues to all of you 15 people who stuck in here. That's really yo, unfortunate. I'm so sorry. Smash is raiding with the party of three. Uh, unfortunately, this tournament is <laughs> basically <laughs> over. I'm so sorry, Stretch oh. Smash. Oh, Stretch, God. Oh, why did you enter today? Thank you, Stretch. He probably didn't have a doubles partner. No, he was playing doubles. I saw your stream title. What? I mean, I oh, didn't enter. What a fucking, f what a Andrew fucking had flake. Andrew this, fine. Okay, so like... for everybody, for, for context, this is something <gasps> that has drawn. Wait, that's okay. sick! I, I, I would actually pay for that. Whoa! Wait, how much would I pay for that? I would probably pay like 20 bucks for that. Yeah, tweet, tweet. Oh, that's look, actually good. Look, somebody wants your shit! Yeah, I, I probably I, pay I like twenty know. bucks for that keychain. I bought one for cheaper at fucking um, Genesis, but I would probably pay up to like twenty five, maybe even thirty bucks. I have bought, I have bought worse quality things for that much money for sure. You'll finally start your Etsy shop. What, like a, sa a safe Santa face mask? <laughs> Wait, you know what? I will throw myself. Or a Tesla tequila mask. bottle. Not only is it over, MRW, you won! You did it! Yeah, you made it yeah, through the lag and it. the bullshit, and you incineroed your way through it, and we're proud of you. We're real we're proud of you. Alright, everyone, this is, now, this, is now a, this is now a four commentator out. Wait, wait, wrong way. This way. This way. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Easier for me. I just have to point down. Wait. Wait, this way, this yeah. way, and this way, this way. Oh, wait. These guys, I don't have a third. We got, we got to try and make a, a square. It's so hard with the delay. Tell me, you don't Sam, have easy. You don't Sam, have the delay. You got this. You got this. You got this. Oh, all right, all right. No, you have to be pointing wait, that way. Okay. I have my leg going out. That and that. Oh, that feels so yeah. weird because it's reversed. It's inverted. It's yeah, inverted. Yeah, this, is why, this is why it's hard. This is why it's hard to figure out based on where my door was. This is the okay. content everyone subscribes five ninety nine. Yeah. Dude, I'm sub to Tomo. Are you guys sub to Tomo? Are you sub to Tomo? Give me a Tomo T West I, I, champ chat. I, I am sub to Tomo. I got you, Tomo T West champ. West champ, give us your West champs if you're sub to Tomo. Shout out to Wesley Shaw. Shout out to Wesley Shaw. One and Shout only out. emote I have on this channel. I think that should be the 
the only emote you have. It's the only emote you need. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. The day keeps the sad champ away. <laughs> oh, all right. Tell me, you you got you got your first HK out of context post. Yeah, that was good. That was great. All right, I think we've had enough. I think we may have had enough. I think I may need to go get some water. We read a book and experience life. Life outside of watching a Smash Brothers lobby for however long that was. That was that was pretty funny, not gonna lie. Sure. This is the content I come to twitch.tv slash Justin Telmo for. Oh for my god, sure. that was all right. Well, thanks everybody for coming out. You know? Yes. Yeah, thank yeah. you so thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back to regular singles action next week. Hopefully yes. with hopefully little less lag thanks to the slight improvements that Nintendo has made to 1v1s in the past. So, yeah, a little bit harder to maybe, be done. Maybe soon it'll be the improvements that they'll do to 1v1s in the future because 10.0 is coming out soon. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's going to do an amazing amount for the online, I'm sure. Okay, one last time before everybody goes. These, these are the commentators. These are their Twitters. Follow all of these people on Twitter. I got that right, right? It's A underscore trash underscore Yasuo. Yes. Okay. So follow yep. all of these people on Twitter. Um, and you follow to, this guy right there at Justin Telmo. At Wait, just, you follow there me at Justin Telmo. You can uh, there. Uh, shout out to HK. Shout out to Steven oh. and, and Septile Warren. Follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to start streaming now. I'm actually starting uh, yeah. to stream more, like at least once a week. I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, streaming HK. once I get to gold and Legends of Runeterra. So if you want to learn more about Legends of Runeterra, which you should, because it's a great card game, maybe follow All me. Right. All right, I'll start plugging my Twitch maybe next week. It's not up maybe, to snuff, but I need to start climbing. I'm gonna start climbing to. I'm gonna try the platinum climb. Oh, right. well, Jack doing some league. I am going to have right. such a fucking hard time reorganizing this back when it's two commentators. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you should just you should just you should just keep one slide for 3 and one slide for 2. Yeah, you could save the the Why not both? I, I you will can just, you can just uh, on Streamlabs you, you can turn copy it, off. it and then yeah. You can just no, turn it off I, on Streamlabs. I'm going right? to do I'm going to do exactly that actually. Okay. Because this will happen yeah. again probably. Probably. Yeah, I actually kind of liked the three commentary. It was, it was, it was like they, let, they talked less about Smash, but it was still, it was still fun. <laughs> still I think it was more entertaining. Fun. Anyway, right. ha uh, have a good. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back to just me. Uh, everyone have Bye, everyone. a great rest of your week. Everyone have a great rest of your week. We'll be back next week for singles action. This will be the last Tumble Tuesdays of 2020, because um, <sighs> we will not be hosting the last week of 2020. So next week, number 26, will be the last Tomo Tuesdays of 2020. So make sure you sign up. It's the last chance for us to hit the 128 cap and double the prize pool again. So if you guys want a bigger prize pool, you guys are going to have to earn it. If you, guys, if you guys want to break this cap, we need to beat Xanadu. <laughs> so yeah, we've been close. Yeah. We've gotten close. We've hit triple digits before, but we haven't beaten Xanadu yet. All right, we gotta beat Xanadu. We gotta beat. We gotta Xanadu make Tumble Tuesdays. Week. We gotta make Tumble Tuesdays the premiere. So tell all your friends and stuff. Thank you for so much for the eight month sub twee. That's how I'm gonna end the stream. Good night, everyone.
still hot. Knock your shell off. My money stacked fat, plus I can't turn the swell off. The franchise doing big business. I live this, it's automatic. I win this, so you hear those horns, you finish. A soldier, and I stay under you fighting. Plus I'm storming on you chumps like I'm thunder and lightning. Ain't no way. 